Alright, enough of that bullshit. Yo, guys. Fears. Audience. Audience. Moi. Lord Fears. It's not Fears. It's Lord Fears. How art is thou? Thou is doing glorious and wonderful and fantastic and glorious in thy own kingdom. Glorious, spectacular, wonderful, all of that jazz. It has been a good, good, good day, guys. I'm sorry for the glare. It's super bright outside. You would think the sun would be, would, would be gone by now. Uh, it's, it's 5 o'clock. Um, Fears decided to do a different mug. You guys ready for this? You guys rem remember this one? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I've never used it on camera. I don't think. I don't think I ever have. So there it is. But welcome to the Fears Podcast. I hope all of you are doing great. I hope all of you are doing wonderful. I hope it's been a good Sunday. It's been a pretty good Sunday for me. It really has. Uh, I'm going to get into what I've been doing um, and all that stuff. Lots to talk about. Lots of stuff. Busy, 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 busy. But anyway, let me pull up the topics. Uh, I'll probably invite a few guests in. I got a bunch of stuff to talk about, and um, things are good. Things are good. Good, 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 good. Set the talk. We got one person watching. Richie says, what up, fears? Richie, if you want to come in, let me know. I'll throw you the link later. Um, anyway, I've got some stuff to talk about before I invite any guests in, any guests in, uh, Pixel says, bung, bung man. You know what, Pixel, I've just gotten inspired. I've gotten inspired by that. You are a good friend, but check this out. What if bung man was the reverse in fears, man? Like you, you would think bung man would be a good guy. What if Bung Man was a bad guy? I'm going to talk to Randall about this. So shout out to Pixel O Protocol. Shout out to a PS4 Gaming. Uh, you're kind of a new, um, you're kind of a new uh, person to the to the channel. I appreciate you subbing. I don't know how you found my channel. Maybe you found it through one of my followers, but PS4 Gaming. Have you always been a subscriber? Or are you a new subscriber? Or did you find Fears Man, you know, 26 first? And then you subbed and then you were you then you walked on over to Fears Vlogs. Let me know. Let me know. Oh, that's a good idea, Pixel. He says Bung Man could be Bizarro, like Fears Man. I like it. I like it. I don't remember Bizarro's origin. So before me and Randall put that into Fears Man, I'm gonna have to go back. Reread what Bizarro's thing is and then do a parody of it because I always grab stuff from different comic books. A lot comes from Superman and Batman. But yeah. So shout out, shout out to all of the fans. Okay, you're a new sub. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, are you a new sub just to Fears Vlogs or did you subscribe to my to my first channel, Fears Man 26? And PS4 Gaming, whenever I get a new person. A new sub. I I like to ask because I like to know uh, where people found my channel and and how they got to here. So uh, did someone tell you about my channel? Did you find it on your own? Uh, did you find Fears Man first and then you came over to Fears Vlogs, or did you find Fears Vlogs first and then mosey on over to Fears Vlogs? Just let me know. Okay, you subbed to both channels. I like to know how people found my channel. So how did PS4 Gaming, how did you find me? Anyway, guys, we've got a lot to talk about. Uh, Fears uh, ended my stream last night like at 4 or 5 in the morning. That was the longest Fears just talking stream in a while. I don't think I've ever, like, you know like how we just talk and bullshit? Normally these chats are only like, an hour, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours max. Me and Randall just kept it going, and we went on for five hours last night. So if you guys ducked out quick, you may want to go back and watch the rest of it. 
It was a good stream. Me and Randall were just having fun, and I just wanted to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay, so PS4 Gaming said, I found Fears Vlogs and then your main channel. Okay, cool. So, I'm just curious. How did you find Fears Vlogs? Did you just find it on your own because you like vlogs and streams, or did someone tell you about it? Or I'm just curious, PS4 Gaming. Anyway, so yeah, if you haven't checked out that long stream, check it out, guys. Check it out. Gosh, the freaking sun. Hopefully, it's not too dark. So yeah, so I'm still in my church clothes, so I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, church was good. Uh, I got some stuff to talk about that, and I went, I, and I went from church, and then I went thrift shop, and uh, I've got a little gift over here that I want to show you guys. Oh yes. I treated myself today. I treated myself today. Pixel, I found a good thrift find. So I wanted to show you guys that. And then after the thrift, I had a bunch of errands. I got my car washed. After the car wash, I went to Walmart, got some groceries. And I finally just came back from the groceries. Uh, so I, I've been out all day uh, after church. Went and got some lunch on the go. So it was church, lunch, after lunch, thrift store. After the thrift store, grocery shopping, came back, started started the stream. So, yeah. So, it was a busy day. But, anyway, I hope everybody's been having a nice, wonderful Sunday. PS4 Gaming says, I found your channel on my own. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Well, hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pixel, you've got a better memory than me. Have I ever used this cup on camera? Now, if you guys remember, uh, I won this camera. Oh, not camera. I won this. Uh, I, I won this. Um, this cup when me and Randall went to uh, Dave and Buster's like a year ago. I've drank coffee in it off camera, but I don't think I've ever used it on camera. And I just washed a lot of dishes, and I said, you know what? I don't think I've ever used that one on camera. It's hard to grab because it has that video game controller as the handle, but um, but I thought I would use it. You probably don't remember it, Pixel, because I don't think I've ever used it on camera. But you guys probably remember when I, uh, when, uh, whenever I, um, you know, when I upload the vlog where me and Randall went to uh, uh, Dave and Buster's, and Randall's like, "Fears, I don't care about the tickets. You can have all my tickets." And Rand, I, so I was like cranking out the tickets, right? Randall's like, "Fears, you can have all my tickets." And he goes, I, I, "I'm just playing for fun." I was like, "Oh, sweet!" So I bought a T-shirt. I bought that mug. Um, I bought Randy, I think a DVD of something there. I mean, we got away with tons of prizes, and that was one of the prizes. Demonic Gamer is a, is a troll. Just let you. I think I took care of him. Uh, PS4 Gaming. I think last stream someone told me to block him. I took care of it. I'm pretty sure I did. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. And today's topics are, uh. You guys can ask me any question you want within reason. And if you guys don't have any questions, then I'm going to answer some questions. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, if you guys don't have any questions, then I'm going to answer some questions offline. I, I always like doing those random questions. You guys always get a kick out of them, too. Second topic is Tom Green. I used to love – I still do love Tom Green, but my favorite thing he ever did was his Tom Green show. And I was like, you know what? I have never talked about him on camera. So I was like, that's a good topic. And then I wanted to talk about being humble. That was today's theme at church. Being humble. Be humble to yourself. Be humble to others. Be humble to your friends and your family. Be humble. You know, everything. So. So, yep, 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 yep. There we are. So I'm going to start. So. This is what our bulletin looks like. Here. Humble yourself. And it was a really, really, really good, um, a really good uh, uh, um, service today. I really enjoyed it. And I thought I would show it with you guys. I really thought I would. Give me one second. There we go. So, says... Humble yourself. I hope you guys don't mind, but I really wanted to show uh, this with you guys. I, I thought you would enjoy this. So, um, If you guys don't know, Fears has gotten back into church. 
I've always been in the church, but like the last couple of years, I hadn't been going. Shame on fears. So for about, let's see, how long have I been going to this church now? For about six to eight months, somewhere around there. Very nice people. Wonderful people. Wonderful people. So humble yourself. And it says, it says, we are committed to the Lord. What matters most in your life should be your friends, your family, Jesus, God, your work, your your passions, your dreams, your church family, and anything else that you find important in your life. So then it says the call to worship is, and the leader, so I'm going to read the leader, and uh, so in church, we're the people, we respond to people, and then the leader obviously is God. So God says, uh, with what shall uh, we come before the Holy One and bow ourselves before God on high? Then the people say, God, you have shown us what is good. Uh, God says, what does the Holy One require of you? The people says, we deliver justice, we deliver love, we deliver kindness, and we walk humbly with you, our God. So I, I just wanted to show that. And uh, I got to assist for the second time, for the second time, my, uh, hang on, let me grab it. So if you guys remember, last week I got, because I hadn't been in about two months, they said, hey, John, do you want to light the prayer candle? And I said, oh, absolutely. If you guys don't know what that is, different religions do it differently, but our my religion is when when they want to start they 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 welcome everybody in and we sit down and we start talking about um, caring and sharing which is we share about what good things that happened to us during the week and uh, caring is like hey if you need to tell someone like hey I really care about this person something's uh, I need I need to pray I, you guys need to pray pray for this so we do caring and then sharing is anything that happened to to you good within the month or within the week. It doesn't matter. Or both. Both. And then we talk about joys and celebrations if anyone has a birthday or anniversary. And then concerns are, you need to pray for this person. And I always stand up and say, uh, my dad's resting at home, but please just keep him on the prayer list. After that, the way my church does it is they do this thing called lighting the prayer candle. And, and then you read the scripture. And it's basically a way to just start just start the church service and i was like wow i'm like i was just talking to my fans about this i was just talking to my fans about this the other day i'm like being humble like not letting like and i at lember pixel we had a big conversation about this and i'm not trying to turn this into a big you know church service stream but this is really important to me and it was kind of like wow deja vu you know what i'm saying deja vu and i was like today's like theme is be humble. And I was like, and they were even talking about if in church day, I kid you not scouts honor. They said, if someone has something negative to say to you, you should be humble. Turn the other cheek. I didn't say it out loud, but in my mind, I'm like easier said than done, but I'm getting better at it. Not ever. But my point is not everyone's going to like you guys. And that's, and that's okay. That's okay. Whether you're a content creator, whether you're just in real life, you know, you have to worry about what matters to you the most and be the best person you absolutely can. So I'm trying to be the best John Fears I absolutely can. And I will admit, back in the day, man, oh man, my temper was a crazy. My patience was a crazy. Uh, any tiny little thing would set me off, but I'm getting better at it. But I'm willing to admit, I'm not perfect. Every once in a blue moon, they still find a way to dig the knife in and get me. But I've learned that if you don't bring them up by name, you don't piss them off and say, hey, fuck you, fuck this, fuck that, you know, and all that crap. For the most part, they leave you alone. So um, they called me up and they said, John, will you assist uh, this girl that's going to be reading the prayer candle? And I said, absolutely, absolutely. So. 
um, they wanted normally it's one person. Every every once in a while they switch they they switch it up and say, hey, let's have two people do it. And so I said, oh, I said I did the prayer candle last week, and they're like, yeah, they're like, you did such a great job, uh, John. They're like, they're like, and we have a new member, and she's kind of nervous to go up there by herself and read. I said, I'll go up there with her. Uh, her name is Heather, and oh my gosh, you guys, she was an angel. And what I mean by an angel, she was beautiful. Uh, I hope she continues to come to church because I may ask her out. Um, I got a little nervous, though, after church because I struck up a conversation with her. She was very nice. And she came to church. She came to church. Hey, what's up? Heroes and Millions. I'm going to get you in here in a little bit. Uh, I got exciting news that I'm telling the fans. So she came to church with her friend. And I know her friend because her friend comes to church all the time. And I was like, wow, finally some women my age because normally it's either families that come to my church and then they come with their children and all the children are like 9 10 11 you know and i'm like well obviously fears is not doing a mat man you know and or there's like chicks that come there that are like 70 or 80 and i'm like damn i'm like why can't there be a chick like 27 28 30 35 you know and all of a sudden heather walks in and she is an angel. She had this really nice, like, brown dress on. And she had her hair really nice. And I was like, well, Fears, you don't want to ask her out the first time you meet. So I said, go over, make a nice introduction. And I said, hi, I'm John, you know. And I'll tell you about that. Anyway, so I got to read the prayer uh, candle with Heather. And so uh, I said, Heather, I said, I loved this prayer candle. I said, I said, I want to read this. I said, I read last week's to my fans. I said, can I? Uh, I said, do you mind if I have this so I can read it? And she goes, oh, absolutely, John. So I'm going to read this to you now. Uh, Heroes and Villains, I want to hear about She-Hulk number three. I'm going to get you in. I just have a bunch of important stuff to talk about, and then I'll get you in. You know I will always get you in. Uh, speaking of Heroes and Villains, I finally broke down. I broke down, and I owed it I owed it to uh, Heroes and Villains. He's, he's, he's becoming – a good buddy. I consider him like a brother now, just like Randall, just like Sam. He said, "Fears, will you will you, will you do me a solid and check out my Discord?" Whew. I checked out the Discord. I've only blocked one person in there that I don't like, and his name starts with a Y. I think you guys know who I'm talking about. So, so, but everyone else seems to be very very nice. It took me a little while. Pixel had to help me out because I have not been in a Discord in not one, two, three, four years, like 10 years. So I forgot how to send a message in the general chat, and I felt like a complete fucking moron. And I was like, Pixel, where is it? He goes, Fears, it's off to the left. Scroll down. It says general chat. I was like, gotcha. I remember now. I remember. So uh, am I going to stay in his Discord? I don't know. I don't know. I checked it out. Heroes and villains. I gotta say, so far so good. Good Discord. Good Discord. Um, Heroes and villains says little by little I'll be adding more. Oh yeah, for sure. Like he's just got his Discord started. You know, it's rocking. It's rolling. So far so good. And he says, you, uh, "You good? I'm a little busy, my friend. Can't come in." Well, hopefully you can come in by the time I get done talking with all my stuff because I've, I've got three topics to talk about. So maybe uh, I'll send you the link. I won't send it to you now, Heroes. I'll send it to you, you know, in a little while, and hopefully by then you can come in. If not, I think Richie said he wanted to come in. I'll send him. Uh, CMG, what's up? CMG, you missed a hell of a stream yesterday. Me? Oh, wait, not yesterday. Friday. Excuse me. Um uh, me and Sam were going ballistic, dude. I know, I know, CMG. I know you love me and Sam's live streams. Uh, you, you've came to almost every single one of them. You missed, you missed Fridays though. We beat Resident Evil Eight, and then Sam, Sam and Pixel scared the shit out of me because we were playing Outlast. It's good. It's 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 a good game. It's just a scary game, but it's an amazing game. Yo, 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 here, uh, I'm, I almost said heroes and villains. For 10 stories, what's up? He says, hello, heroes and villains, collectibles, chat. What up? What's up, buddy? What up, what up? Oh, he said he has to go. 
Well, at least you came by and said, hi, I appreciate you stopping by. You know, if I'm still, you know, if you come back later and I'm still streaming, pop on in, buddy. Good to see you. So, yeah, uh, heroes and villains. So let me talk about all this stuff and then uh, and then I'll uh, I'll throw you the link. So anyway, about Heather. So I was like, fears. She's really pretty. And I said, you don't want to ask her out right away, though. I said, get to know her. And I said, do it after church. So I introduced myself. And she's like, looks like we're going to be reading the prayer candle together. I said, well, I said, I'm going to light the candle. And I said, you can read. And she goes, yeah, I'm a little nervous to go up there by myself. I've never read the prayer candle. I'm like, it's cool. I said, normally when you do it alone, you just go up there, you say good morning, and then you grab you know, the little lighter and you light the prayer candle. And then you grab the piece of paper off the podium and then you read. And then they take it in what you read. And then then once you're done, you go back to your seat. And she's like, well, she's like, I'm just a little nervous. I said, don't worry. I said, I'll go up there with you. I said, that's why I said the pastor came up to me and said, hey, would you help her out? I said, I don't mind helping her out. I said, I'll go up there. I said, I was a little nervous. I said, when I did it for the first time, like years and years and years ago. So we got up there. I didn't read this. She did the reading and I just, I just stood with her and then I uh, lighted the prayer candle. But it was such a good one today because it was all about being humble. And I was like, fears needs to work on that. I'm always, I always try to work on myself. And I am humble with myself. I try to be as humble as I possibly can with you guys, my friends, my family. But every once in a while, I need to remind myself to be even more humble. You know, I'm always trying to work on myself. So anyway, let's do the reading. So. It says, um, O God of love, O God of peace, O God, uh, uh, the Almighty, please grant us your wisdom and your peace. We struggle with insecurities, fears, uh, things that weigh us down, uh, issues that affect our lives, uh, our sense of worth and and our uh, wholeness. These are the times, uh, I'm sorry. These are the times that we have to be as humble as possible. Grant us peace that calms the inner turmoil of our souls and reminds us that we are beloved by the Holy Spirit. Um, O God of life, grant us your peace. We strive to be the best we can. We strive for relationships that are fair, equal, and filled with compassion. Yet we often find ourselves enslaved in conflicts with others, even those we love, grant us the strength to listen with our hearts first. Uh, I'm sorry, grant us the strength to listen with our hearts first and not our mouth. So I really need to work on that too. Um, that we may grow in deeper connection with you, our mighty Lord, our friends, our co workers, our neighbors, our families and any other loved ones. So that really hit deep because like, I love you guys, all my loyal fans. I love my, my friends in Missouri. I love my friends in Florida. Um, I enjoy all my coworkers that I work with, you know, all those people are really important to me. And I was like, fears you, you gotta be super humble with yourself and super humble with everybody else that's in your life, you know? So here we go. Then next it's, um, let's see, where did I leave off? Oh, oh God of peace, grant us your peace and your wisdom. Uh, we have grown weary of the sounds of war, violence, um, that diminish women, men, and our children. Yet we fail to, to heed your invitation to act for justice Grant us the courage to extend our hands in the acts of mercy, service, and peacemaking. Next is, O oh God of all creation, uh, grant us your peace. We understand that we are made of the same substance as all living things, yet fail to grasp your, uh, your vision um, of the sacredness uh, of creation. Make us more aware and weave us into... Uh, into your oneness grant us grant us a glimpse of your love 
for, crea for creation in all its forms and compassion to act in ways that respect and honor the genius of your master plan of the universe. And last but not least, O oh God of peace, we offer ourselves as vessels of your grace and peace so that from where we stand, waves of your loving presence will immaculate and bless the Lord. Uh, go with God. Go with Jesus Christ. Remember to be humble to yourself, to your loved ones, to your family members, your friends, your church family, your co-workers, and anyone that you love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So that I really enjoyed. The, not that I didn't enjoy the last uh, last week's. This one really like hit home because I was like, wow, son of a bitch. I'm like, I was talking to Mercenary Man. I was talking to Pixel the other day. And I was like, you know, and Pixel even said it. Pixel, I don't remember which one you said it in, but you said something to the effect of, Fears, you can't get yourself down on what other people say. He goes, fuck those people, what they say. And he's like, all you should need to worry about is you, your life, the things that matter. And I was like, man, you're right. You're right. And for the most part, I do that. Like I said, every once in a while, they know how to dig the knife in. But I try and be humble with everybody and in, in everything that I do. And it's okay that not everyone likes me. You know, you can't please everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really wanted to share that with you because it really uh, hit deep. And I was like, man, I'm like, if this isn't a sign from God, I don't know what is, you know. And I wasn't trying to get like super, 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 you know, religious with you guys. But you guys know that my religion is really important to me. And I know some people are religious in the chat and some people are not. If you're not, then I understand. That's okay. I never force my religion on anyone. I offer advice and I offer like stuff like this, but I'm not saying like, you got to go to my church. You have to, you know, you have to pick a religion. No, 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 no. That's not me. I just offer, you know, stuff like this and say, either you like it or you don't. But um, yeah. Also, I did it for you guys. I, I forgot to tell my church family. Um, they were praying for my dad too. So when I stood up, they said, hey, John, they said, what's your good news? I said, well, I said, I've got two things of good news. I said, I uh, I said, my dad is finally out of the hospital. And they're like, oh, is he all better? And I was like, he's not all better. I said, we're not, I said, we're not out of the woods yet. But I said, at least he's at home and he's resting. And I said, he's going to see, I said, he's been seeing his doctor. And they're going to try and do some more chemo treatment. And I said, we'll get there. Uh, you know, I said, we'll get there. And I said, if we don't get there, you know, then I'm going to go home and say my goodbyes. and. I'll make my dad proud and we'll go from there. Actually, that kind of scares the shit out of me. You know, like I don't want my dad to leave, but you know, we all leave this earth sometime. And my dad said, I talked to him the other day and he said, I'm very, very proud of you. And I said, that means, I said, that means a lot to me, dad. And I said, I'm very proud of you too. I said, he said, I, I, I said, I'm proud of you for not giving up. And he's like, I'm not giving up, not even until the bitter end. And I was like, as I, I said, if I was in your situation, Dad, I said, I wouldn't give up either. You know, not at all. And so I stood up and said, so I said, if you guys could please continue to pray for my dad. And, they're, and they were like, oh, John, absolutely. And I said, so I said, my good news is, is that he's home. My mom's taking care of him. I said, I've been talking to my family almost every single day. I said, we're getting there. And I said, the second one is, um, I said, I have a job interview coming up. And they're like, oh, that's exciting. I said, it is exciting. I said, more money, better job, better company. Not that I don't like my company. It just is, uh, I don't want to be a security guard my whole life, you know? Like I said, fears, you got to strive for, you got to keep working up that corporate ladder, you know what I'm saying? And they were like, uh, so what are you going to be doing? I, I trust them. So I told them what I was going to be doing. Not that I don't trust you guys, but I'm telling you, I don't trust those trolls. They'll find a way. If I say anything about the job, they'll find a way to cancel my interview and tell this company horrible things about me, even though it's not true. I'm not even going to tell anything, you know, maybe one day I'll, if I get the job, maybe one day I'll tell you guys, but no D man's in the house. It's been a minute. It's been a while. He says, yo, I just uh, joined heroes and villains discord. Oh, nice. Well, uh, I guess hell froze over, D-Man, because so did I. I never thought in a million years I would join a Discord. But 
I owed it to heroes and villains to at least have a peek. You know, if, if, if it goes awry, I can always, you know, duck out, you know. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, it does – I agree with D-Man. It does look good. D-Man, uh, I hope you were here uh, for me to read uh, uh, the prayer candle. Um, they, they do that to kind of get – my church service going. They do it. They do it every Sunday. It's, it's it's awesome. I think it's a nice way to start the church service. You know, instead of just saying, "Hey, we're going to start." You know, sometimes they do the prayer candle. Sometimes they read a scripture. But sometimes reading, my, they're always trying to do it in a creative, unique way. So they're like, "Yeah, oh, reading a scripture is boring. Let's switch it up and do this." And I'm like, "That's cool. We can do that." So yeah. And I went with a purple shirt today. Now, I wore this shirt last Easter, but I've worn it a couple times since then. I was like, you know what? I'm like, I haven't bust that shirt out for church in a long time, you know? So uh, I said, I'll do that. Oh, D-Man says, oh, fears. Don't even go there. I'm always here. I'm just lurking in the shadows. D-Man, you don't have to be lurking in the shadows, though. Don't, don't turn into one of those fans. You know what I'm saying? You can always chat as much as you want, because you used to be a jibber-jabber in the chat. Keep being a jibber-jabber in the chat. Absolutely. Anyway, so to make a long story short, I stood up, I told him the good news about my dad, and then I said, I've got an interview coming up in a couple of days, and I told him how much it is. I said, it's going to be about 19 bucks an hour, and they're like, oh, wow, that's really good. I said, yeah, I said, that is really good, and I said, uh, just pray for me. I said, I hope I get it, and they're like, do you have any nice clothes to wear for the interview, John? I said, oh, absolutely. I said, the only thing I need to buy, I said, I've gained a little weight. So I said, I need to buy some nice dress pants. And I said, I'm going to buy some nice dress pants in a couple of days. So, yeah. So, yeah. No, don't, Pixel. No, buddy. Don't be doing that. Don't be don't be toying with fears and emotions. Anyway, so it was a good service. Anyway, back to Heather. So, we were putting all the Bibles away, and we were putting all the, uh, I was putting all, uh, all the, all the hymn, all the hymn books away. I said, "Fears, here's your chance." So I go up to her and her friend, and, and she goes, "Oh, hey, John, good to see you." And she goes, "Oh, she goes, I forgot to introduce you." She goes, "This is my friend Heather. She's thinking about." Um, uh, she goes, "Not only is she my friend, but she's my roommate. We have an apartment together." I said, "Oh, I said that's nice." I said, "Heather, I said I'm John. Very nice to meet you." And she goes, oh, John, thank you so much for helping me with the, with, with you know, with the prayer of the candle. I said, hey, no problem. She goes, I was a little nervous. She goes, I haven't had to do public speaking in a long time. And I was like, you get used to it after a while. And I didn't tell her that I had a YouTube channel. But in my mind, I'm like, I feel like I public speak all the time because I'm always in front of you guys. So I was like, you get used to it after a while. And she goes, uh, she goes, yeah, you seem so calm and cool up there. I said, well, I said. I'm kind of used to it. I didn't tell her that I have a YouTube channel, but I said, you know, when I was young, I said, I did the prayer candle like when I was young and stuff. And she goes, when was your first one? I said, I think I read the prayer candle like when I was seven or eight. I said, so that was the very first time. I said, then I was in a lot of high school and middle school plays. And I said, you just kind of get used to it after a while. And she's like, yeah, you, you seem so cool, calm, collective. And I said, that's just how fears is. I, I said, you know, to me, it's kind of like memorizing a script, you know, for a play. Once you have it down, you know, if you do it once, it's like riding a bike. You, you never forget it. And I said, so I said, uh, very nice to meet you. I shook her hand and oh my gosh, guys, her hand was so soft. And I was just like, fears, if she comes again, maybe not, I, I, I just got to do this real calm, cool, you know, like I think. I'll wait and see if she comes back to church. I'll wait. I'll wait and see if she comes back to church. And maybe after a few visits, like three or four, maybe I'll throw the idea like, hey, we should grab some coffee sometime. Like, Would you like to get some lunch after church? Uh, she was very beautiful, very cute. And she, man, she was wearing this really nice brown dress. And she was really nice. She had her hair like kind of curly. And I was like, She's a cute one, Fears. Don't fucking mess this up, you son of a bitch. You know, I was like, don't be a fucking idiot. So I was kind of striking up a conversation with her, and she said, I really appreciate you helping me with the prayer candle. I said, oh, I said, I said, no problem. So we'll see, guys. 
So at least Spears has some options. I'm still talking to that Ellie girl off the dating site. And then I got to meet a really nice girl my age, finally, thank God. I'm like, no more young girls at church and no more old people like 90. I'm like, I can't date a woman 90. No offense to all the old ladies out there. Not my cup of tea. I respect my elders, but I'm like, you know, can I just get like a nice girl, 33, 34-ish? You know, hell, 28, 29, you know, come on. And I honestly don't know how old Heather was. She looked around my age because you never ask a girl her age. But I could tell because she kind of had like fears. I could kind of see a few gray hairs. So I was like, well, obviously, I said, obviously, she's got to be at least over 25. I said, because I said, I started getting a couple of gray hairs around 25, 26. So I said, I know that. And she, she kind of had them like, fears kind of get some in here. Sometimes I get them in my sideburns too. And I get a few back here. Thank God I don't have any gray hairs up here yet. I think I've had like one or two and I pulled them out. But she was very, 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 very sweet. And very, 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 very nice. And so if she comes back to church again, uh, I may have to talk to her friend and be like, um, I'll probably ask her friend's permission be like, hey, do you think it would be cool if I like asked your friend out, you know, for a cup of coffee or something? I know her friend from church. She, her friend's pretty cool, uh, but her friend's already taken. Her friend's already got like a guy, and her friend, I just consider consider a friend. She, her friend's not really my type. Now Heather is my type. She's very sweet. She's very nice, very adorable, super sweet, can hold a conversation. Uh, she, she got, she, she has bonus points. You, you guys know me and girls with tans. I don't know what it is, but I like girls with tans. I don't, I don't know why she had a nice golden Brown tan. And I was like, Oh, this is fucking great. So we'll see. Shout out to mercenary man. What up? He says, shout out to pixel L protocol. Shout out to mercenary man. There it is. Uh, let's see here. Let me scroll up. I'm, um, let's see. I'm. Hero says, off to Walmart to do some shopping. Catch you later. If you're still on, I'll get on. Yeah, man, if you're still on, I'll throw you the link. If not, I'm going to throw Richie the link. Richie says, uh, what's up, D-Man? Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, Mercenary Man says, what up, Fears? What up, Mercenary Man? So, Mercenary Man, I don't know if you heard, but I got to meet a really nice, sweet girl at church. Her name's Heather. She's very, very lovely. She's very, very sweet. So we'll see. And uh, I don't know if it was a sign from God, mercenary man, but it was like their their uh, their their theme today was be humble. And I was like, holy shit! I'm like, me and mercenary man were talking about this like a couple of days ago in the chat. Sam and me were talking about it like a little bit in our video game stream. Uh, Pixel was Pixel said something about it last night. I was like, if this isn't a sign from the big guy upstairs, I don't know what the fuck. It is, you know what I'm saying? So it was all about being humble. Being humble. And it said, uh, oh, wait, I already read that. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, I already read the call to worship. And then I I didn't do, Mercer, I didn't do the prayer candle, but a girl that I met, she was very, very nervous to go up and do public speaking by herself. So the pastor said, hey, Fears, would you go up there with her and light the prayer candle? Just kind of stand with her. And if she needs help reading it, I said, yeah, I said, I'll assist her. So she read this. And because we had all been talking about it, I asked her, I said, hey, do you mind if I keep this? I said, me, I, I, I said, uh, I just said my friends because I didn't want to tell, you know, her that I had a YouTube channel yet, you know, so um I just said, hey, I said, me and my friends were kind of talking about this a couple of days ago. And then I got in the car, and as I'm driving, I'm like, when I do my stream today, I'm like, they're not going to believe. It was like total coincidence. Like the pastor was like saying, like, you know, you got to be humble to yourself, to your friends, your family, your coworkers, everybody. And then when he when he started riffing, you know, into his into his uh, his his main uh, like uh, theme of, of, of the service. He, uh, it was like he, he, he was talking about being humble. And then a side paragraph was, so I'll give you an example. He goes, if someone says something negative to you, the best thing is to ignore them, 
walk away, turn the other cheek. And in my mind, I literally thought of humorous theory, man. I thought of pixel. I thought of the whole chat. And I was like, easier said than done. But I said, fears is pretty good. I said, I've got our, well, I should say I've gotten a lot better. Randy said, you've made tons of progress. Sam has said, you've made tons of progress. Even you guys have. And I told Randy the other day, I said, I've been doing good. Just every once in a blue moon, they find a way to like dig the knife in. Not too bad, but yeah. And it was like, wow, this is fucking deja vu. And and then, then my pastor was like, he goes, you have to be humble to yourself. You have to learn to forgive people. And then in my mind, I was like, well, certain people. I said, there, I said, there's some people that I'm not going to. And then in my mind, I said, sorry, pastor. But I said, you don't know what they've done. But most people I can forgive. Most people. So God, I'm sorry. But yes, but it, I'm telling you, uh, Mercenary Man, it was like fucking deja vu. I was like, I have to read this to my fans. So I'm going to put this on my fridge right next to the last week's prayer candle because they're both really good. So I thought, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you guys want me to keep reading these, I will. I don't know if I can read every single one because sometimes people like to keep their prayer candle know that they read. So, but Heather didn't want hers. And she's like, oh, John, she's like, take it. She goes, if you liked it that much, I said, I, I really appreciate it. I said, yeah, I said, this one really struck a chord with me. So I said, uh, and she goes, what about last week? I said, last week's was good. I read last week's. I said, because I read it, that struck a chord with me. But I said, this struck a chord with me more because I said, I'm always working on being as humble as I possibly can. And she's like, oh, that's good. That's good. She's like, yeah, take it. And I said, but it was lovely to meet her. So Hopefully we, we get to see Heather next week at church because I would love to spend more time with her and get to know her because she seems like a lovely young woman. And she's around my age. I don't know what age, but I could tell she was in like either her late 20s or 30s because I saw some gray hairs. Not too many, but I could tell she dyed her hair too because it was starting to come out and a little bit, uh, not much, but a little bit. And I was like, all right. I'm like, gray hair is a good sign because I said, that's not too old, but it's not too young. And I said, and so I, uh, you never ask a girl her age. So I was like, all right, I fears can figure this out. I'm like, she's somewhere between 27 and 39, somewhere in there. I said, I don't know where, but it's in there somewhere. So fears is good. So I will keep you guys updated and I hope I don't fucking puss out and not ask her out because I think me and her would have a good time. We'll see. If not, you know, no worries. There's no, there's more fish in the sea. And I can still talk to Ellie off the dating app. It's good to have a lot of options, but I felt like I kind of bonded with Heather. She was super nice. So I don't know. We'll see. I hope so, you know. But if not, you know, you know, at least she at least she's a sister in Christ, you know. So there it is. So we'll uh I'll let you guys know. Triple is here, and he says, Fears, when you see a single girl at church, it's one versus 30 with you and the other guys. Uh, but then you see a taken girl, and it's only one versus one. Yeah, but I'm being honest, uh, Triple. There's a lot of older people that I go to my church. There's only, like, a couple of young guys like me. There's me and then... Remember, uh, my friend Matt, he was in, he was in the Easter, uh, vlog. Uh, he, he brought his son. So Matt's already taken. Matt already has his wife, Jen. So I don't have to worry about Matt. One, cause Matt is a cool guy and he's my, and, and he's my friend. And plus Matt's already got children and he's already got Jen as a wife. And then it's me, Matt are the young guys. And then there's the young girl, like Heather's friend. She's around our age. And then there's like, Two or three other guys that are like really like like when I say young, not real young, but like young, like my age, and then a lot of the other people are just a lot of a lot and a lot of older couples. The oldest couple, there's this old guy. He, I, God bless him. He is like the coolest guy. He, he has like a veteran's hat that he wears. This guy, I don't know if he was in World War II or. Whatever the fucking war was after World War II, but he always wears a veteran's hat. And on his hat, he's got a bazillion 
like medals and pins. And I was like, man, I give that guy a lot of fucking credit, dude. And he's like 85. And then like his wife is like, his wife's older than him. So if he's 85, she has to, I don't think she's 90 yet, but she's pushing 90, like 88, 89, somewhere around there. And they still drive and they still had go on date night. He told me like one day at church and I was like, you guys still do date night after all you, he goes, Oh yeah. And I was like, that's awesome. Like that is so cool. And he wasn't around his wife, but I just asked, I said, what's a typical date night for, and, and he goes, Oh, we like, we go watch a movie. Well, uh, you know, we feed the birds in the park and stuff. And I was like, that's cool. Right on. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right. Heroes and Melons says, thanks for the love, guys. Always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. He'll be back. He's off to Walmart to fiddly fart around and get those Walmart deals, those great, those great value deals. I get them too. Don't worry, Heroes and Melons. I, like the, the coffee I bought. If I go over there right now, I could show you guys. I don't want to, but it's all great. You know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll show you right now. It's all about the great value deals. Give me a second. All about those great value deals, man. Because why spend like $10? Fuck that noise on like Folgers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Look at that. $2, my friends. Check this out. $3. Would Fears spend $15 on Folgers? Uh, hell no. Why well, spend 15 when you can get like three or four bucks? And the coffee still tastes amazing. You know what I mean? Give me a second. I was sitting on my foot, and my fucking uh, foot is goddamn numb now, so it feels like my fucking leg is broken and shit. Oh, man. I was sitting on this fucking leg from here Literally, from here down, it's fucking numb. Whew. You guys ever did that? Oh, man, it fucking sucks. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Give me a second. My fucking... Oh, I'll never do that again. I sat on my leg to prop me up because I'm a short motherfucker. And I got up, and my fucking leg, it was like tingly and shit. Whew. Fucking hell. Uh, Triple says, I'm just joking around. Well, I, I, that's what I thought, Triple. But I was like, you never know. I might, I just have to explain it, you know. Uh, Pixel says, dog bless. Hell yeah, Pixel, because you've got what? You've got three dogs and, hang on, you told me this. Let's see if I can get, don't tell me, hang on. You told me in a stream, me and Sam, I think you put in the video game stream. One, one of your dogs is blind, three dogs and... You've got some random cats that, like, come to the door, but they're not yours, but you feed them, right? Let me know if I was right. You said they're kind of stray cats, and you just don't have the heart to, you know, say, hey, go away, which I wouldn't either. If, there, if some stray cats were outside my door, I'd be like, well, fuck. I'm like, I don't want them to starve, so let me get some food, you know? Let's see. Richie says, fears. We need to have a fears disc. That'll never happen. I don't mind being in my Heroes and Villains buddies one. But nah. I, I don't need one. I don't need one. Hell, I tell you guys everything right here, you know? My life's pretty much an open book. Probably the only thing I would never tell you guys is, like, really personal. Like, if I got into a relationship, I would tell you minimal things about the relationship but I wouldn't tell you super personal stuff because it's none of your business, you know? Like, kind of the way I did it with Casey, you know? I said, oh, we're going to go on a date here. We're going to go on a date there. Yeah, things are going good. Then I never said what, what we actually, all of our personal shit, because it's no one's business but me and hers, you know? Well, it was, you know what I mean? Pixel says, yes, three stray kitties. That's what I thought. I thought I said it was, but I forgot the name of your dogs, Pixel. Uh, Oh, you told me them. 
You're going to have to remind me, buddy. I can't remember. Anyway. Uh, Triple says, we were talking about rocket launchers the other day. The first rocket going to the moon in 50 years is launching tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning fears. Nice. Nice. Well, dude, I have to get this job thing situated because the fucking guy, not my boss, like the recruit guy, the recruitment, like replacement, like reassignment guy, like I interviewed for the, the job, you know, the, you know, the other day and he's like, oh, fears, something got fucked up. And I'm like, what? And I already told you guys the story. And it's like, well, he's like, it was yours, but then some girl beat you to it. So now I can only offer you like three days a week. And I'm like, well, obviously I need th more than three days a week. He goes, I know. He's like, just call the fucking office on Monday. Like, and I was like, I got, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'll do it. I'm like, don't worry. And he's like, you're not mad. I'm like, I'm not mad. I'm like, I just want to get back to work ASAP. And then he was like, hey, good luck on your, you know, like, on, you know, like, they'll get you something. And he's like, I thought, you know, I thought your boss said it was temporary. I'm like, no, no, he didn't. And he's like, oh, I thought he did. And I'm like, no. I'm like, he thought he did, but he didn't. And I said, I thought it was a permanent spot. But I, I didn't tell them, well, I'm trying to find a second job or a better job. My dad always told me it's easier to find a better job if you already have a job. So, but even if I get another job, I'll probably just keep rocking there, you know, money, money, money's money, money, money. unless it's like an epic job. Like, you know, like I, I get, if I get the $19 an hour one, then I won't be living paycheck to paycheck and I can actually save some money and I'll only have to have one job and it won't be security. So yeah. 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 Mercenary man. I, I understand accidents happen, but the gig should have been mine. I don't know why. I don't know why or how the girl security guard beat me to it. Maybe she heard about the job because I remember I drove up to the corporate office and driving to the corporate office is a pain in the ass. So that's why I'm not do. I'm not driving up there on Monday because that's just gas money that I need. I drove up there the other day. It's like an hour. Well. Without traffic, it's an hour. With traffic, because there's always traffic in Florida. That's why I always try to leave as early as I can whenever I have to drive up to the corporate office. Without traffic, you're looking at a good 45 minutes to an hour. Around there. Somewhere around there. If there's traffic, I guarantee you it's an hour and 20 minutes. I've clocked it on, uh, on my phone. I've just hit timer and then go. Put my put my uh, phone in the seat, mercenary man. Stopped it right when I hit, hit right when I hit the parking lot and and parked my car. I went, yeah, just like clockwork. An hour and twenty minutes, fears. Rad. So yeah, yo visions. He says, what's up? How was church? Church was phenomenal. You missed you missed all the church stuff, but visions. If you want, you can always go back. Uh, it was awesome, and it really struck a chord with me. I mean. Going to church always struck, you know, supposed to sh sh struck a chord with you in some way. But today it really struck a chord with me because they were talking about being humble with everyone in your life, but especially yourself. And I said, I am humble with you guys, myself, my friends, my family, but I, there's always room for improvement. Not just with being humble, it, there's that in everything of fears is life, you know? Like, one thing I'm really trying to work on, mercenary man, one thing I love about you, you always call me on my shit. And you know what I mean. If, I, if I'm if i like, oh, like, I'll, like out of nowhere, every, it'll be fine. We're having a stream. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, yeah, that fucking, and then I say the troll's name. And then all of a sudden, mercenary man, I'm like, you know, fears, there was no need to mention that guy's name. And you'll even write it in the chat, like, another random hilarious, you know, saying that person's name by John Fears when he didn't have to say their name at all. I've been really trying not to say them. I've been trying to ignore them. Not even bring them up. Only bring them up when I absolutely positively have to, if we ever have to, which I hope not. You know? And then I told my dad, I talked to my dad today, and he's like, are you still applying for jobs? And I said, well, I took a break over the weekend, but I said, I have been applying. And he goes, when's your interview? And he goes, I'm really proud of you. He goes, and I said, dad, that was the second application I did. And he went, he went, oh, well, that's awesome. I said, it is awesome. He goes, how much is it? I said, well, I said, it starts at 19. But I said, if you 
work hard. They said within six months, he goes, we could bump you up to 20 or 21. And my dad's like, well, that's awesome. And I said, uh, yeah. And then he's like, are you still going to do that flight attendant thing? I said, I want to. And I said, and I said, did mom tell you my plan? And he goes, well, he goes, I'm on a lot of medication. So he goes, if my mom, he goes, if your mom tells me something, sometimes I remember it. Sometimes he goes, I've been falling asleep a lot. I go, dad, it's fine. I'm like, take as many naps as you want. I'm like, you deserve it. Rest, get better. That's all I fucking care about. I love you. And he goes, well, I care about your stuff. I said, when you wake up, we can talk about that shit. And he goes, so what's the plan? I said, well, I said, mom should have told you. But, and he, and my, then my dad was like, she probably did. I probably, I said, that's fine. If you forgot, don't worry. So my plan is if I get that big epic job, which I'm praying to God, if I get it, I promised my dad and I promised all you guys and myself, because when I went for that airline job, there was like three people put me in a room and said, you almost did it. They said, it sucks that everyone has to pass with a 90 or higher. And I looked at them and I said, well, what's almost? They said, you were close. You only missed two. And I said, so I said, so you can get 100. He goes, oh, yeah, you can get 100. He goes, but people usually don't care about getting 100. And I said, well, what do you mean? They said, you can miss tons of questions and go all the way down to a 90 and still pass the test. And they said, you were so damn close. And I said, well, how close? And they said, you got an 88. It was either an 88 or an 89. I can't remember. And I was like, fuck. I'm like, I was close. And I didn't say fuck, but I, I think I said like I was professional. So I was like, oh, geez, I was close. And they're like, yeah. And they're like, so they're like, we hope that you come back and try it again someday. Because they said, you're funny. And they said, which I thought was great. I said, you don't really need to be funny to be a flight attendant. But it's good if you're funny because you get to entertain people You know, while you're up there. They said, you're funny. You know how to talk to people. They said, we love the energy. They said, it's good that you have, are not scared to tra- uh, not scared to travel. They said some flight attendants are petrified, and then we have to like wheeze them into it. And I'm like, no. I said I've been flying since I was five years old. I said my first trip was overseas to visit my British family. I was like five or six. And they said, oh, so you've been traveling for a long time. I said, yeah. I said I've been to England like between 25 and 30 times. And they said, well, they said how is that? I said, well, I said my dad's from Missouri and my mom's from England. And they were like, oh, that's cool. I said, it is cool. I said, not many people can say they've been to England like 30 times. I said, very blessed. Very, very blessed. And they're like, we really hope you try it again. And I said, oh, yeah. I said, I'm going to try it again one day. I should have did it like maybe once before I moved. But I got the job at Disney. And I thought, you know what? I'll give that a go. Unfortunately, I lost it because of the fucking COVID shit. So if COVID never existed, I'd still be at Disney. So that fucking sucked. But I was like, you know, one one door closes, another door opens. Oh, sorry, uh, Visions, I need to take off your thing here. Um, I kept it on, I kept it on for the longest time. To answer your question, Visions, church was fucking epic, and I really learned a lot today. And I read, uh, where the hell is it? I read the call to worship, which is right there, and then. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys something else. So before I read the other thing, and then Visions, I don't know if you heard, but I really met this really nice girl. Oh, my Lord. she She's not like flame and model hot, but she's not like Creature from the Black Loon. She, I would like, I'd give her like a solid eight. It's that cute factor. You know what I'm saying? Super cute, super nice. She's funny as hell. We were joking around. I was like, I've got to find a way to ask this girl. But I was like, I'm not going to ask her out the very first time we meet. I said, I'll, and she came with a friend and her friend always comes to church. Her, her, her friend is her roommate, their roommates. And uh, I know I, I told you guys this, but vision hasn't heard it. So I'm trying to sum it all up. So she was a kind of afraid to go up. She doesn't do a lot of public speaking. And they asked her to do the prayer candle. And my pastor came up and said, John, you're not scared at all. You know, he goes, you're, you live on a stage. I said, like, no, I said, and I didn't tell him that I always talk to you guys, but it feels like I'm on a stage because I'm always talking to you guys. I'm always center screen. I was like, I'm not scared. And they said, you've done a lot of plays and stuff. They said, just go help Heather. And I was like, that's cool. And I said, Heather, I said, you read this. I said, I'll light the prayer candle. I'll stand next to you. I said, if you get stumped on a word, I'll just, I said, if you want me to read the rest, I'll come in for the rescue. And she goes, I'm really going to try and read it all myself. I said, that's cool. But I said, I'm here if you need me. 
she made it all the way through like a champ. And I said, if you want to go, I said, if you want to read it to me before church starts, we can. And so she read it once to me and I was like, you're, you're golden. So we do it, you know, uh, the service is good. And then after her, her really nice friend, her friend is not really my cup of tea, but her friend is like a friend of mine. She's really nice, but she's, I wouldn't date her friend, but Heather, absolutely. Heather is super sweet, super nice, funny as hell. Her tan is rocking, 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 rocking. Uh, super funny. And I was like, I've got to find a way to ask her out. But I said, Fears, you can't fuck this up. I said, don't ask her out right away. I get to know her. And so I said, hey, I said, so I think, are you going to keep coming back? She goes, well, I came this first time with, you know, you know, you know, my friend always comes. I said, yeah. I said, your friend's been here ever since I joined, you know, this church. And she's like, have you always went to this church? And I was like, no, 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 no. I said, I am with this church, but back in Missouri. I said this, I said, I said, I can't go to my Missouri church. That's the same as your guys' church. Because my religion, they have many of them throughout the United States, more than I thought, actually. I thought it was, I thought our religion was only in the Midwest, but when me and my dad did a Google search, there's one in Alaska, for Christ's sake. And I was like, I didn't know that. My dad's like, hey, John, even my dad was like, hey, John, even farther, Hawaii. And I was like, really? He goes, yeah. He goes, there's like four or five of them in Hawaii. I was like, that's awesome. So he's like, so yeah, if you ever took a vacation there and you want to go to church, boom, on the main island, there's two. And I was like, that's fucking the big island. The what is it? The fucking um, oh god, I forgot what it is. Not Maui or or the oh, what, it, oh, what the fuck is it? Um, I think Maui or it's like the fucking is the little one, Honolulu. The the big the fucking main island one. The one with the fucking dog the bounty hunter. He's always on that fucking shit. So yeah, and I was like, I didn't know they had one on there. So we get to talking visions, and I, I can totally feel a vibe. And I was like. All right, ask her, ask her fears if she's going to come back. So I said, oh, so I said, you just came this one time with your friend. She goes, well, uh, she goes, I wanted to start going to church. And I knew my roommate because uh, her friend that goes to church is her roommate too. They, they have an apartment together. And I was like, oh, I said, you guys are roommates. I said, and I looked at, I looked at her friend and said, uh, oh, you never told me that you had a roommate. She goes, oh, it just never came up. And I said, oh, yeah, that's cool. And she goes, well, and then Heather was like, I really want to start going to church. I said, this is a nice church. Cause in my mind, I'm like, I got to get her to stay. You know, I was, and I was like, oh, this is a very nice church. I said, but I, I wasn't lying. It is a nice church. And I said, you should totally come next week. She goes, yeah, we'll see. She, and so I hope she comes next week. So my plan is to like visit with her a few times, maybe like three or four times at church. And maybe the fifth time, just mention, just mention like, Hey, like, do you want to grab some lunch after church? Or do you want to grab a cup of coffee? And we'll see what she says. And thank God, I think her friend was trying to help me because when we were chatting out of nowhere, she said, uh, so John, like, are, are you enjoying living in Florida? I said, oh, I said, I love it. And she goes, do you miss Missouri? I said, oh, I said, you know what? I said, I don't miss the cold weather and the ice and the storms and all that. I said, I only miss snow around Christmas time. I said, there's people decorating goddamn palm trees out here. She goes, I know, isn't it crazy? I said, well, I said, I, I said, John cannot have a palm tree in his house. I said, I always got to have a Christmas tree. That's just tradition. She goes, oh, I'm the same. And then she's, then her friend visions was getting kind of more personal. She's like, so since you've been here, like, have you met anyone? I said, I did meet someone. And I said, I wish it would have worked out, but I said, unfortunately it didn't work out. And then she's like, well, and then she said the almost the same thing you guys said. Well, fears one door closes, another door opens. And she kind of said it in her own way, right? And I, and I was like, yeah. I said, I said, listen. I said, you're absolutely right. And then she's like, so you're not seeing anyone now? And in my mind, I'm like, oh, thank God she said that. I said, now Heather knows that I'm single. So I think her friend was trying to help me out, but like doing it subconsciously, not being like, hey, fears, are you fucking single? You know? And I was like, I said, I am single. And then. Um, I said, uh, and then I just asked, said, Heather, uh, what about you? She goes, oh, I've, I've seen some people, you know, within the past year or two, but she goes, not, not, she goes, nothing worth, you know, keeping. And I said, I understand. I said, I've been there, done that. And then she's like, I'm still looking for Mr. Right. And I said, oh, I said, I'm sh sure you'll find him, find him. And for a moment, I was like, oh, fears, why the fuck did you say that? 
But I was just trying to be nice and I didn't know what to say. And I was, you guys know, when they get to a level of hotness, I get kind of jittery and nervous. But Heather's like on the borderline. Like she's hot, but she's cute. And I was like, fears, just do not act like a fucking idiot. So I tried to keep it as cool as possible. And I said, I said, you know what? I said, don't rush it. I said, I'm sure you'll find Mr. Wright at some point. She goes, oh, yeah, I'm not in a rush. She's like, when he comes, he comes. And I was like, yeah, that's good. And, and I and she goes, well, I hope to see you, you know, next Sunday. I said, oh, I said, me too. So let's put it this way, Pixel. I mean, uh, Visions, it was a good first meeting. It went well. It went well. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's go to the next topic. Let me read some of the comments. But I'm very excited. So I know that was a long answer, Visions, but uh, church was epically amazing. Epically amazing. I got one more thing to talk about. Remember how, um, you know, I did the big Easter egg hunt and all the kids loved it. Me and Matt, they actually put, you know, Matt, he, he's got, he's got the wife, Jen, and then he's got uh, two sons. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A daughter, a, a daughter and a son. They put us in charge of hiding all the eggs, which was really fun. And Matt was like, Hey, fears next Easter. Do you want to do that? I was like, I don't mind if they ask me. And he goes, well, I'm asking you. And I was like, I said, it's a bit early to think about that. And I was like, but yeah, sure. And he goes, well, I need your help. He goes, there's an event coming up in a couple of months. And I said, what is it? So the, the next event is, but, but see, I didn't tell Matt that I may, I haven't decided if I'm going to move back to Missouri or not. I think I'm going to stay and, I, and I'm just going to fly back and help my mom whenever she needs help. But I'm still thinking about it. And he goes, well, the next event is May 20th. He goes, we're having a big like fall festival. He goes, we're hiring like a band. And I said, okay. And he goes, do you think you can bring some like food? And I said, I'm not the best at cooking. He goes, no, no. He goes, you don't have to cook. He's like, can you just go to Walmart and get like a couple of like dessert pies and bring some soda? And I was like, I can do that. I'm like, I can Walmart it up. I can do that. And then he said, uh, 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 cause Matt's got a YouTube channel too. I forgot what his channel was. I haven't subscribed to it. He subscribed to mine. So the next time at church, I keep forgetting. I have got to ask him. I'm like, Matt, give me your channel. And he does, he does a lot of vlogs with his family, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I told him, I said, someday, cause I asked him, I said, Oh, I said, so you're trying to do the Roman Atwood thing. And he goes, kind of fears. He goes, but I guarantee you me and my family. He goes, not that I don't love my family. He goes, I love my family. He goes, but he goes, how Roman Atwood got fucking 15 million. I said, dude, I said, he's a great fucking vlogger. I said, that's how. And he goes, oh, yeah. He goes, he makes epic vlogs. And I said, but he, I said, he doesn't do many cuts, many edits. And I said, it's a lot of raw stuff. And he just does an like edit here and edit there. And he goes, who do you like better, Casey Neistat or Roman? I said, I love them both. But I said, if I only had to pick one, I said, it's got to be Casey Neistat. And he goes, yeah, but he barely uploads anymore. I said, I know it sucks. I said, I wanted to fucking upload more. And I said, but I get it. I said, he's been doing YouTube for so many, so many years. I said, now he has a second child. He's got a wife. And I said, and I, in one of his last videos, they're thinking about having another child. And I'm like, well, you know, he's he, he wants to have a, a big family. So I said, yeah, go for it. Yeah, good on you. But then he made a video a couple months ago saying, I miss being a YouTuber. So I thought, oh, well, maybe he's coming back. And Matt's like, oh, I saw that video, Fears. He goes, I thought the same thing. I thought he was going to come back. I said, I think he's only making a vi like a couple of videos a year now. I said, we'll see. I said, you know, you never know with Casey. I said, sometimes he really gets that itch and he keeps pounding out the footage. Other times he'll be like, eh, I'm so rich. I don't have to make a video for another five, six months. And he goes, isn't that crazy, Fears? I said, yeah. I said, he only needs to make like three or four videos a year and then he's fucking golden. And then I loved what Matt said. Matt's like, it must be nice. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to help with the, what's the uh, event called? Uh, the, 20, uh, the 2022 Fall Festival uh, Church Extravaganza. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it says, bring your family, bring your friends, bring your church uh, members. Uh, food, fun, worship, bring games, desserts drinks so i'm in charge of uh, desserts and drinks pretty easy that's not too that's not too hard fears will bring one of his favorites carrot oat cake and he's like really fears and i said oh i said matt it's a must and he's like well can you bring some pies I, like, I can do pies but i said i'm definitely bringing some carrot cake 
So yeah. So that was the whole thing, Vision. So uh, I'll keep you updated, buddy. I will keep you updated. I'll keep you. All right. Let me uh, scroll back because I'm probably way behind on the comments. But I, I hope everyone's been having a wonderful Sunday. Really good Sunday for me. Like I said, church after church, lunch after lunch, thrift store. I haven't shown it to you guys. Fears since I've been going through so much crazy shit with my family, my fucking work, trying to figure shit out. I was like, I am going to my favorite thrift store. And I'm either getting a shitload of Blu-rays or I'm going to buy just one epic thing. I wasn't going to get three Blu-rays, but then all of a sudden I saw this right here off in the fucking distance. And I was like, it was like calling to me. I was like, oh, I must need this. It's total nerdage, and you guys are going to love it. I was like, it was literally calling him. I was like, Fears, come. Come over here. You must buy me. You know, you must put it in your nerd collection in your apartment. Like, don't leave the store. You must, you must buy me. And it was like calling my name. I was like, I was like, I will come. I will, I will, I will come over there. I will buy you. If someone tries to grab you, I will launch them through a wall because I'm taking you home. I wouldn't have launched them through a wall. I'm just joking. Uh, but – I, I got some pretty good stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, Triple uh, oh triple says you might see the liftoffs from your house. Maybe. Listen, Triple, before I die, I think that's a really good idea. I would love to either go to Kennedy Space Center because that's where they do most of the launches. I know there's another place, Triple, right? There's two places where they do – what's what's the other fucking place they do the launch? Because, like – spacecrafts and all that that's right up fears alley i love rockets and all that because when i was a kid i mean i still love it as an adult but as a kid i really loved it hell i went to space camp for christ's sake uh and i don't care what it takes if they ever gave fears an opportunity to be the first youtuber in space oh i'd be scared shitless but i'd be going up picture fears with a vlog camera floating in mid-air in the international space station that would be the fucking vlog of the goddamn century. And if that if that wouldn't break me into 100,000, I don't know what the fuck it would, you know? That would probably put me over the top. But I don't know if it'll ever happen. But uh, NASA, if you see this, Fears is ready. I'm willing. I'm ready. Uh, I'll be scared. But I'll do that six months training and get Fears up there like a little champ of the night and let me float. And let me be Fears Man for five seconds, because then I could float through the air and literally fly for like five or six seconds. And I don't care what my mom would say. She'd probably think I'm nuts. Uh, if I went up, I'd be like, Mom, I've got a request. I'm like, you are making the Fears Man costume, and I'm wearing it up there. And my mom would be like, yeah, you're absolutely insane, John. I'm like, no, this has to happen. And I said, the YouTube fans have spoken. I have spoken. Fears must be flying in the Fears Man costume in space. And that would fucking happen. I don't care what it would take. If my mom wouldn't make it, I would learn how to sew and I'd fucking make it. Or I'd have Sam help me. Randall may know how to sew or knit or whatever the hell it is. So I could ask him for help. But where there's, where there's a will, there's a way. That would fucking happen. And you guys, you guys' minds would be fucking goddamn blown. You know you would. But. Yeah. So triple. I don't know where the other one is. Where are the other? Where do they? Where do they? Uh, oh, where do they do the other launch? So yeah. Pixel says that his dogs are now. I remember Pixel. Uh, I, now which one is the blind one? I'm sorry. Uh, it's Rosie, Ivan, and I don't know how to pronounce the last one. Babu. Or I don't want to mispronounce it. Uh, but hey, triple. If I see that launch from my house, that one that'll be most impressive. Two. Uh. It'll just be awesome to see in the air. Uh, Richie says, uh, do you have a Discord account? If yes, uh, would you join my Discord? Uh, I don't know exactly how Discords work, Richie. Uh, Pixel and Heroes then kind of help me. I know I I made my name because Heroes sent me the link and it said, would you like to be invited? I clicked yes, and then it took me like five or ten minutes because it's been that long. I was like, how the hell do you write a message? I had to write Pixel, and Pixel was like, Fears, look over to the left. I felt like such an idiot because I've only been in one uh, Discord, and it was a bad experience, and it was like nine or ten years ago. I kid you not, or probably more than that. But I said, I will at least check out Heroes because he's a good buddy of mine. So I said, well, I owe it to him. 
Vision said, uh, look over. I'm sorry, I mean, uh, Pixel said, look over, and it's down, and it said general chat. I was like, okay, now I got it. I swear, Pixel, I was, tr- you know that little fucking box in the middle? I was trying to write that, I was like, why won't, I said, why will it let everybody else write, but why can't Fears write? And I'm clicking on it at the bottom, and I'm like, nothing's fucking happening. And I was like, all right, I'm like, I'll just give up tonight, and then I'll I'll figure it out tomorrow. But I did figure it out. But uh, so I don't know if I have an account, Richie, but I've got a name. I've got my name. I guess that's my account. I I don't know. Go into go into um, I sent Pixel a friend request in there. I sent Mercenary Man one. So look out for my friend request, Mercenary Man and Pixel. I sent one to um, Tyler. So Tyler, I did check out Hero because Tyler asked me a while ago, "Hey, Fears, did you ever check out uh, Heroes?" And I said, "I did check it out. I said it looks pretty cool." I said, "I'm still kind of checking everything out." I said, "Because I'm still kind of new to Discord," but I said, uh, "So far, so good." And I I sent Tyler a friend request. So Richie, just send me a friend request, and I'll figure out how, how to accept it and all that crap. So yeah, I'll figure it out, and then if I become your friend on there. Then just kind of write me a message in there and be like, Fears, this is where you go to join mine. I'll think about it, Richie. I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no, because I don't want a bunch of craziness happening. I'm just gonna, I'm kind of dipping my toe in to see how 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 it goes. If it becomes too crazy, I'm ducking out. So yeah. Let's see. Mercer says, you should have tried again for that cycle right after. I did. I was like, listen, I'm like, there has to be a way. And they're like, well, they're like, she already beat you to it, Fears, and something got lost in the communication. And then I was like, yeah, but you called me. I said I went for the interview. And really, it was, it's not really an interview, Mercer, man. It just, you go to meet the people that you're going to be providing new security for. And then you tell them what happened to the last one. So I said, well, the last one was temporary. Uh, me and a couple of officers were at that one. The uh, the company wanted to save some money, so they went from five security guards through the day to three security guards. One and they said, "Oh, they said, yeah, we get it. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the graveyard." I said, "Absolutely." I said, uh, "Sometimes in the graveyard it would be me and somebody else." I said, "Sometimes at night it would just be me if I'm, you know." And they were like, uh, "Any special requests?" And I I told them literally. I said, "The only request I have." I said, I would love to have, or I'm sorry, I had two. I said, I would love to have two consecutive days off in a row. I said, if that can't be possible, I said, I at least need Sunday off for church. And then I don't have, I don't mind having Monday off. I said, I'll work Saturday. And the guy was like, yeah, we should be able to accommodate you. And I said, okay, cool. And I think this is where some miscommunication came in. Apparently, I guess he had already interviewed the girl before, but I guess he thought she was going to be late. so. She- He took me, I guess, first or something. Something went awry because then he called me the next day. And it was literally like right before we started the stream with Sam. And he said, unfortunately, I can't accommodate Sunday. I thought I could, but the people that want security at this company said, oh, no, it's a no-go. We need a lot of security on the weekends. So he said, unfortunately, I said, well, I said, I'm very religious. So I said, can I said, can you just, I said, could I talk to someone? And, And they were like. They're like, no, like we get it, we understand. They said just some companies will accept that and some won't. So that was one thing. And he goes, also, he goes, I already had like kind of promised you and this girl and the other girl beat you to it. But he goes, we'll find you something fears. And then my boss called, and he goes, oh, fears, I heard about it. And I was like, yeah, I'm like, it's it's a bummer, but whatever. And he's like, yeah, he's like, but I feel bad. He goes, I, he goes, I, you had to came up at the corporate office, wasted all that gas. I was like, dude. Listen, I said, don't worry about it. I said, accident happened. I said, you know, I said, just find me something. I said, just find me something else. And he goes, call me Monday. He goes, and I'll either have you drive up. No, call him. I, if I have to drive up, I absolutely will if I have to. And then, I, but I told him, I said, if we can do it over the phone, that would be fantastic. He goes, oh, yeah, it was, I get it. Gas is expensive. And I just said a polite yes. I was like, oh, yeah. I said, yeah, if you could just call me, that'd be great. He goes, or, all right, you call me. And I was like, I'll call you. You call me. I said, I'll call you. I said, as soon as I get up, I'll get up early, 9, 10. I'll give you a little ring. And he goes, if I have to have you come in, will you come in? I said, of course. And But I said, if I don't have to come in, 
just tell me what my new thing is over the phone. So I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, it was pretty crazy, mercenary man. All right, let's see here. Let me scroll down here. Wow, Pixel is uh, getting ahead of himself. He goes, "Oh Lord, Heather Fears has a nice ring to it." Let's, but let's just Pixel. I know you mean good intentions, buddy. But let's just let's just see if we can get a cup of coffee, a hangout, or a lunch date. Let's see. If, uh, let's try that first. Let's try that first. I'll keep you guys updated, you know. Maybe Ellie will beat her to it. Maybe Heather will beat, you know. So I'm keeping my options open. I'd rather have a lot of options than no options at all, you know. Uh, I'm still going to invite Richie in as soon as I get done. And I'm going to wait a little bit on Heroes because I don't know if he's still at Walmart. So Heroes, let me know. You know what? I should grab my phone and turn it on because if he texts me and says, hey, I'm back, then I can just throw him the link. So give me one second. By the way, um, I don't know if you guys saw this. I don't remember the girl, the girl's name that that does Tommy NC 2010's comic book, but Fears, man, this is fucking epic. Tommy said, Fears, you have got to have Fears, man, in my second comic comic. And I said, Why wouldn't I? I said, He's my character. I love Fears, man. To get free publicity and and promote him in a comic book? Oh, hell yeah. And, oh, it's Debbie. I'm, that, that's right, Debbie. Debbie's uh, his illustrator. This was the very first epic cartoon drawing that she did of Fierce Man. Randall loved it, too. And I said, you have to give it to me so I can put it as my backdrop. I think she's going to draw me a new one so I can put a new one. Because I've had this one chilling on there for like nine months. Look how epic that is. She got the eyes right. She did the mask right. How Randall draws it, the cape. I was like, "This is fucking goddamn spectacular." And then she's like, "Oh, fears, don't worry. I've got some new versions of that." I was like, "Oh, please send me one so I can put it on my phone." And she's like, "Oh, don't you worry. I will." And I was like, "So the ones I've seen, I'm like, oh, this is. We're so close to the fears man cameo in a fucking real life comic book. I know it isn't Marvel." But it's, it's the right step in the right direction. So an epic little comic. And then wouldn't it be great if I could show that comic to like Marvel or someone in DC? I don't care. If I had to pick, though, I would want Fears Man on Marvel's side. Nothing against DC, but uh, the only, I mean, I only like like three or four characters on DC's side, if I'm being honest. I love way more characters on marvel uh like on dc of course the first one's superman second one's batman uh the flash is cool aquaman's all right and pixel who's the fucking silver guy in the avengers he's got like a red um oh it's not a red eye it's he oh it's like laser man or some he's got a fucking laser no it's not laser man hang on it's uh Oh, I can figure this out. It's fucking Aquaman, Flash, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman. Uh... Oh, what the fuck is that guy's name? He's like the black dude, and he played football, and he got hurt or was in an accident or some shit. Um, he's like an athlete. Cyborg. Cyborg. So, yeah, he's cool. He's cool. Cyborg. Um so he's cool. So I'm like, it's only like a handful on DC that I like. Marvel, almost every single character on Marvel is fucking gold, Jim. Iron Man, hello, Tony Stark, billions of dollars. Fucking great guy. You know, Captain America, all American guy. You know, kind of like Fears. I'm the all American, you know, boy. Grew up baseball, soccer, a little bit of British in, in him, but my dad raised me on both sides, you know. Fears likes classic stuff, just like uh, Steve Rogers, you know, almost got the same exact haircut as, as he, you know, so people say this haircut's way too old. It's a classic, a classic never fucking dies. Never. Let's see. Rose is the blind one. Now, Pixel, I have to ask, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just curious. Was Rose born blind at your dog or she became blind? 
because that's that that really sucks, you know. I'm sure Rose is a lovely dog. I'm uh, like that's cool that you guys play together all the time, but man, that sucks that she's blind, dude. But hey, you know, at least she's got a loving owner like you, you know, to take care of her. So that's pretty fucking cool. That's what I thought, Triple. Okay, Triple says, I thought there was two, but he says pretty much all of them are at Cape Canaveral. Okay, at first that's what I thought. I thought there was another fucking, like, like launch site. But I think I'm getting it messed up. All this, all the launches there, and then in Houston it's like their central command or some shit. Um, I forgot what it's called. Um, uh, oh, God fears. You love space, and it was in... Tons of those space movies you love. It, it's like, um, oh, what the fuck is it? It's like Kennedy Space Center is like where the launches are, but th like their central command is like in Austin, Texas, which is hilarious. Why wouldn't they have the central command in Florida? Because that's where the launches are. It's like in a bunch of states over. Like, why would they have it way out there? But hey, whatever works, you know, whatever works. Uh, oh, Lord, I missed this one. Vision says, Fears, are you excited about your first threesome? Oh, my Lord. Come on, Visions. Listen, I love you, buddy. I love you, but I love you like a brother. But, man, that, that, that that's taking that dark humor a little bit too far. I haven't even asked Heather out yet, you know. Plus, her friend's not my cup of tea. I'm all about Heather. The other girl, she's a nice friend. She's very sweet, but she's just not... To me, I don't think she's date material. At least not my cup of tea. Heather's very much my cup of tea. So uh, I'll leave the threesomes uh, to you and your girlfriend and uh, whatever whatever other girl you choose. I'll be honest. I don't know if Fierce could even pull off a threesome. Like, I would get kind of nervous and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of pressure enough. You're in the bedroom with one girl. You know, like, you got to focus on her. But then all of a sudden, like another girl walks in. She's like, I'm watching you guys. Can I join in? Sure, you can join in. Like, Fierce, do you mind if I hold this while I get in here? You can go ahead and hold that. You can hold that. You can do whatever you want with that. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in that room, you know. So it's every man's dream to have a threesome, you know. But I don't, I don't, I, I don't know if I'm that slick to pull it off, you know. But if I am, that'd be fucking awesome. I wouldn't say no. It just the opportunities never came up. But if it up if an opportunity comes up, I will definitely let you guys know how, how that experience was. I'll be like, I'm not gonna give you a lot of details, but I'll be like, Fierce had a great night. See my big smile. It was a really good night. You know? But I don't know if I can I don't know if that'll ever come up. But hey, visions, go for it, buddy. You know, get in there with your girl with your girlfriend and uh get on some Mrs. Visions. And uh, I, I don't think you've ever actually told me your girlfriend's – well, actually, I shouldn't be talking about this because you said your girlfriend uh, watches sometimes. So I don't want to make her mad. Yo, what's up, Vision's girlfriend? But she thinks I'm funny. Like you told me she, she thinks I'm fucking hilarious. So right on. Plus, you brought it up, my friend. I did not bring it up. All right. Let's see. Uh, let me scroll down here. Um what else am I forgetting here? Let's see. Uh, we did the launch thing, Cape Canaveral. I'm trying to catch up with the chat. Uh, look towards the east at 8.30 a.m. Oh, that's too early for fears. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, Triple, I will be snoozing away. So I may miss it. May miss it. Pixel says, I accepted you on there. Okay, great. I appreciate that. Rose was born blind, yes. Oh, that sucks, Pixel. Man, that stinks. But... Like I said, at least she has a loving owner like you that will always take care of her. So that's fucking awesome. And you know what? I'm sure like her being blind pixel doesn't like, you know, stop or not even. I'm sure she's a big ball of energy and I'm sure she's running around playing with the playing with all your other doggies. So, you know, it all works out. Pixel says she knows her way around. She's super smart. Oh, that's good. That's awesome. Enzo is really smart. Super smart. You know, and then my mom uh, and dad sent uh, him to obedience school. That's the only thing he needed a little work on because he was kind of like fears, massive amounts of energy. And I was like, so if fears was ever a dog, I would be Enzo because tons of energy. So they kind of had to kind of hone the energy in. 
but now he knows all the commands. So like whenever I was there, I was like, I was like, Enzo, sit, lay, up, down, you know, come, feed. And my mom, my mom gave me a list of all the commands. I memorized them. She goes, if you say any one of these, John, Enzo will do that command. I said, I got it, mom. I said, when I'm at home, I said, when I'm not at the hospital, I said in my room, I'll just kind of study these. And then she's like, be sure to feed them. I said, I'll feed them every day. I'll take care of them. I'm like, no worries. So yeah, but that's cool, Pixel. That's good that she knows her way around. Uh, Vision says, Houston, we have a problem. Oh, classic Tom H Hanks line from Apollo 11. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, Apollo 13. I'm sorry. I can't believe I messed that up. Apollo 11's when they landed on the moon. I apologize. Apollo 13. My bad. Uh, for the threesome, you just got to get in there like a little champ in the night. See, now you're getting it, Pixel. Now you're getting it. Fears would squeeze on in there. Just. Just go ahead and move out of the way. Just let me get in there. And the reason why I say a little champ in the night is because Fears is a short motherfucker, and I will always be a short motherfucker. God did not bless me with the height. So all you trolls out there, I don't care if you make fun of my height because Fears has accepted that I am a short motherfucker. I will always be five foot six, unless they create a machine to stretch people's height. That I'm comfortable with five foot six. Hell, Pixel, I didn't know he was this tall. Pixel is fucking six foot six, you said, right? Whew. No, I'm not making fun of you, but it's going to be the most hilarious hangout, Pixel, because I kid you not. I'm going to be down here. You're way up there. Hey, Pixel, what's up, man? Like, hey, can you throw me a beer? Oh, and then he's like, oh, yeah, sure, fears. Whew. Thanks, buddy. You know, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of that. Unless, unless both of us, like, sit down in chairs or on a couch when we're gaming, you're going to be way up there and I'm going to be way down here, but we'll figure it out, buddy. We'll figure it out. This epic hangout must happen. Like we're buddies. I consider you like a brother, man. You're fucking awesome. You're a great friend. You always have been a great friend, except for that one time you really pissed me off and I didn't talk to you for about a week, man. Remember that? Whew, that was bad. So what's going on, Fierce? Well, I mean, the boycott's going on. You fucking son of a bitch. Like, oh man, I was so pissed. That's the most I've ever been pissed at Pixel. And Pixel, like, wrote me, and he's like, are you all right, Fierce? I'm like, no, no, I'm not all right. And he's like, well, he's like, I was just joking around. I'm like, I don't give a shit. You're, you're out of here. And I didn't talk to him for a week. I was fucking livid. I was, li I swear to God, Pixel. I was like, I, I called Randall, and Randall's like, Fierce, I've never seen you like this. I'm like, I'm like, he is fucking dead to me. Like, I was going ballistic. I was saying all sorts of shit. And I'm like, he had to fucking say it. And then Randall couldn't figure out. He's like, well, what did he say? I'm like, Randall. I'm like, I told him not to say that. I'm like, let's just drop it. No more fucking boycott shit, right? And he's like, all right, no worries, Fears. And then I said, two seconds later, Randall. And he's like, well, Fears, he goes, maybe it's not as bad as you think. I said, it? I said, it is. And I said, he, just, he won't give it up. And I'm like, oh, man. But I'm glad we worked it out, Pixel. Man, I was livid. You Like, okay. You know, I'm okay with calling myself tomato face. Like, they think that hurts me. I'm not. I have sensitive skin. I've accepted that one, too. I was tomato face to the fucking max. I, I was beyond tomato face. I was tomato goddamn soup. You know what I'm saying? It was bad. Oh, man, it was bad. But besides that, Pixel, I love you, buddy. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, let's see, uh, where did I leave off? She knows her way around the house. Oh, I, I read that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wait, I'm caught up. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. All right, moving on. So, yeah, so I cannot wait for next weekend. Lots of things going on with church. Can't wait for the interview. I'll keep you guys updated. And I hope, I really hope, uh, I really hope it wasn't like a one thing with Heather, you know, because she said, well, I'm thinking about coming to church. I'm just trying to find a good church. So I thought I would tag along with my friend. And I was like, oh, I hope to see you next week. I hope to see Heather next week. She was so nice. So nice. So I don't know. We'll see. All right, moving on. So uh, the reason why I picked Tom Green as a uh, topic that guy was like, well, he still is hilarious, but back in the day, man, he was hitting some gems like no other gems. This was before Jackass. My favorite 
little prank he ever did. I guess it was like spring break, like, oh, God, when was it? Like 2002 or whatever he had a show on. And he's on, he's just going ballistic out of his mind, terrorizing. I felt so bad for these people on this cruise. But it was funny because I got to watch it on the Tom Green show. That's his great work. He's done other good work. He's been in the movie and shit. The Tom Green show. Actually, he's had two versions of it. His first show was, I don't know what it was called. I think it was just the Tom Green show, and he did it in Canada. And then when it got Americanized, it was like the new Tom Green show, the one where he did even more hijinks. And that was the first kind of jackassy kind of stunts and pranks. And it wasn't like stunts. He would do these elaborate pranks that were genius. And my favorite one is called, let's see if you guys can remember this one, because I know I have a lot of, Young subscribers, you know, that are not near my age, like 20, 22. Um, there may be some young people follow me. I, I, you know, I don't know. Um, and then there's older people that follow. So let's see if you guys are – a lot of my fans in the chat right now are, like, in their 20s. Some are in the 30s and shit. So let's see if you guys can remember. This is the greatest, in my opinion, greatest stunt – oh, not even a stunt, greatest prank he's ever done. He's sitting in this room. He's got the mic, and the camera's, like, right in his face. And he goes, I'm on this cruise ship. I'm in this little room. I have some butter and we're going to make some announcements. And they have a hidden camera and, and all these people are like eating and shit. And he goes, I'm eating some salad right now. And he's like, somebody pour beer on this fucking douchebag's, uh, you know, uh, uh, head. And it's just some random guy. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, first of all, I'm like, why is he a douchebag? But I'm like, Tom Green just goes ballistic on this guy. He goes, I want everybody in the restaurant to pour beer on this douchebag right now. And magically, like 50 people are pouring beer all over this fucking guy. I'm losing my goddamn mind laughing at this. And I'm like, poor guy. I'm like, he's just trying to eat a salad, you know, and the main course is about to come up. And he literally said that. He goes, why me? Why me? He goes, I'm sitting with my family, eat my salad. All of a sudden, fucking board, uh, uh, beer is being poured on me. And then, like, his wife sitting right next to him. She goes, yeah, where's our steak? And he goes, forget the fucking steak. I'm covered in beer. And I'm losing my shit. And then, then he starts with the butter shit. And he goes, wrap him up in the tablecloth, and then I want you to put butter on the man's chest. Oh, no, first it was on his head. And then people are going nuts. More beer, more butter, butter and beer. And then he ends it with put butter on the man's chest. And then then he's done with that guy. And he's like, all right. He's like, somebody pour their drink on this waiter and throw some butter in his face, right? So they do it. All of a sudden, these people, these two guys, they've had it. You know, they are fucking fed up. I guess they, I don't know how, but in the video, they find out some way that he's the fucking culprit and they're banging on the little, the little closet that he was in and they cut a little hole out to put the hidden camera in. And he had his little computer there and he had the microphone and he go, and they're like, get out here. We want to have a talk. And they're standing in the hall and he's like, you don't do that shit, man. And he goes, you don't do that. He goes at the dinner table. And then he's like, what's going on here, man? He goes, we're just having some fun. And he's like, at the dinner table, man. He goes, yeah, but it's not like it's Christmas dinner or something. And he goes, you, and then the two guys are like, you know what? I hope someone sues your fucking ass over this shit. And he goes, he goes, we're, you know, I'm, I work for MTV. He goes, there's cameras everywhere. We're on a cruise ship. He goes, it's not a big deal. He goes, there's signs everywhere that says you are allowed to be filmed. We're making a YouTube, uh, uh, MTV show. And the guy's like, no, that's bullshit. He goes, yeah. He goes, I grant it. He goes, I see the sign. He goes, but it doesn't say, uh, hey, you're allowed to be filmed and fucking assaulted. And he goes, I didn't assault him. That's assault, man. He goes, he goes, by law, that is assault. And he goes, what, assault with a condiment? And he goes, I don't care what you say. He goes, that guy was trying to have fucking dinner. He goes, you assaulted him, man. And he's like, I was in a room. He goes, they must have assaulted him. And Tom's going nuts, but like in a funny way. And he's like, it's just butter. And the guy's like, that's assault, man. That is assault. He's like, by law, that is assault. And then he tries to, like, calm the guys down, but they're in full fucking rage mode, right? Tinder mortal. I mean, I mean, uh, not tinder mortal. Uh, triple. Like, they went from here to here. Like, full on. Like, they wanted to kill him, right? So I'm just laughing away watching this. I'm like, oh, this is fucking great. You know, and I'm like, oh, God. Let's see. 2002, I was in... 
high school, one year away from graduating, right? So I'm watching. I'm like, this. it does not get much better than this. A couple years later, that's when Jackass came out. So it did get better. So I'm watching. But Tom was like the original, the creator guy, you know? And then he's like, um, then they're going down this hallway. And I guess these guys that had enough, they're like, all right, whatever, fuck you. And they're going towards their cabin, you know? And, and he's like, I don't understand. I'm baffled. Like, why Why are you so mad? And he goes, because you're an ass, man. You're an ass. And, and he goes, we're just having a little bit of fun. And then, then he was like, everybody was having a good time except for you two. And then the guys were like, oh, yeah, everybody was. And then he was like, everybody was cheering and laughing. And I'm losing my shit. And then he turns around and goes, I guess they don't like butter. I guess it's a butter thing. And then to top it off, the way they ended it triple was the greatest. He gets like 45 people around him and he's got the fucking mic here. I'll use this. I'll use this as the mic, my, my little connector thing. And he's like, and if we want to spread butter on people, then God damn it, we will. And he's like, it's always better with butter. I can't believe it's not butter. And then they start a chant. They're like, butter, butter, butter. And they're going fucking ballistic pencil. And by this time, I'm like watching the TV, picture a little, you know, little fears. I, I'm tuning in. I'm doing the chant too, you know, sitting in front of the TV. I'm like, butter, butter, butter. And then all of a sudden this one guy goes, I can't believe it's not butter. Then Tom Green goes, yeah, I already fucking said that, dude. Credits. I was like, genius. Genius. So that's my favorite. I had to tell you guys about that. So let me know in the chat, what was your favorite if you were really into Tom Green, if you're not into Tom Green, that's all right. Uh, what was your Tom, your favorite Tom Green skit? Triple says, here we go. He says, my favorite Tom Green uh, sketch as a kid was when he went on the intercom at a department store to say, uh, tasty corn, tasty corn, tasty corn, mm, tasty corn. I don't really remember that one. The one in the grocery store that I remember was when he dressed up as the old man and he kept saying, geez Louise. And he was in the motorized cart, and he was pretty much fucking destroying everything in the whole goddamn store. And then his the reason why, like they're like, "What are you doing, man? Like, why are you running over?" He's like, "I," he's like, "I don't know how to shop. I don't know how to work this damn motorized cart." Jeez Louise, Jeez Louise, that was another good one. And he's like, "Oh my god, what's going on? I don't know what's going on." And he had this like old lady actress with him, and and she was called like Alma or something, and. That was supposed to be like his fake, like old wife, and he's dressed up in full old man makeup. And he's like, he's like, Alma, get olive oil and mince meat, please. And then the, the manager of the store is he's like, You get the fuck out of my store. He's like, I've had enough of this shit. And he's like, You he's like, you cannot deny me my olive oil and mince meat. And he's like, then he goes, then your wife can get it. He goes, You're destroying my goddamn store. Oh my god, I was fucking rolling. Oh my god. I don't I don't remember the tasty corn one though. Pretty stupid looking on, yeah, but it was great though. It was legendary footage though, Triple. You have to admit it was legendary. Those are probably my two favorite. Another one is where he went into a department store and he was determined to make a castle wall out of the toilet paper and people kept knocking it down and putting it back and he goes, you will not ever touch my fucking wall. This is my fucking wall. No one gets past my toilet paper castle wall, bitch. And then they're like, look, get the fuck out of our store or we're calling the cops. And he's like, my wall will, pro wall, my, he goes, my wall will protect me from the police. And they're like, you're fucking mental, dude. Like, you're out of your mind. And they're like, that's it. We're done. We're calling the cops. And he's like, call the fucking cops. I don't give a shit. I'm making my wall. That was another good one. That's probably my third one. And he, and he almost had it done. And then the cops were like, all right, yeah, you're done. You're out of here. So if you guys have any favorites, put it in the chat. Let me know. That was good. All right. Uh, I'm going to invite uh, Heroes and Villains. I hope he's back. And then I'm going to invite uh, Richie. It'll be a good way to end the stream. But most, most of the stream was about the good news. So I hope you guys don't mind. I was really inspired today at church, and it was an epic service. Really good day. Oh, before I – I almost forgot to show you guys my thing that I got at the thrift store. Good thing I remembered. So because things were have been so crazy, I was like, fears, you got to get out of the house. Stop worrying about all this crazy fucking madness that's going. He goes, do one of your favorite things. Go to a toy hunt. Go to a thrift hunt. I thought I was going to get some movies, but I found something even better. Oh, I agree. I, I agree. 
I, I agree, Visions. He says, Freddy Got Fingered is one of the most greatest movies of all time. It, it If not the greatest movie of all time. Well, Ghostbusters is, is the greatest movie of all, of all time. Freddy Got Fingered is a good close second up. Uh, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausages? And he's like, oh, look, honey. He goes, our son's a genius. He goes, he tied sausage to his fingers uh, you know, while, he, while he draws his stupid drawings. And that actor... He was in RoboCop 3, and he was in uh, Men in Black. He plays uh, Zed. Uh, Visions, that fucking actor. I don't know his name, but that guy is fucking hilarious. He was in Dodgeball, and he's, like, talking about drinking his own urine and shit in Dodgeball. And then he's like, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. And that, it's that fucking guy. And he just goes ballistic on Freddy. And then, like, then he's, like, talking about the back, the backwards man, the backwards man. And then he's like... Look, Dad, I found a treasure. And he's, like, in, like, scuba gear and shit. And it's, like, a soap on a rope. And he's, like, get that thing out of my fucking face. And he's, like, I found the treasure. It's on, It's mine. It's all mine. And he's, like, it's a bar of soap. Who gives a shit? And he's, like, it's mine. It's my treasure. And he's, oh, he's going fucking out of his mind. I love that movie. <laughs> I love that fucking movie. It's fucking great. Oh, my Lord. Good stuff. I almost forgot to tell you guys about that vision. Thank God you brought it up. All right. The Good Willage. Here we go. It's pretty big, so let me take it out of, out of the plastic. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to get this. I've been on this crazy kick of adding more stuff to the walls. My mom sent me a whole bunch of pictures, so the next thing that are going on the wall is family photos. Got a, got a great picture in the mail of grandma and grandpa fears i said mom i've got a good picture of you me my brother and dad and i said i just haven't put it in a frame yet i said take a really good shot of enzo like sitting down or laying down and she goes well i thought you took pictures while you were in town i said yeah but some of them i had to delete because he was like in mid-motion because he had so much energy i said other ones they were just okay so she sent me a picture of enzo which i'm going to put in a frame and Probably put by my bedside, and then I'm going to put Grandma and Grandpa Fears by my bedside, and then I'll probably put Mom and Dad and my brother on the wall. So all those came. So I've been on this kick of putting stuff on the wall. Then I finally put the movie props up to make the perfect square uh, over in my podcasting dining table area. And then I saw this. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put it, but maybe I'll make a vlog, and you guys can write in the chat where I should put it. So I got something for the wall. It looks pretty cool, so hopefully you guys will approve. I thought it was great. Here, let me turn this around. All right. Here, let me uh, – oh, hang on. Let me tilt the camera up just a little bit. There we go. All right. So what do you guys think about this? Oh, yeah. Nice. The original Star Wars, the classics. Uh, New Hope, in the frame, super old poster. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm loving it. So I thought about maybe putting it next to James Bond, but I was like, well, I've already got Darth Vader on that wall. So I may put this on one of the side walls, or, or I may uh, put it in my room somewhere. So I haven't, I'll have to figure out a good spot. And then I'll film it and I'll show it to you guys. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know. And I got it for 10 bucks at Goodwill. It was sitting by the Blu-rays. And I was like, ooh, me likey. So there it is. I'm going to put it over here. So that's the newest to the collection. I thought you guys would enjoy that. Plus, I love it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, ooh, oh, yeah. So there it is. Let's see, uh, let's see, R.I.P. Torn, one of the greatest names, too. His real name was Elmore Rudd Torn Jr. Oh, is that his real name? The guy from RoboCop 3, the fucking hilarious Freddy father guy? Uh, he had a sense of humor, and he could do sarcasm like no other. Like that one scene where I can't believe they put Michael Jackson in a cameo in The Men in Black. as great singer. Great music, weird fucking guy. Because I don't know. I'm torn. 
because he always said, oh, I never did any pedo shit with kids. But a lot of things went awry, and they caught him doing it like it like he would always said he didn't do any weird shit but then the police and other people would be like no we caught you doing some weird shit so great music weird fucking dude like i love thriller and i love uh beat it and i like some other of his music but weird fucking dude but he did triple you know what scene i'm talking about he did such great sarcasm to michael jackson like michael jackson cares like zed he goes uh the Zeno Alliance has been signed, and he goes, great work. And he goes, wait a minute. He goes, uh, what about that uh, job? You, you said you get me in Men in Black. And he's like, uh, he's like, still working on the details. And he's like, no, 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 that's not what you told me. And he's like, look, you're breaking up. And he's like, Zed, you got to help me. And he's like, I can't hear you. And he fucking walks off, and I lose my fucking mind every time I see that scene. You're breaking up. So he could do sarcasm like no other, buddy. Uh, it's sad that that guy passed away, man. Oh, man, he was such a good actor. Daddy, would you like some sausages? And the guy, he just grabs all the fucking sausages off the fucking, you know, picks off the fucking wires, and then it's tied to Freddy's fingers, and so he grabs them. Freddy, like, falls down or some shit, and, oh, God, that's one of, my, that's one of the best scenes ever. Uh, Vision says, this is from Goodwill? I know, right? It is from Goodwill. I was going to get some movies, but then as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I've got enough movies. Fuck that. I said, that's, I said, I'm going to get that. If, if I pull it closer, you guys could totally tell it's from Goodwill because the, the frame has got a couple of scratches in it. Thank God the poster doesn't have any scratches and thank God the glass doesn't have any scratches on it. But whoever had, whoever owned this before, I don't know what they did, but the actual frame is like scratched to all hell, but I was like, oh, well, I'm like, it's just a frame. And I said, now nah, I don't have to buy a frame. I can just throw it on the wall. So there it is. So hopefully you guys liked it. Seems like it did because Visions liked it. And then Triple says, hell yeah, Fears. Is that Ray on the right? Uh, No. Come on, buddy. Don't be trolling. That is the old. That's the original. That is episode four. That's the classic. Nothing against the new ones. I like the new ones. But, you know, four is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. But yeah. So I, I just don't know where I'm going to put it. I, I can't put it over near James Bond because Darth Vader uh, is over there. So I don't want to have like double the – I'm probably overthinking this, but I'll find a good spot. My one friend said I should put it like above the trash can like in the, in the, in the kitchen on that four wall. And I was like, I've already got some nerd shit like in the kitchen, you know? I said I don't want to like – I said, I want to spread out the nerdage in, in, in my home, you know? I'm your favorite troll. If you're, Triple, you're not a troll. You're not a troll. I don't consider you a troll. Not at all. You're a good guy, and you're a fantastic friend and a fan. So, yeah. All right. Let's get Richie in here, and hopefully hopefully, uh, Heroes is back from his Walmart extravaganza. So I knew you guys would like that. As soon as I saw it, I was like, it's a good price. She wanted 15. Fears talked her down to 10. Always working those deals. She's like, I don't know. I was like, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. She's like, 15? I was like, no. I'm like, come on. I'm like, the whole frame is scratched to all hell. All right, 10. I was like, yeah, 10's good. 10's good. I said, that'll be good. That will be good. All right. Let me, I'm going to, uh, Richie, if you still want to come in. Uh, and then me and Richie will answer some random questions. And then I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm still in my church clothes because I immediately went from church to lunch, then lunch to thrift store, thrift store to grocery shopping at Walmart, and then home, talk to my mom and dad for a couple minutes, and then stream. So I've got to get this gel out of my hair. And get uh, get out of my nice church clothes and get onto some comfy clothes. And then I'm pretty much going to apply to some jobs night, eat dinner. I'm going to start on RetroCon. Hopefully finish. Hopefully have it up by the end of the night. Hopefully. And then next week, some sleepaway camp is coming your way. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of good. Or oh, Will Fears uploaded. Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm just joking. I probably will. 
You guys have waited long enough. Or have you? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You guys have. You guys have. You guys are going to love it. Probably going to be one of the best videos I've ever uploaded. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. Don't do that, Visions. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I was playing with your emotions. I apologize. Don't unsub, buddy. Dude, you're one of my best buddies. Come on. Come on, man. Don't be doing that. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Fears Freak Out uh, uh, on Friday, tons of jump scares. Uh, Pixel was kind enough to clip some jump scares and send them to my Twitter. Pixel, I'm going to be downloading those uh, those jump scares tonight uh, after I edit some uh, Super RetroCon, uh, and I'm going to put I'm going to save them on my hard drive, Pixel. And every time we get a jump scare, Pixel is going to clip them. And I came up with the idea. I said, Pixel, wouldn't it be great if we had, like, a good 10 minutes? Because uh, YouTube loves 10 minutes or higher. Like, they said anything lower and you don't get a lot of views. So I've been trying to do a lot of epic 10-minute videos on Fears Man 26. And then just have the long fucking content on um, Fears Vlogs. Uh, and I said, wouldn't it be great? And I said, if we had, like, a good 10-minute, like, jump scare. And he went, oh, Fears, that'd be great. You just edit all the like a highlight video of all the jump scares. So Pixel, if you could, we've already got the first, what, three or four jump scares out of Outlast. Could you go in? There was not many jump scares in uh, Village. There was a couple of baby ones. So don't worry about, uh, I mean, if you like some Pixel uh, out of Village, you can clip them and then send them to me. But the ones that I really want from the past are from part seven. So if you could, if you could go into some of those streams, Pixel, we definitely they the two jump scares we have to have it. Number one, Mama when she came crashing through the fucking window and I almost died of a cardiac arrest. That's probably one of the best ones. That's got to be in there. So you have to if I'm not demanding it. I'm 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 I'm, I'm please Pixel as a friend. I'm requesting this. I don't know how to. I don't know how to like clip uh cut cut like a clip. If you can show me how to do it, I'll do it. But if you could, because you're really good at clipping them. If you could do that one, and then the other epic one was at the very beginning, at the very at the very beginning of the uh, like when I started playing Resident Evil Seven. Remember when Jack came crashing through the wall? That was another good one. So those two have to be in there, and and I think you guys will admit those two were probably the most two legendary at uh, jump scares out of Part Seven. Jack barreling through the wall. And I'm like, oh, shit, where the hell did this guy come from? And then Mama just crashing through the window. And she was, like, gritting her teeth. And she had, like, maggots and shit, like, coming out of her nose or whatever the hell it was. And then I shot her, like, 15 times in the chest with a shotgun. Yeah, buddy. So I think those are the next ones, Pixel. So I would really appreciate if you would clip those for me. I, I, I would really appreciate that. And just do it whenever you can. I, I know you got a busy schedule, so whenever you can, uh, I would appreciate that. All right, Richie, check your Twitter. I'm going to send you the link, uh, and then I'm going to send Heroes and Villains. So hopefully they both can come in. But maybe, I don't, I don't know if Heroes and Villains is still out and about at Walmart with his family or, or all that uh, good stuff. So hopefully you can come in. If not, no worries. No worries. Family is more important than, than a stream, so take your time. Uh, take your time, heroes and villains. All right, and then... Oh, where's Richie? I gotta find it. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there he is. Visions, would you like to come in? Do you want to? Or, or, or are you still protesting, my friend? Only if you want to. If you want to come in, that'd be awesome. If not, no worries. I understand. All right, Richie, check it out. I sent you the link. Heroes and Villains, I sent you the link. Get on in here. Get on in here, whatever you like. All right, let me close this. There we are. Let me just close my Twitter. Let me open up the chat again. There we go. Vision says, okay, good one. All right, cool, buddy. I was getting a little scared there for a second. All right, so hopefully Heroes and Villains is coming soon. But if not, then uh, hopefully Richie is. If not, if he doesn't come in, 
I'll call Randall. Let's call Randall and see if he wants to come in. Let's see here. Let's see what Randall. I haven't heard from him all day. I know, and I know uh, he goes to church too on Sunday. So, um, but but he should be done with church by now. Uh, Randall. Come on, Randall. Immediately to his voicemail. Randall, I'm streaming, buddy. If you want to come in, let me know. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or write me a message on Facebook, buddy. All right, later. Well, I tried. I tried. All righty. I'll give them a couple of minutes, and if not, then I'm just going to keep going because either they're eating or they're busy or whatever. Well, while we're waiting, uh, if you guys got any more questions, let me know. If not, I'm going to find some hilarious questions off the off the interwebs. Oh, wait. Richie says link is not working. Well, hang on. Let me try it again. Hang on, Richie. Let me send it to you again. Give me a second. I thought I, I, thought I linked him the right link. Give me one second, Richie. I'll, I'll send you another one. There we go. And try this one, Richie. Try that one, buddy. Oh, man. I'm a little tired. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, I'll feel a lot better once I get some food and get a shower in me and get some comfy clothes. I mean, I like my nice threads. And Fears is trying to dress more stylish and more my age too. I, I told Eric, I said, I need to probably throw away some of the older hats. And he's like, Fears, it's okay to keep those hats if they're your favorites. He goes, you just have to find more grown up clothes to wear. I said, I threw, I said, I finally threw away some of the, uh, some of the college t-shirts, buddy. And he's like, really? He goes, you still have those? I said, I know, man. I, said, I need to go through the closet. I said, there's stuff in there from not from high school, but from college. And he's like, man, he goes, get, he goes, Fears, get rid of that crap. He goes, you can keep some of your favorites, like, you know, your old high school gym t-shirts. And I said, oh, yeah. I said, I keep those. I said, I work out in them. I said, I'll never get rid of my Fort Zumwalt West t-shirts. I said, one, I got them for free because I was on the track team and the wrestling team and the football team. And plus, they're comfy shirts to work out in. So if I'm not wearing some Exum Vision stuff, I'm, you know, wearing the, uh, my college shirts and my high school shirts. All right. Let's see if, let's see if that one – Let's see if that one works. Let's see if Richie can come in here. Let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. There he is. There is the myth, the man, the legend. <laughs> What's up? Oh, my God. He disappeared. Where are you? <laughs> Richie, you kind of scared me for a second, buddy. I was, I was going <laughs> hey, that's what I do. <laughs> in the full panic tears mode. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, Richie just disappeared off the face of the fucking earth. I'm like, oh, my Lord. <laughs> Where the hell did you go? So what's up, dude? How you uh, not much. How how's your how has your Sunday been so far? It's going pretty good. Now, did you did you hear about all my church adventures? It was a pretty good service. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, I was watching it. And, dude, Heather seems really nice. Heather seems really nice, man. So I hope it works. If it doesn't, mm -hmm. I, I understand. But so far, from what I know, is she's thinking about joining uh, the church with her friend. Her friend introduced her to our church. Uh, she is a Christian. She's just never been to our church. Mm -hmm. uh, she was a little nervous to read the prayer candle. And the, our pastor asked me, and they said, Fears, you're fearless. And I was like, it comes with the territory. You know, I am fearless. It is my last name. It comes with the territory. You know, yeah. you, you didn't get that joke, did you, Richie? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm fears, fearless, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. All right. I, 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 I just want to make sure you got the joke. And that <laughs> that made her laugh. She's like, oh, that's funny, fears. I was like, oh, thanks. I'm like, every once in a while I make someone laugh. Well, in the way it fits in your last name. It does. I mean, it goes, I mean, it goes well. It, fit, it fits it the does. puzzle. It does yeah. you know? I may not always get a laugh, but every once in a while, fears you know hits it hits it right in the nail. And you know, I, I got I got a funny one in there. I try to make all the fans laugh as much as possible. Sometimes it's a win, sometimes it's not a win. Uh, you know, it's just like a, you know, it's just like you're putting the puzzle piece together and you can't find the last piece. You know, you get the whole puzzle piece, but there's one piece missing. You're looking around. All here you are. 
can't find it. It's like, and what is it's like? Do? Then you look down on the floor. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, there it is. It's way in the back, and it's like and what that always- last piece in there. Voila. Exactly. And what does Fears always do? I always get in there like a little champ in the night. Always <laughs> it's a missing piece, buddy. That's right. Now, if only I could find the missing piece to some Dillian Harper. That's, I mean, <laughs> right? Exactly. Am I, am I not, am I not asking for much? She's got a perfect tan, great hooters, but she just doesn't give fears the time of day. <laughs> but you know what? Heather is really nice, and I would gladly uh, put Dillian Harper to the side and go out with Heather. Heather is really nice, if I'm being honest. So, uh, when I found out, she was a little nervous. I helped her out with a prayer candle. And then we, then her friend kind of at the end of the church service kind of introduced us and uh, I didn't want to keep her, you know, long, you know, mm-hmm. I guess her and her friend were going to lunch, but I got, I got to chat with her a little bit and I said, I hope to see you next week. So I hope it wasn't like a one-time thing, you know, her, her just coming with her friend. Hopefully she starts going 24 seven to our church, but I'll keep you updated. So what have you, what, what have you been doing on your Sunday, buddy? My Sunday was fantastic. Not Here. much. Nothing? No, just kind of chilled out. Now, I forgot. Richie, did you ever go back to the bowling alley, or did you ever find work, or what's going on with that? Uh, I'll, I'll private message you. Okay. I yeah. don't want to. I don't really want to. No, I understand. Just go ahead and private message me real quick. Okay. Because, I, you know, we are friends, and I'm just I – yeah. I was just curious. I'm like, I want you to find some good work, buddy, but I understand. Listen, don't, don't ever tell them you're – your real job and no, 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 don't need to, but just private message me. Yeah. Either now or after the stream or whatever. Yeah. So, so, uh, what about the challenges, buddy? Have you been putting them on hold or, or, or are you brewing some up? No, I'm still thinking of some. Okay. So what, what kind of con have you just been doing live streams? No, a little bit, not as much as like I used to. What, what, what? One or two live streams a week? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I got you, buddy. That's cool. Nice. Uh, then did you watch any of the video game stream yesterday and see Fears freak out? With, with Sam? Yeah, those scared jumps. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those. Oh, God. And I was telling oh, Sam. was it? Residential Evil or whatever the name of it? Well, uh, uh, the first one, we, we finished playing Resident Evil 8. And then I said, Sam, I said, the fans are begging us. And I said, I want to play Outlast. And he's like, yeah, he goes, you know what, Fierce? The last, like, 15, 20 minutes, he goes, we'll play that. I said, okay. So we finally finished. We beat Resident Evil 8. We watched all the credits, did all that. Played about 20 to 25 minutes of uh, Outlast. And by far, one of the coolest games ever played, but one of the scariest games ever played. And basically what it is is you're a reporter. And Pixel was not kidding. Pixel said, all right, Fears, here's a 10-second version. You're a reporter. Uh, you want to know what's really going on. There's something wrong with this insane asylum, but no one's giving you answers. So he takes it upon himself to go there. He gets in, and all of a sudden he sees some dead bodies. All hell breaks loose and goes, oh, this ain't good. He tries to leave, and this crazy, like, like priest guy and his, like, little henchman guy that's got, like, a metal piece around his face locks you in the the sane asylum, and basically you're just fighting for your life and trying to get out of there. And the last thing I was trying to achieve is the fucking uh, priest crazy guy knocked out the generator and the lights, and I was trying to turn on the – I had to go into the basement and turn on the generator, and I almost had it. And then his fucking crazy henchman guy comes out of the fucking darkness, starts beating the shit out of me with a piece of plywood. And then that was it. That was the end of fears. Huh. So the, so whenever we start the game up, it'll be me attempting to, to fix the generator one more time. And Sam said he's not going to help me. So I may be stuck on this this next part for quite a while because, as we all know, I'm not the best at video games. But I will do my damnedest. I'll do my best. Sam's like, you got it, fears. I got faith in you. Because normally, like, I try it a few times and then Sam comes in for the win. But Sam put his foot down and said, fears. You will love this game. You got to do it all on your own. He goes, I'll come with you <laughs> the adventure, but he goes, I'm not playing. I was like, God damn it. I was like, all right. <laughs> so I'll do my best. But uh, so what did you like better? Did you like did you like me and Sam playing Outlast better? Or or what did you think of the Resident Evil? Did, did you like the Resident Evil game? I yeah, thought, I think it was pretty neat. Yeah. I told Pixel, it's a good game. I just loved seven far better. But I, I did give it to Pixel. I said, I said, Seven's got more 
scare factor, more jump scares, more action. Yeah. And then Resident Evil 8 has a better story. The story was fucking phenomenal. And thank God, Mia, the hot video game chick, she lived. Who cares about Ethan? Fuck Ethan. It's all I just kind of like that. I just kind of like that how you're like, you like there would be a crazy sound, and you'd be like, you'd be like all freaking out, like, oh, oh Sam, like what's happening? And then, and Sam would be like, oh, nothing. I don't hear anything. Like what? No, no Sam no, was no, no. with me. And then all of a sudden, just all of a sudden, this was like, blah. Like yeah, listen, I love Sam like a brother, but he was toying with my emotions. He's like, yeah, you're fine, Fierce. Just go through that door. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, are you sure? Nothing. He goes, Fierce, you're good. I go through the fucking door. All of a sudden, the fucking henchman guy with the fucking plywood just murders Fierce. And I'm, <laughs> I'm two feet in the fucking door. And he's like, I've returned, motherfucker. And I'm like, oh, shit, you have returned with that plywood. Fuck me. And then I was like, yeah, fuck you. I'm out of here. And I just fucking took off running. It was nothing. <laughs> But he got me anyway. He killed me yeah. anyway. at the last. One. I thought I had it. the last one. I was like, "Yeah, you bastard!" I'm like, "I got you this time, bitch." And <laughs> no, um, <laughs> he just killed me with some the more plywood. It was nuts. Uh, Triple says, "Fear, are you gonna take the Blizzy challenge with heroes?" And no, no, I'm not. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. You know what a Blizzy is, right, uh, Richie? Mm. A joint, you know, like smoke. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, and I have nothing. I like. Listen, I love. Uh, heroes and villains like a brother. He's a really good new friend. I've just never been into smoking. The only never, thing I've never, ne never got into it. Never, never. The only thing I've smoked that I kind of enjoy is I've told people I've went to a lot of bachelor parties. Like I went to Eric's and we went nuts. We got drunk and we were at the strip club and uh, Trent kept buying me drinks. And I'm like, Trent, I've had enough. I'm on my third shot. I mean, my, my 13th shot. He's like, you got room for another one, Fierce? I'm like, oh, fucking hell. I'm like, all right. And he bought me another one, and we're drunk out of our minds. And then people started, like, you know, passing stogies around. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I've never smoked a cigar. I'm like, oh, I'm like, it's my best friend's bachelor party. I'm like, I guarantee you Eric's going to be going nuts at my bachelor party. So I'm like, all right. So that was the first time I smoked a cigar. I'm like, this is pretty good. And it was, like, one of those really nice cigars. You're like, not, you know, not the, not the crap ones, you know, from the mm -hmm. gas stations. Yeah. Really nice, tight packed. I'm like, wow, this is a really nice cigar. Then I missed Trent's uh one because I think his was his was before Eric's. Eric's was after I graduated uh film school. Trent's was like at the end of my senior year in, in college. So I missed his uh uh I missed his uh uh, he, I missed his bachelor party, but he didn't do a big wedding. Uh, he just had a nice little like ceremony with her family and his family, and it was nobody else. So I couldn't go there because it was just family. And I said, mm -hmm. I, and he's like, well, hey, fears it sucks that you missed the the bachelor. So we kind of had like a little party for him, like when I, when I was in town, and I smoked another one there. Then, uh, and then when I moved down here, like my second year here, one of my buddies from work. Said, hey, Fierce, I know you have to work on my wedding day, so I know you can't come. And I said, I can't, man. I, I said, I tried to get out of it. I can't. He goes, well, at least come to the bachelor party. And I said, absolutely. And so I smoked a third one there. And each time, the Stokies were, were pretty good. Not too bad. But um, never been into weed or drugs or anything like that. It's just not my cup of tea, you know? Yeah. It's other people's cup of tea. I'm like, hey, if that's you, you do you. I'll do me. You know, it's just not my thing. But um, yeah, yeah, I don't mind a stogie every once in a while. You know, I guess part of this too what steered me away is like back in the day. Remember back in the day, you can smoke in bars and taverns. Yeah, like restaurants. Yeah. Well, there was that one time we were like at a when I was in my child life. Here, um, I was like, this was probably like my teenage years, and then it was you know. Um, we were out at a restaurant, and then the smoke was so bad. I mean, it was like literally bad. You couldn't even you couldn't even breathe. You know, yeah. my eyes were just watering, burning, and then it's like I had to put my head down. And you no, know, no, parents are like, "Why is your head down?" It's like, and I just got up. Like, we need to get out of here fast. Now, what were they smoking? Uh, just you know, like cigarettes. Oh, I thought I mean like weed or okay. No, right. no. This is, you know, yeah, I don't smoke cigarettes. Yeah. No. 
it was just yeah. Nah. But yeah, it's not. Finally, we got out. Finally, we got out and yeah, you know, clean fresh air. And then I was like, oh. And then I was like, fine. Like now, Richie, do you do you go to church? Not not as much. No. Did you, did I you, mean, did you, back when I was younger, I did. Oh, I so you went so. you went more with your family back in the day. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of what happened with me. I mean, for a while, from like birth to about twenty, I didn't I didn't miss a single Sunday, you know. And then when I went off to college it was all about college. And then after college, then it was all about work. And then I said, man, I said, and then I started going again from 2016 to 2018. And then when I moved here, I didn't even bother to look to see if my church was in the area. I just figured it was like, it, there was, there wasn't a church of mine. Mm -hmm. I thought they were only in the Midwest and me and my dad, my dad was like, let's just do a Google search. And my dad didn't even know this. Uh, there's tons of my churches all around the United States. Like for some reason, I don't know. Me and my dad just thought it was like in the Midwest. And my dad's like, they have one in Alaska. There's like two in Hawaii. There's like three or four in California. And I was like, oh, hmm. I, I didn't fucking know that. I'm like, that's cool. They have a couple in New York and they're all over the United States. And my dad's like, John, they've got seven in Florida all around. I was like, oh, that's awesome. I said, where? I said, which one's the closest to me? He goes, it's in Orlando. Like, 40 minutes away. I was like, sweet. I'm like, okay. yeah. So I'm like, it's not bad. Without traffic, you can probably get there in about 30, 35 minutes, 38 minutes. But with, with traffic, you're, I'm telling you, you're looking at an hour and a half. I mean, an hour and 20 minutes. An hour wow. And hour. I, I, I told mercenary, man, I said, let's just time it. One day, I literally just put on my phone, said, start timer, boom. And the minute I parked in the parking lot in my space at, at, at the church, Stopped it an hour and 20 minutes. I was like, damn, that freaking traffic was going nuts. It, wow. was, it was ridiculous. All right. Triple says the challenge master has arrived. Oh, he has. The legend it has arrived. <laughs> so, Richie, what are you thinking for the next challenge? Like, like, like what like give me some ideas. What's a brewing up there in, in, in the brain? Well, the toothpaste challenge. The toothpaste shower challenge. <laughs> Toothpaste all over your body, brushing your teeth, you know, scratching your armpit hair with that, going ballistic. What do you think, buddy? That I don't know. I have to think about that. <laughs> maybe not in your armpits. Maybe just brushing your teeth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. But the armpits would be a little weird, but the teeth would be going nuts. That's all I got. Well, yeah. so what's been what's been a brewing in your brain? What's the next challenge? I don't know. I'm still thinking. Maybe no, bring, no, trying no, to bring no. your shower ones back, though. The, the shower the shower ones are hilarious and yeah. legendary. I remember I clicked on and I wasn't making funny. I clicked on. I was like, "What the hell is this?" And I'm like, "All right, ketchup all over his body in a in a singlet, in a shower, black, <laughs> black mildew covering the back of the of the tub." And this is deep. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, "All right, let's do it." I'm like, let's do it. And I was on the floor fucking rolling. I was like, "This is fucking goddamn genius. This is amazing." It was great. That one, I think, was the one of the most legendary ones. The, uh, what was it? 90 pizza rolls? 90 pizza rolls? Yeah, I did that one. But that wasn't the shower. That was just... That was just a good challenge, though. I'll tell yeah. you what. But I, I think I did eat some pizza rolls in the shower, though, too. I have to look. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, take I, it. I have to look around. I don't... You know what? I got to say... I mean, I mean, I did so many videos. It's like... You know, it's like you keep yeah. track. Of it's hard to keep track. You have, you have so many of them. It's like that's why you have to go back and really look. Calls you the challenge master. You know, that's why he made you the shirt because you got so many fucking challenges. At oh, least yeah. you do it with class, though. Like you know that Juggalo guy, his challenges are Jesus Christ. Like, like filming himself taking shits, vacuuming himself. Uh, he he did. He had like twenty four massive like fucking tacos. He got to about 14, and I, I I couldn't even make it to 14. I watched it for about five minutes, and my stomach was already kind of rumbling. You know, I was like, I can't, I can't watch this shit. The vacuuming himself was probably one of the most weirdest things I've ever seen on YouTube. I was like, you know, you could just, you know, get one of those rollers, you know, those rent, those lint rollers like everybody else, you know. Yeah. You could just, I don't know, wash Wash yourself in the shower like everybody else. You could just do some laundry like everybody else. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen anyone vacuum themselves 
I can honestly yeah. safe to say I've never vacuumed myself, nor will I ever. Uh, I yeah. lost my friggin' mind. Uh, that one was funny, but some of his other ones, I'm like, does he really need to film himself taking a monster shit? I don't think so. Hmm. Nor would anyone want to watch that. All right, exactly. I wouldn't. I, wouldn't. I'm like, I mean, I can stomach catch up in the shower. I mean, that's fine. But I'm like, yeah, that one too. Like, how many hot dogs can they eat in five minutes? <laughs> there you go. But I, but like I said, at least you, you you do your challenges like with class. There's a show you 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 plan them out very well. Mm -hmm. He's just randomly sitting there, like, kind of bored, kind of dirty. You know, I was like, I stopped watching. But he, but he's still, a, he's still a fan of my channel, and he's cool, like in the chat and stuff. But I'm just like, I, I don't, I don't know if I can watch your content anymore. And then he like <laughs> tattooed his face as a clown. Now it's permanently on his face. Wow. And I'm like, wow, yeah, wow's right. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, it's fine if you get a tattoo. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah, wow. I was like, like wow. It's fine <laughs> that you get a tattoo, right? It's like I, I have nothing against getting a tattoo, but don't do it entirely on your face if you want a tattoo of a juggalo just put like a little one like on your arm or on your back like you know like normal like you know like i thought about one day maybe tattooing my grandfather's name on, on my back and my dad's name to honor them you know something i always tell people if you're gonna get a tattoo you know it's it's gonna be on there for life so think think of something that's one of your favorite things mm -hmm. or meaningful like Two of them, I think, that I want to get before I die, and I promised my mom that I would wait until she passes away because she said, I don't want to see you with a tattoo while I'm alive. And I promised my mom, okay, I said, after you pass away, I said, if I if I am bound and determined to get a tattoo, that's when I'll do it. But I've already thought of two that I would like to get. I'd love to get my, my grandpa's name on my back and my dad's. Like, probably, like, my grandpa came first, so it would be his name, and then – and then uh, his name, then my uh, then my dad. And then if I have a son, I'll probably put my son's name right underneath my dad. And then, of course, I thought about getting the Ghostbuster symbol tattooed because that's my, oh, favorite. That nice. that's my favorite movie of all time. I said a small little Ghostbuster symbol, like maybe on my shoulder or somewhere on my back or maybe on my arm or something. I said something not super noticeable. You know, and then yeah. and then if I have to go to work and th they don't want to see my tattoos, you know, then it wouldn't be a problem. I could just you know throw a shirt on and it'd be fine. Right. Never in a million quadrillion years would I be like, "Hey guys, I'm gonna tattoo my face." All right, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> people would be like, "Fierce, what the hell did you do?" I, I just thought it. I thought it would look great. I just tattooed my entire face right on. Yeah, and also I've heard too. It's just like if you want to get the tattoo removed, I've heard that costs even more. Mm -hmm. Than when you had it put on, and since it's all on his face, that would be really hard to get it removed. Like, it would be fine if you got something removed off your leg or an arm or your back. Right. That would be easier. But off your face, you're in certain places of your face, especially around the nose, around the eyes. That's pretty sensitive, you know. Or I would think it's really sensitive. Mm -hmm. So nothing against him. Just if I would have been there, I'd been like, you know, hey, Juggalo, you may want to think this through, like. If it was me, I wouldn't put that entire thing on my face. Yeah, finger. I wouldn't. Let me put it like on your arm. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I don't know what this challenge is, but Triple says you must do the Joey Chestnut Challenge, the ultimate American challenge. What is that? I have no idea. Listen, Triple, you don't have to explain because Richie is baffled, and I'm 10 times more baffled than Richie, and he's the challenge master. I have no idea what you're on about. Please explain what this is. Uh, Smash says, uh, what's up? Richie? What's up, Smash and Grub? Now is that one of your fans? Is he is, is that one of your guys like in, in your chats or do you yeah. know him? My uh it could be one of your followers. I don't know. Yeah. And then Triple asks a very important questions. How many like a hot dog chat? Yeah, we said that. Yeah, I read that. Yeah. How, how, how many, many how many hot how many hot dogs can you eat in five minutes? How many think you could do? I, I probably not a lot because of my Crohn's. I could maybe do maybe six, maybe maybe ten at the max. But that's, I probably could do more than six if okay. if I'm a, if I was on an empty stomach. Yeah, but that's pushing it for me because I have Crohn's. Right. At the minimum, maybe five or six. Max, maybe ten, maybe. And that's really pushing it for fears. 
Because I wouldn't want to have a stomach ache because my stomach is the weakest stomach of all time. Did you see me do the uh, the, the hot sauce challenge on, on uh, Heroes and Villains channel? Uh, no, not yet. I didn't see that. Pixel's going uh, to uh, clip it for me at some point. And I'm gonna uh, and I'm gonna put an intro to it. I'm gonna put it on Fears Man 26. So yeah, I've I've heard heroes talking a little, little bit about it. Like I, I think he said you did you did like you did like he put a little on your finger and you did a little. No, but this is here. I'll, I'll I'll show you what I did. I'm not. I'm building up to a wing, and I'm afraid to eat food with it because just a little dot is not that bad. But if I put food in my stomach with that hot sauce, I'm afraid I may like totally like shit beyond belief or puke my brains out you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. my stomach's so weak but i was like i probably can do a dab so i'll put it on me and i'll show you what i did so he he put it from about here to here and he goes are you ready fears and i'm like i'm ready i open up my mouth and i go and i put it all the way down my tongue from start to finish all the way down right mm -hmm. first 30 seconds i'm like and i'm like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, this is good right on i take a little sip and i'm like mm -hmm, i'm good 30 seconds, fine. After 30 seconds, Richie, I am going ballistic. It <laughs> came over me. I literally say in the in, in, in the video, I'm like, it's like the devil took over my tongue or the devil's on my tongue. <laughs> I start down in water, water's filling up in my I'm like, oh, I'm doing all that. Oh, it, it came up quick. It was bad. That shit is no joke. And I look over at, at heroes and I said, if this is the second to the last bottle off that, uh, you know, have you ever seen hot uh, hot ones? Yeah. That's the second to the last one that they do to put on the wing. The well, last one they made themselves. The last one is called the last dab, which is hot ones, actual, their own sauce. And what they do is, let's say this is the chicken wing, right? Let's say this is the chicken wing. They, yeah. already, have, they already have it smothered in the hot, in the last dab hot sauce. And the reason why they call it the last dab is they shake up the bottle and put one big extra dab on the top of the wing. And then they dive into it. And mm -hmm. I was like, I looked at I looked at Heroes and Villains and said, if this shit and the second to the last one's called the bomb. I said, if this one's as hot as they say it is, I'm like, I'd shudder the thought to how hot the, the last dab is. I don't know if I could handle the last dab. I I'm surprised I I did as good as I did on the uh, on, on on the uh, the bomb one, mm -hmm. and it actually tasted kind of good. The first thirty seconds, I was like, "This actually tastes really good," but then, dude, like when you like right when you swallow, it's kind of and that's when it just like all first, fell down. Well, at first, I didn't swallow it right away. I like I did it kind of funny. I like I was like, "Well, I can't really like drink it because I'm like, and I didn't want to like you know." Like that. I didn't want to do that. I said, the best way to do this is open up my mouth, extend my tongue, and just go. And like, just like if this is my tongue, just from the top and put it all the way down, which mm -hmm. I did. And then I thought, I'll mix it around in my mouth. And so I'm like, mm hmm, mm hmm, yep, mm hmm, mm hmm. And as I was doing that, I swelled a little bit. I was like, this actually tastes kind of good because the hotness hadn't kicked in yet. After 30 seconds, that's when holy shit hit the fan. And I'm like, Oh it, well, it it, it did what taste. Those hot good. foods do. I, I like it did taste good. Not anymore. Fears is in you know. I'm like I am in full panic mode. I was downing water. Uh, I was drinking booze out of the boot, and I was like, I was like, get me some other stuff. And then he didn't have any milk because like the next time I do it, I'm gonna bring over some lactose milk because I can't drink real milk. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna come prepared. And I already told heroes. I'm like, now that I've conquered the one finger challenge, I'm like, I think I need to double bar double barrel it and have hot sauce on this finger, hot sauce on this one, and go, ah, 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 and then you know, just do it, you know, two times. You know what I'm saying? And then swallow it. And Pix was like, oh, feeders do it. I'm like, oh, I'm like, if I can conquer one finger, I'm like, I can conquer a double barrel. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, you had you had water on the side, right? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. The the first. Oh, see that? See that's part of it too. When you are drinking that water, that's part of it too. That I mean, well, you know the funny thing about that, it that spreads the hotness. No, actually, the water helped. The the thing is, oh. with it, uh, or at least it helped with me. The thing was, is when actually when the when the burning kicked in, as long as I was talking and I kept drinking liquid, I was fine. The minute I stopped drinking liquid of anything, like the juice, the beer, the water, 
all that shit was helping because it was like nice, cool liquid, like hitting my tongue and going down my throat. The back of my tongue was killing me and right here was killing me. Ooh. Mm -hmm. But as, so, as long as I was drinking liquid, totally fine. Totally fine. And I was shocked and astounded that I only had to go to the bathroom once. I thought, oh, God, fears, your stomach is so bad. You're going to be puking your brains out all night. You're going to be shitting your brains out. And I think because I only did one little dab, that's why it wasn't that bad. And I didn't have to go to the bathroom, you know, all day. But I'm telling you, I think if I ate a wing, I think that's when it would go bad. And then my one friend at work saw the stream. I, I linked it to him. And he said, Fierce, if you can do the one little thing, he goes, you can do the one chip challenge. And I was like, oh, and I'm like, fuck that noise. I'm like, no. Oh, the pop, uh, what do they call it? He's like, he's like Fierce, chip. Yeah, he goes, Fierce, yeah, Maybe by Pocky or whatever, some goofy, yeah. Yeah, he goes, Fierce. W weird name. He goes, come on, man. He goes, don't puss out. He goes, you can do a chip. I'm like, no fucking way. And he goes, Fierce, he goes, what if I bought it for you? And what if I paid you some money? To it? I said, I said, it would have to be a lot of money. And he goes, well, how much? I'm like, I'd do it probably for a hundred bucks. He goes, he goes, you wouldn't take 50? I'm like, maybe 50, maybe. But he goes, you wouldn't do it for like 20 or 30? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> so if he, if he, if he buys it and he gives me a hundred bucks, I'll do it. I highly doubt my buddy will do that, but <laughs> we'll see. And now it's even hotter. I just watched uh, on Hot Ones. They, I don't think it's their most recent video. They invited Tony Hawk back, and they ate this black chip, and it was so hot that it actually turned your your tongue blue. Like it, it's got like black and blue dye in the chip. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when yeah. you eat it, I mean, it doesn't permanently make your right. tongue yeah. blue. It's just after you eat it, like the dye or whatever's in this chip. Turns your your uh, tongue blue for about I don't know five six minutes. They bust it out. They eat it, and all but even before they bit into it, Richie, they open up the box. And you can smell the heat off it. Like Tony's like, I haven't even ate it, and he goes, I can smell the fumes off this thing. And then the host is like, Oh yeah, he goes, I can smell it from a mile away, and they're smelling it. And Tony's like, I'm gonna do my best to not show any emotion, and he did it like a champ. He didn't drink any water or milk for the first five minutes and so and so did the uh yeah. so so did the host and i was like look if i did the one ship challenge the minute i ate it i would be downing water downing guzzling it you know all right let's get to some more let's see um triple says the joey chestnut is one of the greatest athletes of all time he wins the hot dog eating uh championship every year on the fourth of july his record are unbeatable mm -hmm. well that's because he hasn't met Richie yet. As soon as he had met Richie, Richie would get in there and be like, "Listen, bitch, I'm taking you. I'm taking you down." <laughs> He's like, "Oh, what you you can eat twenty four hot dogs. I'm going for the big win, hundred hot dogs in five minutes." That's right, Richie. You get in there. You take that, <laughs> get that guy down. All right, that would be a great day to do the challenge. It would be. Let's see. Pixel says you should eat one of those hot chip challenges gimmicks. I don't know, Pixel. He, he said, water makes hot stuff works. Of course. I'm being honest. When I drank, when I drank the water, it to me, maybe because I only had one little drop, you know, on my, you know, it wasn't that maybe, bad. Yeah. But when I drank the combination of the booze, the juice, and the water, it actually helped. Like, I downed the water so fast, and I was like, Heroes, give me something else. And he's like, go ahead and drink some more out of the boot. And I'm drinking the boot. And then I'm like, all right, I'm done with that. I'm like, give me the juice. And I'm just down in the juice. I think the juice helped out the most. Juice might have, uh, yeah. But it actually it was work. not that bad. And Pixel was like, Fears, I give you mad props for doing that. And I was like, well, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. And he was like, good for you for getting through it. And I was astounded that I didn't have to shit my brains out or puke my brains out. But, oh, Pixel, you're right. If, when I do the double barrel one, I'm bringing lactose intolerant milk. Oh, yeah. Downing lactose intolerant milk. <laughs> See, that's what I've heard is, like, after when you have, like, like hot, spicy stuff to, you know, mm -hmm. cool the hotness down, you're supposed to, like, have your, like, milk or, or even um, ice cream is what I heard works, too. Unfortunately, unfortunately, one, I can't eat ice cream. And, two, he didn't have any milk there that I could eat. So I was yeah. – he was like, Fears, 
you're gonna have to improvise. I'm like, do you have any? I said, do you have any other liquid besides booze? He goes, I can get you water, I can get you juice. And he goes, beer may actually help. And I was like, all right, let's work with those three. And he goes, are you sure? I'm like, I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm like, lay it on me. I'm like, I'm like, let's do it. I said, before I back out, you know? So it wasn't that bad. But I'm telling you, I think it would be 10 times bad if I just smothered it in a wing. and was like, all right, here we go, you know? And So I'm working up to it. Maybe one day, Pixel, the one chip challenge. But I'm telling you, I watched, uh, it, was one of, it was one of their recent videos off of Hot Ones. <laughs> Uh, it was the host. I always forget. I always forget the host name. I think his name is Sean something. I think. Do you, do you know his? Do you know the host name off of Hot Ones? Not really. I think it's Sean. He did it. The one chip challenge with Tony Hawk. And what was cool is they finally uh, brought Tony Hawk back as one of their very first guests ever to do to do the gauntlet of the wings was was Tony was Tony Hawk. I don't know if it was the first one, but it was one of the first ones. And they said, finally, we got you back. And he's like, am I doing the gauntlet again? He goes, because Tony, I guess he's really good with hot food. He barely showed any emotion uh, when he when he did the gauntlet of wings. And then he only showed a tiny bit of emotion when he ate that chip. And I was like, wow, not only is this guy like a great entrepreneur, a businessman, an epic skater. Now he's in movies and shit. And he's always in commercials, I said, but he doesn't show any emotion on this one chip. And this chip is supposed to be like the hottest chip in the world. And I'm like, this guy is taking it like a fucking champ. I'm like, I give this guy mad respect, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Pixel, Sean Evans. So maybe one days, maybe one days. Let's or even two. What about the, um, I don't know, I've seen it. The, the hottest gummy bear. Oh, I've never yeah, I've never seen that. It, it's one little. It's just one little gummy bear. I guess it's supposed to be like flavored cinnamon, but but yeah, it's hot. It's so, pretty, hot. so pretty much, it's like the one chip challenge, except it's it's in gummy bear format. Right? Yeah. 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 Pretty much. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Triple says, uh, "Sorry, it's not five minutes. It's ten minutes." Joey's record is seventy six dogs. Damn. That is a. I'll be honest, Richie. That is hard. <laughs> But that would make my stomach sicker than a dog, man. Like five you, minutes, it's you, ten minutes. Joey. Do you think you could dog do you, seventy-six dogs? Like hot dogs. And do you think bu you could, and buns and all? Do you think you could down more than seventy-six? That's hard. <laughs> I don't know if I could even do that. I mean, but dude, picture if you did. That would be the most legendary challenge that you'd ever done in your entire life, and you get so much exposure. So many people would subscribe to your channel. Oh, probably. That would be fucking legendary. I mean, you'd have a stomach ache, but dude, legendary. I'm not telling you to do it, you know, but if you ever did do it and you achieved it, let me know because that would be <laughs> that'd be fucking amazing, man. Well, anyway, man, I just wanted you to come in real quick. I I'm getting a little hungry. And I, I got to get out of my church clothes because I literally did all my errands right after church. I literally, like, as soon as church was done, uh, got something to eat for lunch on the go. I actually just... Like went to the restaurant, got it to go, ate my food in the car on the way to the thrift store, bought the cool. Oh, what, what did you think? What did you think of this that I got at the thrift store? You think? Yeah, I saw that the little Star yeah. Wars. Yeah, at first I was just gonna get some like movies, and then all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, what's that in the corner? Ten bucks. Bam. Nice. Now you gotta hang hang that up. Did you do you have any plans where you can hang it up or? I've got a couple ideas of where I'm gonna hang up. I just haven't picked the location yet. Haven't picked the location, but I got a few ideas. I don't think I'm going to put it on the James Bond wall because I've already got, you know, Darth Vader on that wall. Yeah. And I kind of wanted to space out the nerdage. So my one friend said, Fierce, it would look good on that wall, like near like near your pantry, like where your food is. You know, like when you look at my kitchen, you know, off to the left, you've seen the vlogs, you know, on the kitchen counter that, you know, uh, my ex-girlfriend – Got me the uh, the light of the Millennium Falcon, and it's right near my toaster. Well, <laughs> my friend said, "Fears, you've already got the Millennium Falcon near your toaster." He goes down that hallway in your kitchen. He goes, "There's that wall near your pantry." He goes, "You should just put it." He goes, "That wall's so bare, so anytime, every time you walked into your kitchen, you could just see it right there." And I was like, "That's maybe an idea. I may put it in in uh, one of the walls in my bedroom because I don't have much on my walls in, in my bedroom." I, I've been really decorating, you know, out here. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, I said, but the, th the only thing about my bedroom is, is 
you know, no one could enjoy it. Like unless I went in there and vlogged it, you know, like right. I do a lot of the live streams out here. So if I, if I'm live streaming over there or here, you know, at least maybe if I put it maybe back here somewhere, they could enjoy it or on that wall. So there's a lot of ideas, but uh, here it would be too big though. I mean, no, it is a, well, it's a little bit. I was even thinking if we put it between the two windows there. Yeah. I think, I think that would cover it. Let me see. Let me see if it would fit. Hang on. Like right in between the. No, it's too big. Yeah, I see. That's I. That's I figured. Yeah. If it was a little smaller, then it would be perfect. But it's a little too too big, and then there's not enough room to put it up there. So. Right. Yeah. But I'm that's actually a good idea, though. It's a good idea. If it was a, if it was a smaller painting, it'd go perfect right there, like dead center. But it's yeah, just, I know that's. It's just too big. It's just too big. You know what I'm saying? So that was a good idea, though. But yeah, so I do have a couple of ideas. I just don't know where. But I'll, uh, the minute I told the fans, I, I told the fans, and I told you, the minute I find out where the spot is, I'll either just grab my computer and unplug it while I'm live streaming and show them live. I said, or I'll just like film it and put it in a vlog and go, "Hey guys, I put it right here," you know. So yeah, yo yo yo, Heroes is here, and he says, uh, "Heroes." He says, "Yo, what's good, Richie?" Uh, wow. how was how was the grocery store? Pixel said. He said, "I just finished. I'm in the car on my way back home. I'm making sloppy joes tonight. Ooh, nice. Sloppy joes, nice. Heroes, let me know the minute you get home, and I'll throw you the link, and then you can come in." Me? That's a good question. Why why do they call it why do they call it sloppy joes? I really don't know. Like I started eating sloppy joes the first time I went to church camp, like when I was like nine or ten. So I had them at church camp, and then I had them. I've had them at Boy Scout camp when I was in Boy Scouts, and then I had them at summer camp. You know, I went to a lot of camps. Hell, they even had them at they hell they even had them at space camp when I was fifteen. So here's or is it just because I don't know some guy named Joe was maybe there was some random had some meat and then maybe put on a, maybe there was some random like some hamburger buns and then there you are and then of course it was sloppy or then just named them Did sloppy you? Joe. Picture this, like this Joe guy is like, I need to make my mark. I need to make my mark in in life. And he's like, all right, let me fiddle around with some stuff in the kitchen. I've got two buns. I've got some leftover ground taco meat, you know. Let me put a little on this. And then, oh, you know, I put some like brown syrup shit in there. Now it's kind of slimy. Wait a minute. I've got it. Joe's hamburger. No, 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 no. That's not a good name. Sloppy Joe's. There it is. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So it was probably some random, hilarious, like country bumpkin hillbilly guy named uh, Joe just farting around in his kitchen. It was like, I'm going out. When, when I die, I'm going out with some thunder. I'm making a sloppy Joe. That's probably what I like. <laughs> Well, my hat off to Joe. My hat off to Joe. There it is. Hero says, I make it extra sloppy. Hey, by the way, you know what movie that's from, right? That is from, oh, hang on. Don't tell me. I know it's an Adam Sandler movie. Yep. Billy Madison. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> One of the greatest ones is he's sitting there eating uh, that banana, and then that hilarious kid's like, Mortal Kombat on Sega Genesis is the greatest game ever. And then he goes, I disagree. And I'm like, dude, you're 30. What the hell are you doing in school? I'm like, this is fucking madness. And he, and he, he just turns to the kid and goes, I disagree. It's a very good game, but I actually think Donkey Kong is the best game. And then the little kid's like, Donkey, like, Donkey Kong sucks. He goes, you know what? You suck. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, calm down. It's a fucking six-year-old, man. Calm down, buddy. I'm like, you don't want to like paralyze the kid, you know? But the way he does it, uh, I mean, I know he's an actor, but I was just like, no, that, that's all acting. I mean, it's... I know it's acting, but I'm like, even though he's acting, he's still acting with a little kid. You got to like, like little kids feelings. You got to be real careful with that shit. You know, like if I was ever in that movie, I would just tell the kid like, look, I'm going to scream, but I don't mean it. So don't get your feelings hurt. <laughs> I'm not going to scare you. It's just, it's just part of the film, you know, but well, the that was all movie, acting. And I don't, and I don't think the kid really was well, i'm sure i'm sure know, i'm sure the kid was you know they, they yeah i'm sure adam you know told him exactly what i just said like hey i don't mean it i'm just trying to be funny in this film and blah 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 blah. but it's the delivery on how he did it richie's like yeah, you, yeah you, i know yeah i know yeah. Away, he's like you know what you suck 
<laughs> like the delivery when I watched it the first time, I was on the floor fucking losing my mind. It was great. And he's like, Donkey Kong sucks. He's like, you know what? You suck. <laughs> you know? yep. And then they just go back to eating their lunch and shit. <laughs> I'm like, this is fucking hilarious, man. Oh, dude, it was good. Let's see. Hero says, I need a blunt and the boot. Walmart was crazy. Dude, that's an understatement. Where's my snack pack? Listen, Where's my snack pack? Listen, when is I need my snack pack? Richie, I agree with heroes and villains, but I would ask him, when is Walmart not crazy? You know? <laughs> People are always going ballistic and they're trying to find deals. Oh, no, I saw it first. It's mine. You know, I can never get in and get out. I try to get in and out as quickly as possible. The lines are always fucking mad chaos. And I'm like, I'm like just buy me a gun so I can blow my brains out. I hate shopping. I absolutely <laughs> hate shopping. I'm a typical guy. I hate shopping even for myself. The only thing I like to buy for myself is sometimes I like to buy like a new shirt or some new threads. Or, of course, I like to buy a Blu-ray every once in a while. That's it. Any other shop shopping, I'm like, just please kill me. Get it over with. Please kill me. I hate this crap. I hate buying, like, the worst is shopping for food. Oh, God, it's horrible. That's crazy. Expensive, too. Seriously, when I, when I get a wife or a girlfriend, I'm going to be like, babe, I love you. You're the best. Look, here's 100 bucks. Have a ball at the grocery store. I'm going to go watch some football. Peace, deuce. <laughs> I'm out. Let me know how it goes, you know. The only time I like shopping is either for like like those two things, like clothes or like movies. Or I like Christmas shopping because it gets you into the Christmas spirit. Mm -hmm. But that's it. If it's just like normal shopping, I'm like, ah, I don't have the patience for this shit, you know? Yeah, I know. I can't – how girls can go – like, you know, call their little girlfriends up, you know, like, hi, Jen, listen, like, look, fuck, fuck guys today. Let's just go shopping, you know? You, you, you would never hear a man go, hey, Richie, guess what? Good news. Dude, today, I got to shop, man. You want to come? Yeah, I know, right, exactly, yeah. It's like... right. Or, like, when girls are like, like, let's just get dressed up and, like, fuck guys, let's just go dance. Let's go dance, you know? You would never hear a fears go, hey, Sam, dude, you know, tonight – I got to dance, man. Let's go dance. I got to dance. How they do that shit. I don't mind dancing with a girl, but you never see like guys at a club or guys like at a bar. I don't know. That's why girls are different than us. I'm just saying like they get really energized with the, you know, about the weirdest shit, you know, like guys would be like, yeah, whatever. I'll just grab a beer, chill out. You know, if I get to get, get, uh, get to dance with a girl, at a bar or a club, that's cool. But yeah. if we if we don't, I'm like, well, I'll just hang out with the homies, you know. Like they get real excited, like, oh my god, I love this song. It's it's my favorite, you know. And I'm like, it's a song, chill. <laughs> All right, you'll be okay. Like I've never gotten excited over a song. I've told Randall and Sam in, in the chat, I'm like, oh, I love that song. Like that song's got a great beat. Like I said it last night in in the in the extra long stream with me and Randall. Randall's like, Fears, every time I hear, you know, Blinding Lights, you know, I think of you because you love that tune. And you said you want to do a short film of us, like, re like recreating Blinding Lights. I said, Randall, we're going to get to that short film at some point. But you didn't see me, like, going ballistic over it. I just said, yeah. I said, I love it. It's going to be great. Me and Randall were going to recreate that uh, that music video, and the fans are going to lose their minds over it, and it's going to be funny. But you, you don't see me, like, screaming to the heavens, oh, my God, I love that fucking song, like, like how girls do, you know? Mm-hmm. It, girls are an enigma. We'll never figure them out. Guys have actually tried to figure out women, and we've just failed miserably. Yeah, pretty much. But women, they figured us out. I, we're simpler creatures, you know. They're like, guys, you know, do this, and guys do that, and they're right. They, I'm, I'm a hundred percent right. So they've kind of figured us out a little bit. But guys, we're all like, I'll never figure out like. Like, this girl's an enigma. You know, I, I cannot figure her out. I don't know what her fucking angle is. I, I don't get it, you know? So I don't try to question it, you know? Yeah. I learned from a very small age. I'm like, it's pointless. You're wasting your time, Fears. You'll never figure this shit out. Just don't even try, you know? Just, yeah, pretty much. Just find a girl, make her as happy as possible, be a gentleman, take her out, you know, have fun, enjoy her company, and don't question the insanity, you know? Mm -hmm. and least amount of drama as possible and least amount of fights. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
if that's possible. I mean, you know, in a relationship, you're bound to have an argument, but well, there's always going to be argument. You know, there's always, there's always going to be something. Yeah, try that, to try to minimize the argument that you're going to disagree with. Exactly. Uh, Pixel says this coming up weekend. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah! I love that song, Pixel. It, it's a great, it's a great uh, song. It's good. Heroes of Millions is like, hey Richie, where the fuck is my snack pack? Did you steal his snack pack, Richie? <laughs> Are you behind this shit? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> See, now Maybe I'm not. Oh, no, so now I'm finding out. Now we're <laughs> finding out the truth, but no, I'm just playing. Right. I know we are. We're just you can stay around. home and help me shave my armpits. Ew. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, no, that's a scene from the fucking movie too, right? Yeah. For a minute, I was like, it's the same thing. What Hero says is like, "Where's my snack pack?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, for yeah. a minute, I thought Visions had literally lost his mind and said, <laughs> "No, I, I thought I caught that on right away." Yeah, like for a minute, just for a good ten seconds, I said, "Are you lost your mind and you actually want fears to shave your pits?" That's never. <laughs> fucking I thought I'm like, oh, it's that funny black lady. Is like, well, if you stay home, you can help me shave my armpits. And he goes, "Oh God, I'll oh, go. To yeah, I'll go to school." That, like, lady, yeah. that lady is legendary. Because then at the end of the movie, isn't she making out with like the like the deranged clown or whatever at the end of the movie? I so, so, yeah. No, 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 no. The teacher, his kindergarten teacher, makes out with the the clown that falls and like cracks it. The the oh, the black lady uh makes out with you know that guy that want that's got a, that's got a, a a kill list. Oh yeah, makes out with him. And he's putting like the lipstick all over him. Uh, yeah, I, I think yeah. Weird. And Billy Madison is on the kill list until he calls up and says, "Look, man, I'm really sorry for bullying you. I shouldn't have done that. I was an idiot. I was a jerk. I'm really sorry." And he's like, "Yeah, sure, whatever. Don't worry about it." And then he just puts the phone down. And he just kind of does like a 10 second pause, and he's like, "And you know, he does one of those, and he gets up and he takes a red marker and takes his name off the list." And I was like, "Oh shit, he's an official kill list, like Dragon." Dragon has actually made yeah. up a kill list. Do you remember that when, when he got so mad and said, I've got a kill list? I was like, dude. Oh, Dragon? Yeah. I was like, calm down. You, do you, by the way, speaking of Dragon, do you, do you still follow him? I mean, I, I don't. No. He got too crazy for me, you know. Once yeah. he started making kill lists and taking guns out of his dad's closet and pointing them at the, at the video camera screen, I'm like, whoa. I'm done. And then he, then he like started talking to Matt, man, and he just got even more deranged. And I'm like, I am so done. So I'm not making fun of him. I wish Dragon the best, but it, he's just not my cup of tea anymore, you know. Yeah. And I tried to give him advice. I'm like, don't follow Matt, man. He's out of his goddamn mind, and he's a pedophile. So those are two big things why you should not follow him. I said, I said first of all, I said, and I told him, I said, Dragon, you're worse than me reacting to people. I said. At least fears has kind of honed it down. I said, you, if someone calls you a jerk, you're up in five seconds, you know? And jerk is nothing, you know? Like, if someone calls you a jerk, yeah, whatever. You know, awesome, I'm a jerk, whatever. You know, like, ooh, you really hurt me by calling me a jerk. So you can't tell Dragon anything. Any little thing will set him off. I haven't talked to him in here, so maybe maybe he's gotten better. I don't want to put words in his mouth. So yeah, I don't. Know. I haven't even. I haven't even been to this channel. I haven't either. So if he's gotten better at not reacting, then good on him, you know. But uh, I doubt it. But yeah. I'm not even. I'm not even sub to him anymore. I I don't, I don't think he's sub to me anymore. Which is he's not sub to me. I, I said I wish you luck, and I am sub. Yeah, it's just better. yeah. Same thing with Carrie. Like, Carrie's cool sometimes, but she got too manic for me. She just started to act kind of normal. Like, she's, she's gotten back into religion, so I um, – Yeah, I, I've, I've noticed – I've started I've started noticing that. I've been tuning in a little bit. Which, which I'm so happy for. I'm like, hey, you know, like, I don't know why Carrie got so nuts, manic, whatever. I said, but that's good that she's getting back to normal and she's trying to be better. <laughs> And I'm like, that's fantastic. I'm like, Carrie's mm -hmm. trying to be uh, Carrie's trying to be the best version of Carrie. I'm like, that's great. And I'm glad she I think she always was religious, but I guess she forgot about it. But then now she got back into it, which is good. She found God again. And I'm like, good for her. Great. And I mm -hmm. said, so anytime she comes in my chat, I'm always like, hey Carrie, what's up? I'm always nice, you know. Sometimes me and her, we crack a couple of jokes in between each other, but you know, nothing too crazy, you know. Right, yeah. And uh, I think she followed me back, and 
I think I followed her back, but yeah. So not mm-hmm. the Ravens. All right, let's let's throw uh, heroes in. Oh wait, heroes! I actually already threw you the link. So the minute you get home, come on in, buddy. Because I almost was about to send it to him, and I forgot that I already sent it to him. So yeah. <laughs> so anything else you want to plug, Richie? And anything else? Anything? Anything? Any other important things? Uh, you know, going on? You know? No. No. That's all I can think of. Okay. Oh shit! Here's Dragon. Oh lord. I'm gonna time him out. Oh lord, man. What is was that even? Doing, is right? that even the real one, or is that a fake? It may be a real one. It may be fake. I don't know. I just timed him out. Oh. <laughs> Let's not talk about it anymore. I know. Let's not. Talk about it. I actually, I kind of shot myself in the foot on that one. So my bad. So and so anything. So uh. So. Anything else, buddy? Not really. Not that I can think of. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool beans. So we're basically just waiting for heroes and villains. So, yeah. Well, if there's nothing else, Richie, I'm going to say goodnight, and uh, I'll either wait for heroes or I may just end the show because I'm getting really hungry. Okay. But, yeah. But, yeah, man, you're always welcome to come back on. I'm glad you liked uh, uh, the thrift store pick. Yeah. Everybody else seemed to. I just have to find a good spot to put it. because I You have to find a not really nice home for it now. Yeah, well, I mean, it's in the home. I just have to find a good. Well, I mean, I meant to like, I <laughs> figurative seats. I meant like find yeah. a place to hang it on the wall. Yeah. Is what I is what I meant to say. Cheers for Richie, right on. <laughs> but yeah, no man. Hey, uh, I'm gonna keep tuning in. Good luck with the channel. Cannot wait for the mo- the most epic next uh, challenge. What has Richie got up his sleeves? I guess we'll find out in a couple of days, weeks. Uh, so when, when do you think the next one will be? Is it going to be in a couple of weeks, a couple of days? Uh, do you... I don't know yet. I don't know. Well, I like, like you, you know me. I, you know me. I like to surprise it. It's like You do. I was trying to get some like information out of you, and you're just like, I, I got some stuff in the works, Spears. And I was like, well, what is it? Tell me. And you're like, I can't, man. I was like, all right. So I guess me and the fans will find out. Pretty much. Richie, if I find out that you, know, that you filled up that tub with ranch, I'm going to be the happiest guy ever. Did you did you hear? I I finally did it. Um, not only did I did did the ranch bathing challenge for everybody, but when I was hanging out with Sam at the uh, car museum, we went into this like uh, it was kind of like um, like a little lounge area where where you could buy like interesting sodas, normal sodas, and I never thought in a million years I would find it. Like Pixel- you know, I think I've heard about that that you were Pixel- mentioning it, but I didn't. But I, I didn't see it. You didn't? Did you vlog it or? I did vlog it, and um, I didn't see it a long time ago. Pixel said, "Fears, if you ever come to hang out, I said, Pixel, it's when I come to hang out." He goes, "Well, I was at this convention, man, and I found out that they have ranch soda." I said, "Oh, I'll drink it. I'll do it." And he goes, "I don't know, Fears." He goes, "He goes, it, it tastes pretty nasty." I said, "I'll do it. I'll do it." And so I did it for Pixel and Tinder Immortal. So Sam actually saw it. He goes, "Fears, you like ranch, right?" And I said, "Wait a minute." I said, "You got to be shitting me." I said, "Is it that ranch soda?" He goes, "Oh, it is, Fears." I run over. I was like, yes. I'm like, finally, I get to do it for the fans. So it was just luck of the draw. But let me tell you something. Don't ever try that, Richie. It stunk so bad. And I said, I'm doing this mainly for Pixel, but for the fans. I only got about two or three gulps of it, and then I threw it in the trash. It was so disgusting. But it was good footage. It was good footage for the vlog. Yeah. And Sam's all like, can you force it down your fears? I'm like, not the whole thing. I'm like, I'll force the couple of gulps that I did down me. But I said, that's it, you know? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm home. Well, just the way, just even to it in general. I mean, just the way it sounds like oh, ranch soda. It was. Just, like, just looking at it, it seems like it's like, no, that's just nasty. <laughs> that's like, it's not going to taste good. I mean. The thing is, it plays with your mind. When I saw the bottle, I was like, this is great. This is hilarious. You open it up, you smell it, and I'm like, oh, Lord. And did, then I. Okay, wait. Let, let, before, let, let's actually wind here. So when you like smelt it, did, did it even. What did it like smell like? Did it, it even smell like ranch? It smelled like ranch, I swear to God. But then <laughs> when you drank it, it was like. they. It was kind of like. Let me. You've, you've, you've had Sprite, right? Yes. It was kind of a mixture of like. Ranch, Sprite, and that Sierra, that Sierra Mist shit, like mm-hmm. all, all that to combine. That's if I had to like describe it. That's what it tasted like. 
I drank it and I was like, oh, good God. I'm like, well, I'm like, I hope the fans enjoy this because I'm like, this will be the last time I do this. I took about, but I didn't want to push out. I was like, all right, I'll do more than one gulp. So I did a gulp and Sam's like, how is it? Beers? I'm like, oh, it's bad. And you hear me, you see me in the video, go, it's bad. Oh, <laughs> and then I take like two or three more gulps. And then at the end, I'm like, man, this shit stinks. And I'm like, this shit is horrible. Throw it away. And then it goes right into like the ending credits. And then Sam tried one. That tasted like dirt. It was like it was literally called dirt beer. Dirt or, beer. Or, or, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Dirt soda. Dirt soda. And I said, "What does it taste like?" He goes, "Fierce." It's literally like someone dug up some dirt out of the ground, mixed it with water, and put it in a bottle. And I was like, "Oh shit!" I'm like, "That sounds disgusting." He goes, <laughs> and, he, "And Sam's like, oh, it is." And and on camera, he's like, "Tastes like dirt." And I'm like, "Well, there you go." I thought you tried it, Pixel. Pixel said, I never tried the ranch one. The cookie dough one was actually really good, but didn't taste like cookie dough. I uh, just tasted like unique kind of – oh, I thought you actually – okay, I wasn't trying to lie, Pixel. I honestly thought you'd try the ranch one. My bad, buddy. My bad. He said, almost root beerish. See, now root beerish wouldn't be that bad. I, like, if the cookie dough actually kind of tasted like root beer, like, you would drink that, right, Richie? Root beer is not bad. No, root beer's not fine. It's yeah, I mean, root beer wouldn't be that bad. Now, ranch, that's the last time I drank that shit. <laughs> and then he says they had buffalo sauce one that sounded really nasty. Oh, no, I couldn't do that one. No. Buffalo sauce one? No. He literally said it was like like, like, like a soda, like a soda-like buffalo sauce. So it was like buffalo mixed with, I guess, a soda-like, I, I, I don't know, it sounds weird. Sounds gross. I don't even. I don't even know if I could get that. Uh, it, it was just weird. Anyway, let's see here. What up, Trent P. Farm TV? Art? Wow, this guy's got an epically long name. What's up, man? Well, uh, Mountain Dew. I don't. Th I don't think. I don't think they have anymore. I think they pulled it off the shelves. But they. They Mountain Dew made a like a flaming hot. Really, Mountain Dew. Yeah. Oh wow. I, I did a review on that. You know, speaking of the weirdest one in Mountain Dew, the fans will remember this. Do you remember some of my Christmas vlogs from last year? Um, I'm shopping, right? I'm almost okay. on Christmas shopping. I made it into a TikTok video, but it was so random. I was like, this needs to go in my Christmas vlog. I'm walking by. They had gingerbread Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And I was like, good God. I'm like, two things that are total opposites gingerbread mountain dew hey i've got an idea let's mix them together hey i've got a better idea don't mix them together because i bet you that stuff tastes horribly have you ever had that richie the gingerbread one yeah i, I did i think i did a review on that you, oh, you did that as a yeah. challenge? okay so be honest before you go did it taste all right did it taste weird what was it like i'm i've, I've always been curious uh it kind of tasted like little ginger um like you know, like, uh, like what, uh, like you know, like that ginger ale soda that they have. Um. Yeah. Okay. It kind of tastes like that, but okay. yeah, with a splat, with a, like a little splash of Mountain Dew added. It's just it. been a minute since I've had that soda, but I, I kind of know what you're talking about. Oh, heroes! I already seen the link. The link is on uh, Twitter. Just check your Twitter. It's already there, buddy. Sorry. But yeah, like that flaming hot Mountain Dew, and I. I did what I did a review on that. That, that was a little. Way. I would rather try a little bit of the flaming, the flaming Mountain Dew one than the gingerbread one. I know the gin. I mean, I love Christmas, but I don't know if I could drink a gingerbread mixed with Mountain Dew. I don't know. Not my cup of tea. It was all right. I mean, I took a picture. It was, of it. It was a lot. It was, the a picture was... And I put it on Instagram, and I think I put "LOL Mountain Dew" or something like that, just to be funny. And then I was like, "This has to go in the vlog" because I'm like. I, I wonder if my fans have ever tried this. I said, all right, I'll put it in the vlog and see what they think. Some people laughed at it. Some people were like, oh, yeah, fear it's all right. I've had it. I'm like, all right, fair enough. You know. Oh, resend it? Okay, give me one second. Yeah, but then the flame and hot Mountain Dew, that was all right. I mean, it was it was a little hot. Um, it was kind of like – I don't know if you ever had, like, the flame and hot Cheetos. No. Oh, uh, well – mm, a long time ago, like before my Crohn's got even worse. I, I could okay. well basically what, what the flaming hot I could, I could have a little yeah. bit, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Basically what that tastes is like was it was like imagine you taking the flaming hot Cheetos 
and then soaking them in Mountain Dew and eating them. Oh yeah, I don't know. That's a little weird. see that that's a, that to me that's what it almost tastes like. Like wow. Yeah, what, Richie, it's been good to see you. I, I, I'm gonna just talk to LC for a little bit, but it was awesome spending some uh, right. hangout time with you. Don't forget to subscribe to Richie Wright. And uh, one more question: Are you gonna continue Can Man and, and the vlogs? Or are you just gonna focus just on Richie Wright? Probably the main channel. Okay, I was just curious. I mean, that's cool if you retired yeah. those two channels, but that's fine. All right, buddy. Well, good to see you. All right, take care. Thanks for having me on, Spears. Later, man. Later. Bye. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Everybody, that was Richie O'Right. Great guy, funny guy, always enjoying his company and his time. Now sending the link again to good old LC. We'll, we'll get him in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Update. Uh we're gonna get the update of the nerdage. Like, has he bought anything new? We'll talk about we'll, we'll talk about his Discord. Buddy, let's see here. Okay, yeah, I did send it to him on Twitter, but Pixel said to resend it to him. So, heroes and villains, I'm gonna send it to you again. Okay, bam, there you are. Come on in, buddy. When it, uh, whenever you're ready. All right. And we'll have a nice little chat with heroes and villains. There we are. Hopefully, heroes and villains has had a pretty good day. Like I said, I've had a pretty awesome day. Church was awesome. Uh, Tom Green is always awesome. And me and LC are going to get on some more random questions to finish off the stream. So if you got any questions for him, let me know. If not, we'll just pick some off the internet like we did last night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just waiting for LC. Hope LC, hope all you guys are having a great night. Like I said, I've had a great, great weekend. Just got to take care of this work shit on Monday. Hopefully, hopefully they figure it out. Oh, I said it to you on uh, your Twitter, buddy. Excuse me, pardon my yawns. Mm. Yo, there he is. I said it to you on uh, your Twitter, buddy. Yeah, that's me yawning. What up, buddy? How you been? Yo, yo, yo. Yo, what's goody? I'm oh, talking about your feelings out there. What it oh, do? Yeah. Oh, dude, I checked out uh, the Discord. Not too bad. Looking pretty good so far. Yeah, now, man. I appreciate it, man. I've been trying to... Um, now, you said you're going to you're, you're gonna add more stuff as you go. Like, now, tell the fans, what are you going to add to it? Yeah, so what I did already so far, um, I wound up adding uh, games to it. So that way when we're on there, we can chill so far. Like, I'm, I'm still trying to learn. But, um, okay, so there's something called Boost. So I got to be boosted. So for those that know about the Discord, hey, if you guys want to show love and throw <laughs> some boosting my way so that way I can get the games and nice. then we can have fun and I can download more games. Uh, I was able to get some games. I got Uno. Uno is a pretty cool game. And we got the Connect Four on there so far. So if you go to my Discord and you go to the hashtag games, you'll be able to find the games on there. Now, I noticed, I don't know where, well, I think Joey got these pictures off my uh, Facebook. Um, that picture of that doll, that was at Super RetroCon. That was me just being goofy. So I, I'll, I'm going to explain that picture to you, LC, because you're like, hey, Fierce, I didn't know you had a son. And I and I laughed at that. That was great. Uh I was like, not yet. I need to find a Mrs. Fear before that happens. So I was at Super RetroCon, and this person had this massive table full of Rugrat, uh, Rugrats doll. And Chucky used to be my favorite one. You know, the kid with the big freaking glasses? And, yeah, I just, and I just grabbed him, and I held him like this, and then I took a selfie. And I thought I was just being funny and goofy and shit. And all of a sudden, Joey posted in there, and I was like, I got to admit, I'm like, that picture is fucking hilarious. And then the other one, he, he's in his Spider-Man costume for some reason doing this. I don't know. And I think because I had my Ghostbuster shirt on and I was doing that. Uh, that's my that's my muscle Ghostbuster shirt, though. And someone got that for me. So 
Joey seems pretty cool, pretty chillax. So I may, I may unblock him on YouTube. I'm thinking about it. He seems like a cool guy now. Back in the day, he was horrible, but uh, he seems like he's a cool dude now. So I'm, I'm thinking about it. I mean, yeah. I mean, look. At the end of the day, at like the end of the day, it's all about respect. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. If if people we respect, cannot have a good time. We cannot have fun. I say it all the time. Exactly. You know what I, mean? I would hate to do me. that. If people respect me, I'll respect them. The minute, the minute you lose my respect, then I'm done. Then I'm done. Yes, sir. But yeah, so I've kind of dipped my toe in. I never thought in a million years I would dip my toe back into discourse, but the to minute the boot. To the boot. <laughs> see, I need to get my own boot. This is a perfect birthday and Christmas present, buddy. So just I, hear you. I got you. Don't worry about it. Either you can get it or hell, just show me where it is and I'll buy it myself and I'll put it under Fears' Christmas tree myself, buddy. So I can yeah. so I can boot it up with you, you know. You know. Now, if I get that big epic job, uh, I'll probably only boot it up on the weekends, you know. But uh because during the week I, I gotta stay focused on the job, you know. So yeah. Understood. But um hey, that that Discord to talk, to get back to that, um it's really cool. Just I'm still getting the hang of it, getting used to it. You know, learn how to how to use it. <laughs> Pretty good so far. I, mean, <coughs> I haven't checked everything cool out. Communicate with all of you guys. I just kind of like kind of skip. So so far so good, man. Yeah. So how was your day? I had a I had a great day. I, I don't know if you heard the whole thing, but I met a really nice girl at church, and I think I'm gonna try to ask her out. She seems really nice. Nice. I didn't, I, I didn't ask her out right away. I thought, well. I'm going to wait till she comes to church a few times, get to know her some more. And then maybe like the fourth or fifth time she comes to church, I'll be like, Hey, if you're not doing anything, we should totally grab some lunch at the church or we should grab some coffee. And I hope she says yes. So we'll see. And like, Hey, and would you like to come home and um, would you like some sausage? <laughs> oh my Lord. <laughs> um, well, that's the dream. That's the dream. You know, there it is. Yeah, listen, I have warts on my hands. You have no idea. I need you. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was I wasn't I wasn't ready for that. To the boot. <laughs> no, wait, how many boots have you had tonight? Is this the first one? Oh yeah, the first one. I don't think any after yesterday. Yesterday was I went hard yesterday. I was worried about you, man. I was and then the girls, and then the girls, when I finished your live stream, there was a party going on outside, and then the girls was getting me more fucked up. And I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Now, did now did uh did you kind of spread my name to some of the ladies or any of the ladies interested? Yeah, I said, listen, have you guys ever heard of the big red man? Oh. <laughs> nah, I'm a, I'm a Dude, I girl. hate I hate having sensitive skin. I absolutely hate it. No, did no, did you kind of like put a good word in for me or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would like I would like I got listen. I got my man fierce, aka the tomato man, aka his balls are that big and red. He needs a, a shorty. Yeah, these guys are freaks, though. Did you? They're freaks. Did, did you really said that to him? Yeah. Maybe it'll work out to my advantage. We'll see. Yeah, the one that the one that was hugging me, the one that was hugging me and shit. Yeah, yeah, she'll rock your world. Nice. Well, let's do it now. So, was any of them interested, or did you show my? Did you show any pictures of me, or any video, or or, or what happened? I mean, Jesus, I ain't got no. I, they saw you right there. They were, you was oh, on the live stream. I was, I was okay. I was just curious. All right. Yeah, yeah. They saw you. They saw your big, your big face. Okay, cool. Well, we'll yeah. see. Like, like, let them know I'm single and I'm ready to mingle. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, he's trying to rock out with his cock out. <laughs> but <laughs> to be honest, like, I'm really interested in this. Girl. The there you go. I'm really interested in this girl, Heather. Like. She seemed really nice, and she was super sweet and super funny. So we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. And plus, you know, if anything, send her my way, and then I'll know if she's good enough for you. I'll let you know. She seems really nice, and plus, I like that she's you know, you know, a sister in Christ. You know, because my my religion really means a lot to me. So that was really kind of cool and stuff. So, so what's your day been like? My day has been crazy. I went to church. I, I found. Did you see the cool thing that I got at the thrift store? No, nah, I didn't get to see anything. Oh, oh here. So, hey, uh, real quick, shout out to Picture Protocol to the boot. Oh, pretend. Yeah, she grab liquor and showing love. That's what's up. Um, talk to the bone fears. Picture says, "Ask heroes my question." What what oh. question did fears? Oh. And pretend story times. Oh, here it is. Boot, baby. It says, what is 
uh, Hero's favorite uh, strain so far. I'm fond of Space Ghost uh, ever since I I, I, uh, I had it in Vegas. Oh, um, damn. There be some some there be some crazy names, yo. There be like some exotics. You know what I mean? Shout out to Pretend Stories, Exhumed Visions, Pixel like, Protocol, Mercenary Man. If he's still here, uh, Richie uh, LC, um, that Trent guy. If he's still here, I had that. Hey, I would say like some of that White Widow, Pickle Mickle, Pickle Tickle, that Green Crack. Green Crack is actually the name of a, of, of a strain. You know, you'd be like Green Crack. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Um, pretty good. Um, I, I shit. Well, I haven't had sour in a while. Sour, but that's my, not exciting. Super, my, my super nerdy uh, coffee. I've been fucking the platinum all the time. I get a lot of platinum. I love platinum. You see it? Super nerdy coffee cup right here, buddy. Nice, nice. Uh, me and Randy won that. We were just a hangout, and he said, "Fierce, I don't care about any of these tickets at Dave and Buster. He goes, you can have all my tickets." So Randy was like winning me lots of tokens. I was winning lots of tokens, and we combined it, our efforts. I got a T-shirt. That mug, a whole bunch of other crap. But anyway, so my day was church, got something to eat. Then I uh, went to the thrift store, and I got this, buddy. I got this at the thrift store. Check it out. Boo, booyah. Nice. Ten bucks at the thrift store. So that was a, that was a <coughs> good find. That was a really good find. I don't know where I'm going to put it on the wall, but I'll find somewhere to put it on the wall. Then after that, um, Let's see. I got home. Uh, Check out the Discord real quick. See if any of you guys are on here talking that shit. So I be talking on here. Let's see. What well, after the thrift store? Uh, went to Walmart, got some stuff, and then I came back, started the stream. So yeah, it's been a pretty good day. W what's your day been like? Hanging That's out. Good. Uh, my day was pretty, uh, pretty smooth to be honest. Um, like I said, I was chilling the whole time um, I, all the way until when I had to go ahead and do groceries because. I had, to do, I had to go out yesterday, but man, I was caught up in that five hour stream I did. I got caught up. You know? well, so for today me, I went out there and literally just on time, as I was leaving Walmart, it started to rain. And then it was raining. When I got home, it stopped. And mm -hmm. then I was able to put all the groceries inside. So boom, then it, now it can do whatever the hell it wants. I don't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm home. Did you see how long my, my stream was last night? That's probably the longest fears podcast stream like where we just talk. Like I went from myself to you and me, and then you, me, and Randall, and then you left, and then me and Randall was just gonna talk like another 10, 20 minutes. And me and Randall were having fun. All of a sudden we didn't end it till like four or five in the morning, but it's that's the longest normal fears podcast I've ever had. It was like five hours and forty something minutes. It was crazy. It was almost six hours, just shy. But it wasn't six hours. It was like five five hours and 49 minutes or some shit like that. But it was a long stream. So Fears had to go get some sleepy time, and then I was off to uh, off the church. But what else What else did you do today? You hung out with a family? You went grocery shopping? What else? Yeah. Oh, and then I was on the Discord trying to figure it out, you know, because my wife went to work at like 1 o'clock. Yeah. So like I said, the thing with me is that I have weekends off. So yeah. on the weekends is when I can do my grocery shopping. That I work Monday through Friday. Always, and I have Saturday, Sunday off, so that's the best schedule. I work eight to five. You know what I mean? You can't be well, hope, like I said. Hopefully, I you know I get that big epic job, nineteen dollars an hour in September, and I hope to God they give me the weekends off. Yeah, yeah, man, that'll be cool, man. That'll really be that'll really be good for you too. Or at least have a Sunday off, you know, for church. I don't care if I have like a Sunday off and then a Monday; that'd be fine. Uh, but it would be great for hangouts and streams, and then we got to do the you know the toy hunt that we were talking about, you know. Uh, I think we should the toy hunt. I think we should definitely find some, like like you said, a cool Lego project, and we both build it, on, on, yep. on, like either in a vlog and then we upload it, or either on a live stream, or both. We could do both. You know, that'd be cool. The last time I played with Legos, if I'm being honest, was back in Missouri. It was Thanksgiving, and I did a Thanksgiving vlog, and I have a whole bunch on my dad's side, a whole bunch of like little cousins. And then I've got big cousins my age. And one of my cousins is, he's like, well, back then he was like seven or eight and he loved to play with Legos. And anytime I came over, he's like, hey, Johnny, like, like, can you 
come and play with me and like we'll like we'll build epic lego creations and i was like dude let's lego it up buddy let's lego it up and i filmed what my cousin tanner built and then i filmed what i built and i was like building like these epic spacecrafts with like lego so that's the uh, that's the last time i can honestly say uh, honestly say that i played with some legos buddy so jeff i have to get on a lego hunt yeah yeah definitely bro like the one i'm actually on a hunt i'm looking for the lego and we can get i know it's out we definitely gotta go like when i go i go to the lego store on, like I said, on that's I drive on, on international. You know what I mean. That's, that, that, that's, that's the one in Disney Springs, right? The yeah, Earth. yeah, that's the one I go to. So the oh, Lego that I want, it's there. Like all my Lego pieces, I buy them there. Like so, the next one I'm trying to get is the Baby Groot. So they got Baby <laughs> Groot Lego wise. So I'm trying to get him next. Uh, if they have a Lego, well, what would be really great is. If I could get a Lego set of something that's one of my favorites, if they have anything Lego Ghostbusters, fears is all fucking over it. Yo, what's up, Richie? Yo, sorry I missed you, man. You know, I thought I was gonna be on on time and talk well, a little bit with you too. And uh, you know, I do is, what I thought sure I would, is, what I thought I would do is since you were like still at Walmart, I thought okay, here's what I'll do. I said I'll just you know have a little interview with Richie, have a little hangout time with Richie, and then once you get here, I was like, hey, Richie. I'm gonna spend some time just with, with you know with, with my homie, my, my 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 good buddy LC, and Richie's cool like that. He's like, yeah, no worries, fears. So I both I got I got you guys both in on the show. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Hopefully, one of these days, now that I'm getting the hang of you know adding guests on my OBS, I know you would be having problems with that. I, and I, how, you know, how do you do it? Like, how do you do like OBS? It's it, okay. You, I don't understand when I I comment below and I tell you how the hell to do it and you never mention back. No, I it's saw. Called, I saw it's it. called VDO dot ninja. And I and what I did is I try to do it and and when you go there, that gives you the, the four windows. You can add up the guest. And then you can it, when you bring the guest in, just like you know, you send the link. You well, know? it's kind of hard because I don't have the same computer as you. So on my Mac What you mean? It doesn't matter. It's the same, it's just well, VDO no, dot ninja. No, no, no. I got a laptop. No, no, no. It looked a little different on my Mac. Unless I did something wrong, I tried to do it, and I just couldn't figure it out. And so I oh, you got a Mac. I've got a Mac. So, and the reason why I downloaded OBS is because when I was trying to, whenever I ran out of stream time, oh, boy, baby. when I tried to download, uh, when I tried to um, stream on my phone, idiots, I, I, we all know who, kept calling in and they would ruin my stream. So I said, all right, I'm done. And I said, uh, Sam, I said, there's got to be another way for me to stream once I run out of stream time on StreamYards. And he went, I'll help you just download OBS fears and you can stream off that. I said, Oh, that'd be fantastic, buddy. I said, Can you show me how to can you show me how to work it? And he said, Oh yeah. He goes, It's easy to work OBS. And I went, Okay, cool. So now I'm fine. Now I finally have some stream time back on uh StreamYard. So Pixel says to the boot. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yo, huge shout out, man. Since I got the, like I said, I love each and every one of you guys, man. And once again, Hell yeah. You guys wouldn't know me. I wouldn't know none of you guys if it wasn't for my man Fears. You know what I mean? So, like I said, I would never talk bad about the dude. I might joke around with him and fuck around with him, but nothing is ever silly. That's you know what, what I mean? friends do, buddy. That's what friends do. You know? So, huge shout out. And also, guys, if you guys have been checking out the Discord, join the Discord if you haven't. Please join. Yo, shout out to everybody right now that's on the Discord showing love. No to the face. You got Mercenary Man. You got Pixel, you know what I'm saying? You got Challenge, you got challenge Master. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's showing love, man. Challenge Master. Really appreciate that. Is out. You got Mercenary Man, but Mer I think Mercenary Man is under a different name. Well, no, you know he was saying? here. He was here, and I guess he, I guess he ducked. No, no, but on, 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 on the Discord, he's, I think he's o o o o or zero 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 zero. He He's not by Mercenary Man on Discord. Okay. Yeah, he go by a different name. So, anyways, once again, shouts out to each and every one of you guys that joined the Discord to show love. And like I said, man, hey, if you if, if you haven't joined it, join it. And yo, let's boost it up, all right? So I can add some more games. We can have fun. I was trying to get the poker game set up on my Discord. That way we can get on. We can hit up some poker. You know what I'm saying? We'll have a blast. But it was saying I need some more boosting, whatever that means. So. If you guys know what that means and you're able to help me get boosted up, you know and if you guys can boost me, then yeah. come on and get it up so I can get more games so we can just play games on the Discord. You know, I'll I want to play some poker. Oh, so you kind of inspired me. The minute you said poker, I was like, that would make a cool, like, actual blog. Like, 
you, me, you know, maybe your sister. Yeah, but, everybody. You, me, and everybody else. No, I mean, like, no, I mean, like, no, 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 no. We I mean, like, we, we can make our own room in the poker. You know, no, I mean, like, like, I, like, I meant, like, I got inspired. We could actually do a poker game in real life, like, like your sister. Oh, could, hey, 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 hey. You don't want to fuck with me in real life, here. Nah, you don't want to play I'm me. I'm down. I'm you down. don't want to fuck with me. You don't want to play with me. Get up some poker, motherfucker. All right? You don't want to play with me, baby. All right? Yo. <laughs> It's I'm been a, a long time, yo. But we used I'm to have poker talent. night. I am. We used to have poker night, yo. Here, it's been a long, t- a couple of years that we haven't done it, yo. Let's but it was really work. fun. So I'm down. I'm down. I'm down too. Just like you, it's been a minute since I played poker, so I I, I would have to have a refresher course because it's been a minute. Like you gotta play online. Play online, so you get the refresher. You know, like like poker online. You know. Yeah. I may have to do a couple of refresher courses because it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I played poker, and it's been a minute since I played uh, twenty one. So it's it's been a minute since I played those. But yeah, if you're down to play some poker, man, we could we could vlog it up and, and do like a poker game. That'd be kind of cool. Hell yeah! Hey Pixel, uh, to answer your question, you said you like sativa. Hey, to be honest, I don't know the difference. The sativa, the indigo. Hey, as long as it gets me <laughs> fucked up, that's all I care about. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about. I I, I can't tell the difference. I wouldn't know. You know the difference between that. Hero, so, entertain the fans. I need to use the restroom. I'll be right. Your thing. And go, then ahead, send, go ahead and you talk about comment to the boot, baby. Just a few pixel. Go ahead and to talk about whatever you want. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go take a shit. Oh, it's a piss. Well, piss and a shit. I'll be right back. I'm trying to lie and shit. You know what I mean? Trying to bullshit me. No, I'm not lying, bro. Really, go take a shit. Why are you still here? Damn, you got me yelling at you on your own shit. <laughs> Yo, what it do, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Here's the British Collectibles. Nah, <laughs> fuck with you guys. Shout out to everybody. Yo, I'm good. Having a good time. I needed this. Yo, Walmart was fucking crazy. I needed this too. What's up, guys? Who is here right now? So I can give a shout out. On the live stream, let me hit those thumbs up at least. Sm- uh, hit up the thumbs up on the chat so I can go ahead and give you guys a shout out to just to know who is still joining me. Also, I give a huge shout out to everybody uh, on the fucking Discord. And I'm tripping. This is somebody else. Who was this? Because Mercenary Man is right there as Mercenary Man. This is somebody else. I gotta go back and read comments and shit. Oh, I know who that was. What was that, that earlier earlier today? Um, when I was on fears and shit. I'm fears is right here. When I was here earlier, I forgot. Hey, we got Coco in the Discord. Says, "Hey everyone, if you are content creators on YouTube, let me know so you can gain." the content creator role in your account. So you have access to private channels and special chats. Okay, guys? So that is being posted right now as we speak from Coco through the Discord. So make sure, uh, like I said, we could chat here, chat on the Discord. Really appreciate you guys. Hey, Richie, uh, have you joined my Discord? If you haven't, let's do it. Uh, let's see. Knocking boots. Eh, eh, knocking the boots. Richie said, is that apple juice or beer? Oh, yeah. It's beer, brother. So I got two of these. One of these fills up the whole boot. So I got two boots. Two boots. So this is the first boot. So I got one more boot left. A lot of the times, 100% of the time, there's either beer or liquor. It was just yesterday that I was really trying to sober up that I had juice in it. But I either have beer in the boot or I have liquor in the boot. I really don't put nothing else, not even juice. It was just, I was on the live stream. Everybody wanted the boot. And I was like, all right, I'll bring out the boot. And I was dehydrated like a motherfucker. So I just put juice in the boot and just kept on drinking. Yo, you guys have made this boot 
just fucking another character. Like just in general, the book. Because even when, like, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm trying to get, like I said, for those that are part of my, that subscribe to my YouTube channel, the goal is to get people to donate to the Heroes and Villains Cash App so that way I can order a big bulk. They got them by a hundred. I already did the research. So if we can, if we can come up with like at least with the whole shipping, if we can do like let's say total 150 bucks. If we can all come up with like 150 bucks, I can go ahead and order the the, the amount, a hundred boots, and then I can get them. Um mm. I mean to be honest, it'd be like probably 200 in total, like to be able to pay for getting them engraved. What one side will be the LC. And the other side will be the Heroes and Villains Collectibles logo. So I, let's say, let's I, say we could, we're able to come up with like two hundred. Then I can go ahead and order the boots, like a hundred of them, and then I can get them custom made. And then, guys, I can give them away for giveaways. Or I, if Fears is doing the show, I'll be like, if Fears, yo, I got the boots. Have I have him do a giveaway on his channel? Oh yeah, you know, my boots. I mean, what I mean, I am waiting. I can I cannot wait to have my official. Heroes and villains. I promise you, you will. Like I said, a lot of people, you guys, all of you guys, you guys have surprised the shit. Up. You guys crack me up. You guys, like I said, the boot, whether it's this one or a custom one with, with our Heroes and Villains logo, you guys have made this boot shit legendary. It's like, I feel like I can't do a YouTube video you without can't. it. You can't. I can't do it without you it because if I do a YouTube video without it, you are like my co host. LC, my co -host. I kid you not. The first time, you know, we met in the first live stream, I was like, all right, I love the boot idea. So I go nuts on my channel. My guys, you guys did this. I didn't. I was just drinking a beer. You yeah. guys made this. So I kind of started it. I, I kind of started. I was like, guys, go nuts on the boot. I went, And then I went nuts myself on the boot. I thought the boot was cool. Then I tasted the boot. And then I was all about it. And I was like, all right. I've got some pretty loyal, decent, epic, going nuts fans and friends online. We got to skyrocket this fucking boot into the goddamn stratosphere. I'm like, it has to fucking happen. And now it's legendary. And now I cannot wait to have my official Heroes and Villains official boot. And fears will go nuts. And I'll be drinking some boots every night on my channel too. And it'll be fucking great. It'll be fucking great. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, that's what I was saying. Um, what I was saying was that I, I'm trying to collect. So I, I do have the Heroes and Villains Cash App. You know nah. what I mean? So, mm -hmm. you know, if people want to donate and help out. And like I said, it's all going back to you guys. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That really support and love. So, like I said, the Cash App is there. Like I said, if I'm ever going to ask you guys for any money for us to do something, mm -hmm. it's going to always go back to the channel. It's always going to go back to you guys. Like, no, always, like yeah, not I don't really need to uh, ask for you guys for something for me. I want to, if I ask for something from you guys, it's for the channel, for all of you guys, for all of us. Now, the thing is, LC, you haven't met this guy yet. He is a fan. He just kind of drops in my chat every once in a moon. But when he does pop in, he's a really good guy. There's this guy um, called Gothic Drinks. And he knows that I love the Dan Aykroyd, like, uh, 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 Crystal Skull Vodka. Whenever he comes back in, I've got to tell him about the boot. He 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 will go ballistic over this boot. I he I think he works in, <laughs> he works in the liquor industry or the booze industry. I I asked him one time what his job was. I think I, I don't quote me. I think he said that. So since he works in the industry, hopefully he, he'll he just pops in randomly. Uh, I haven't seen him in a long time, so hopefully the next time he comes in, I will tell him about the boot. I promise. I will tell him yeah. about it. But he's yeah, a man. Hey, it'll be crazy. And you know why? Because I only say that because you guys made this, like, legendary, right? So in my mind, when I'm doing live streams, like, I have to have the boot. I can't do well, it. I'll be honest. Boots, right? I'll be honest. So in my mind, then, if I'm going to have the boot, I want everybody to have a boot. Yeah. You know what I mean? That way, if I'm doing a live stream and I got my boot filled up, I want to make sure in my mind, you guys got your boots filled up and we're all doing the same shit. I'll be honest. You made up that idea about everybody having a boot. I just kind of kickstarted the boot and then, you know, but you actually- But because you guys love the boot. Like, I remember I only did a live stream just drinking out of the boot and I was just, you know, you guys made it legend legendary, you know? Like it's all I kept saying was- to the boot. So, yeah. You know, it's like everybody bowed down 
So and what I'm saying when is, when you came over that one time, you was able to wear the crown. You know what I'm what saying? What I'm saying is, is you you had the idea. You were the one that that first said to the boot. I just kind of helped you kickstart it. But you you had it there. The idea was always in your brain. You had it. So I can't take credit for that. I can take credit for blowing it up into the stratosphere. But you're the one that made, you know, to the boot. That was all you. You had the boot. We didn't have the boot. You, you were even and, doing and, and you, I'll tell you one thing. When it comes to Harris, you, the... you, you were even doing that before, you know, you were always you were doing the boot even before you met me and my community, you know. So yeah, you, but you I didn't think that, that you know, but it wasn't anything until you guys made it something, you know. But what I'm saying is, is you, the community made it something at the end of the day. If I was to invest in it. It's because of the community. You guys liking it. You guys are loving you know it. You I'm guys are saying, I you know, want to get a boot too. You know what I'm trying to say, though, is we just helped you blow it up, but you always had the idea. Like, even before you met me, we became friends. You were, like, I've watched some of your old videos before we met. You were still doing the boot back then. You were still going to the boot. So you always had the idea. We just helped you explode the idea into yep, something yep. epic. It's, yeah, it, it, it's true as you guys because I, I can make it. I can say to the boot all it all it on. You know, it doesn't matter. But if you guys are the ones like, yo, the boot, the boot, or oh, constantly in the comments, the boot, the boot, where's the boot? Like, Hit up the boot, you I'm know. And then you guys are in the comments saying, hey, I'm down. I will support you. I will get a boot. I will get a boot. Hero, okay, I'll, so give boot. I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll give this. you the motherfucking boot. I'll, I'll give you an example. Like, you can't do a show now without the boot. It's just like me and my coffee. I can't do a fear stream without Z Coffee. I always, I love my coffee. I need my coffee. Uh, fears is nothing without my coffee. Yeah. It's not as epic as the boot, but I still got to, you know, brew up a good coffee. Uh, and I always do my coffee just like how my dad does it. It's, it's, fuck, uh, fuck every other way. It's always good. Two sugars. One cream, always. And me, one blizzy and one boot. We got the blizzy boot. The blizzy boot. No blizzy, nine boots for fears. <laughs> I just need a good buzz. Hey, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen, man. If everybody really, like, love the show support and all that stuff, and just, just everybody just donate a little bit, and, you know, it's going to go back out to all of us. And, and, oh. and that'll help out with, like, other giveaways and other stuff. It must you know what I mean? Up. I must bring this up because this is a key question. This is very important. Vision said, uh, uh, when Fears asked you yesterday if you thought he was on top or bottom, I, I would have said bottom. Listen, with a girl, Fears always likes to be on top. Take charge. I'm a take charge kind of guy. That's me. I'm always on top. Yeah, but the only problem with that is that oh, my I was, was, I was being on the bottom, but you know, you always got to, no, man, but I was twisted yesterday. I know that literally that question went right over me because I was fucked up yesterday. Hero, you know? listen, I love you like a brother. You were you were gone. You were fucking annihilated last yesterday. Annihilated. You were gone. You're I was like trying to sober up, man. When when we were in the stream, you were slurring. Yo, I had that public sub. Oh shit, man. Did it stay if anybody down? lives by your Publix? Did it stay down or did, or did it come sub, out? Make sure you eat that shit. Did it stay down or did it come out? Hell no. I tell that bitch. I ate it while I was watching that movie, Samaritan. I told oh, you about nice, it. Nice, nice, nice. Alone. It was okay. I enjoyed it. Good. It was a good movie? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's a, it was a, it, it's Amazon Prime. So, I mean, I, you don't have to pay nothing extra. It's a streaming. So, for what it was, yeah, for streaming, it, it's good. I enjoyed it. It had a twist at the end. It now, had a twist at the end. I will say this. Me and Visions were good buddies. Now, Visions, not always on top for, for me, for your fears and the ladies. But most of the time, fears is a take charge kind of guy on top. But if she wants fears on bottom, then, you know, uh, 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 always willing to change up the situation. I'll be all right, yeah, I'll, I'll take a break on bottom. There you are. Hey, uh, really quick, I don't know if Richie is still on here, but... Um, I don't know. Hey, Richie, so just to confirm, your, uh, what is it? Uh, Discord name is um, Challenge Master. I don't know, I gave, like I said... I gave a couple of people a shout out on the Discord. Also, well, I gave is, a shout that's, out that's, to Challenge uh, Master. So I think, um, like I said, Picture says that's his name. So if it is his name, thank you for joining. And hey, I gave you a shout out on Discord, brother. So, oh, dude, LC, like I know you've only met Richie a handful of times. He is one of the coolest motherfuckers alive. Like he's like he's like you. He's like Sam. 
One of the guys, dude. Richie's cool as fuck. Now, I will say his his YouTube channel is called Richie Wright. His real name is Richie. But his title is the Challenge Master because he does all the epic, crazy challenges. So that's his thing. So everyone calls him the Challenge Master. Hey, this is for all you guys right now Woo. that are subscribed to my channel that show me nothing but love. I love each and every one of you guys. You know what I mean? And also show my man fears respect. This is for Tell each and every one of you guys watching me right now that don't know who the fuck I am, that are not subscribed to my channel. Make sure you subscribe. To the boot, baby. I, I'm going to do an old fears classic that always seems to resonate. I think the better question is, is why wouldn't you subscribe to his channel? Why? Because he's Elsie. He's my homie. He's my buddy. He's my pal. He's the fucking man. Subscribe, bitches. Oh, shit. Dude, nice perk. Oh. Are you gonna end? How are you going to put it on your face when I was just chugging this whole thing? I was giving you a plug. I didn't know you were gonna do a hellacious burp, dude. I that burp was so epic. Man, I, could, I don't care about the burp. burp. I chugged this whole thing. I chugged this whole thing for my people. I'm sorry, I'm I you, buddy. I, I'm so sorry. That's it, man. You fucked it up. I was no. I'm going home. I'm going home. Fuck, I'm going home. I'm out. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving you a plug, man. I'm so sorry. My bad. You're good. You're good. I'm fucking with you, man. All right. So it's confirmed. Next time I come over, two, two, two finger double barrel with, with the hot sauce. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a good time. I'm telling you, next time you come, we're going to have a lot more boots. So yeah, man. People want to oh, see you. I'm fit. down. I'm down. You thought I was twisted last time. Make sure you're going to be fucked up. I even told them on stream. I said, I'm fucked up. I'm telling you. You were annihilated yesterday. Like, hey, I, I didn't even. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, you know, you had me on the stream. I've already been probably talking for like the last 15 minutes. I didn't mention not once. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, man. Yesterday, we hit the 1,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. That was the whole purpose that of yesterday's awesome. live stream. You know, huge milestone for me. Might not mean shit to nobody else. To me, is the world. And my and, and my family. No, dude, you know I mean? don't say that. Don't say that. Like when I hit a thousand, hitting a thousand is a big deal. No, but you got people that you know. I, I was in other streams and I was like, oh, I hit. And people are like, oh, a thousand ain't shit. It, it ain't shit to you, but it, it, it's the world to me. Well, so remember, you, I love, so remember, some people don't share your joy. Yeah, listen. Forget the haters that say all oh, thousand isn't enough. When I hit a thousand, it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, things, with, things with me, brother. I don't give a shit what anybody says, my brother. I had a great time. Like I said, I was supposed to do a 30 minute to an hour live stream thanking everyone, and that shit went for five hours. I got fucked Fuck up awesome, on the man. live stream. Fucking awesome. fuck Don't you know what? To be honest, the only thing missing from the live stream was your ass. That's it. I know. Fears I would have had you, I would have probably had you on you know on video chat. So I would have had you on my channel, which I, I have to do that yet. I still haven't had fears on my channel but then again i just figured out how to use it with my sister so well I, I would love to come in as a guest but i've been i've been like a, a guest like in an actual show but no, yeah no, no no but as a guest like i'm doing right now oh yeah, yeah i would love to have, be on a that'd be great that'd be whenever whenever you want just let me know but no the the day you did that five that five hour one i needed some sleepy time i, I was so exhausted i was like i need to rest man but yeah so yeah, so what else did you did you, did you get on any mini toy hunts today with the fam or was it just grocery? No, stores? no. So I went, I went, I went to Walmart, and the whole purpose is the first thing I went was to do a hunt. Okay. There was really nothing out there, nothing. So okay, I was about really to have you found something. I'm happy that yesterday I went on the toy hunt. You know what I mean? Okay. I didn't post a video today because it got a little hectic, but I it it will be posted tomorrow. The toy hunt video I did yesterday. I went to Coliseum of Comics. Nice. Now picking up something something good, you know, that I actually needed for the collection to go with the collection. So, well, don't and then right now, wait until you know you gotta watch exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm not giving out no spoilers. So that way you watch the video and then you check out Coliseum of Comics. I give you guys some good footage, mm -hmm. and then you guys see what they have. You guys are into hot toys, you're into some Marvel, you're into DC, you guys will see all the footage that they have at my local comic book store. Guys, show my buddy some love, man. I know you guys have been showing some love, but show him even more love. Hit him on the hit, hit him on the Twitter, hit him on the Instagram, the TikTok, the YouTube, everything, man. He's got he's got the Heroes and Villains website. Check that out. Heroes and Villains Collectibles.com, man. Check it all out. Good yep, Heroes and Collectibles.com. Shit, we got the Heroes and Collectibles. We got the, the Discord. 
We got the TikTok. Hey, yeah. Even my daughter was telling me. My the daughter told me, hey, you got to post some, some more videos on TikTok. And I'm like, you sound like fierce. Listen, when am I not TikTok, man? If I'm not on YouTube, I'm going nuts on the old TikTok. <laughs> so but I can so yeah. it so well on TikTok. I'm kind of baffled. Like, last, hang on, let me look. What am I? My to? daughter told me. My daughter said, oh, I got 11,000. I'm like, 11,000? My daughter said she got like three videos on there. Oh, wow. That's crazy. My daughter, yeah, I think she said she got like three videos on there, I think. And she got 11,000. I mean, you got 11,000 over three videos. What the fuck? I mean, people love TikTok. I mean, it, you have to be real creative. You can either do a three minute video, a one minute video, or a 15 second. So, so far, Fears is up to. Here's the. Hey, official. Richie, I, I'm watching your comments on Discord with the whole wrestling. Uh, Challenge Master, I create content on YouTube. My channel link is my Discord bio. Do All a right. challenge. Um, oh. So oh, here we okay. go, guys. That that off I said, um, do a challenge, time. Richie. So the official count on uh, Fears Man 26 on TikTok, I'm doing amazing. We're at 8,084. So we're getting there. Nice. We're nice. Getting, so my goal, hopefully, I would love to get to 9,000 by the end of the year. That would be great. So, and the last video I did, what was the last video I did? Oh, I, oh, I, I, I entitled it um, Geeky Things in My Life. So I kind of uploaded a few pictures of, of your collection and my collection, and I mixed it together. Uh, I started the video with, with uh, I bought the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man marshmallows. I had that in yeah, there. I've I seen those. I've seen those. That was, that was cool. Now, I haven't, I, I made, I, did you see the Heroes and Villains where I put all your pictures together? And I and I and I, I said I think I, I think I named it Heroes and Villains Collectibles uh, Nerd Collection. It, it's on there though, so that's on there. And I and I tagged you on TikTok. So that's on there. So I'm always showing some love and some support to you know to my buddy, you know to my pals. I always try and help my friends out as much as I can, guys. You know, while working on my yeah, own. Yeah, that's what it's about, man. That's what it's about, especially when you build a community and you build some friends and people that really care about what you have to say. And not only what you have to say, you know, you listen to their stuff, whatever they have off their chest. They want to get something off their chest. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm I've, here. I've taken many suggestions from Pixel, Mercenary Man, Visions, you know, everybody. You know, they give they, good. They get. They give good advice. They're good friends. They go both ways. Yeah, and me and me and Randy has actually taken some of their suggestions and put it in Fears Man, like. Hey, Pixel, real quick, while I'm on the stream with you, I only had enough for two boots. I already okay. finished boot number one. Let me refill boot number two. All right, fill All right. it up. Fill it, fill up. it up. Boot number two, my last boot. Give me a second, guys. All right, start it off right, though. Scream to the boot. Oh, hang on. He wants to go. He wants to go fill it up. All right, he'll be back. Guys, blow this boot up into the god i mean it's already into the goddamn stratosphere but let's get it into the fucking you know past the stratosphere i'm serious pixel you have no idea the minute i saw it i was like i need my own boot i'm filling up when, when i get mine i'm filling that bitch up with coffee and i'll probably mix it with booze or just coffee and i'll fucking down that motherfucker shunk all the way down it's gonna be great i'll be honest LC drinks a little bit more than I do. I, I only drink on special occasions, but just wait till the Christmas live stream. You know, we, we all know what happened last year. Fear said about, what, three or four wines, wine bottles? That was good. That was good stuff. Good, good stuff. <laughs> Smash says the boot foundation. Listen, why not? Why not? I it, This weekend's been an amazing fucking weekend. Exactly what I needed to take my mind off of all fears and fucking problems. I'm just fucking worried beyond belief about my dad. Always. It's always fucking stressful. And then this fucking job situation shit. I'm like, mercenary, mercenary, mercenary man was like, man, fears. And I was like, I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. I'm just like, someone made a mistake. Whatever. I'll figure it out on Monday. And then I got the big interview coming up. I just got a lot on my mind. So this was the exact weekend that I needed. To the boot! All right, hang on, real quick. Go, boot, baby. There you go, buddy. Here we go, guys. Here we go, boot number two, baby. We put on the motherfucking crown. All right, so be honest. How tipsy are you right now? Is the buzz kicking in, or, or is it about to kick in? Or, or where, oh, where, yeah, where? Yeah, come on. What are you talking about? I just finished this big one of these big ass things in like fifteen minutes. This is a big beer. 
I'm, this I'm, is like about you know what I'm saying. So uh, that, finish a whole big. What is it? A uh, 24, uh, 25 ounce. That's finish a month, 25 that's a month. ounce in, in fifteen minutes and see if you're still gonna be sober. Dude, I'll be honest. I only had one boot and a half, and I had a pretty good buzz going on. So I'm for, telling you. So for fears to have an actual two boots, I don't know if I'd be. And and it depends what you're drinking. It depends on your drinking. You know how sometimes you see me with some blue shit, or yeah, some green shit. Yeah, that all is. I promise you, my if, if you if you come over and you drink some blue shit, mm -hmm. yeah, it, that's just gonna take about one boot, nigga. You're gonna be gone. Oh. What did we, I forgot? What did we? Was it Miller we had when I was over? Yeah, yeah, we had Miller. That was some good shit. Yeah, I, I, I haven't had Miller in, in but, quite. But sometimes I buy that Smirnoff. The blue one is the Smirnoff blueberry. Okay, buying, it's good. It tastes. It really has a good taste to it. But trust oh, me, I've had that before. No, but I'll be honest. I haven't had Miller in a minute, and so I remember I tasted. And I was like, oh damn! This is for everybody good. in the chat, guys. Everybody in the chat showing love for you guys that love the boot. You know what I mean? I love the boot. For each and every one of you guys that made this a thing. That was uh, you guys. So I'm, I'm going to count you down. I'm going to give you a three, two, one, and scream to the fucking heavens the boot. All right. Three, two, one, go. To the boot. Nice. There we go, baby. That was awesome. There you go. Right on. I'm loving the energy, LC. Right on. Oh, will he down this entire thing? Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Nice. Guys, I think he's going to do it. I think. Oh, oh man. I thought you were going to go the distance. Dude, you're better at chugging a beer than I am. Fears, I got to get better at my chugging. Like, remember I was over there? I was kind of doing uh -huh. a sip, sip. Ooh, there you go. I'm just not good at chugging. Excuse me, guys. Hey. See, back in the day, in the college years, I used yeah. to put it chugging. Halfway, it. halfway. I'm not good at chugging these days. I'm not. But hey, as long as fears, <sighs> as long as fears gets that sip, sip, sip in, I'll get it down eventually. You know. Hey, I'm having fun with you guys. You know what I mean? And no, and that's what's cool. You know what I mean? That uh, oh yeah, know, man, we're, we're just we're chilling just out on a Sunday night. You know, just fucking around. You know, we're just we're just no, hanging no, no, out. Yo, that's what's cool. And that when you when it comes to the chat and you're doing your, you know, <clears throat> for instance. You know, when, when for instance, me and you, for instance, you know, we cool and you make your videos, I make my videos, right? Yeah. But then you have your peoples and they're cool peoples and then they they they, they came to my side and they're cool, cool ass people, right? So I can have a conversation with them and then be back on your channel and we're having a conversation. Like, it's the same people that we, like, you build the family shit, you, you know what I mean? You like, the family. That's what I was telling everybody that joins the Discord. When you join the Discord, it was a villain's, you know what I mean, family. You know, because you, you guys don't have to do none of that shit. But do you the know the honest reason? Me? The honest reason why I did this, LC, is because one, I'm your friend. Two, I saw so much potential in your channel. Three, I was like, well, he's into nerd shit. I'm in a nerd shit. We'll get along. We're becoming buddies. I mm -hmm. said, anything I can do to help out a buddy, fears will do. Because when I, I've told Randall, I've told Sam this, I, I'm going to tell you this now. Fears is very selective on who I call friend. When I say I'm your friend, I'm your friend for life. You know? So anything I can do to help, buddy. Yo, Pixel said, yo, I know who, I know exactly who Badland Chugs is. Now, I ain't fucking with him. Yeah, he, he could take the crown. You know who Badland Chugs is? Lay him on me because I, I don't know who he is. He's the guy that all he does on his channel is chug. So he'll get... Like, for instance, one of his videos, he went and bought every single Mountain Dew flavor that existed and then went to Taco Bell and bought two more additional Mountain Dews, poured them in a big-ass cup, like this big, like this big. Damn. And then poured it all in and then chugged the whole thing. Nah, so nah. he's kind of like Richie. Instead of the challenge master, he's the chug master. There yeah, you go. Yeah, trust me. He is the chug master. I don't... I don't. I'm not taking that away from him. So Pixel, he not only does he chug like liquor and booze and beer, he, he chugs like other stuff like soda and does he chug water and like pretty much any liquid he can chug. Yeah, he chugs whatever. Yeah. Um. Um. Another video, he chugs like like another video. He'll take all the like the smoothie, like the ices, you know, yeah. the slushies. Fill that bitch up. Take slushies, wow. the beer, water, juice, whatever the hell it is there. Yeah. That's so as name. long as it's in liquid format, he will chug that bitch. Yeah, that's his name. That's his name. It's called Badland Chugs. 
You know what, Pixel? His I'm name a- is Badlands. You get it? His I'm- name is Badlands, and he chugs. Pixel, after the stream, I'll have to give him a little look. Uh, so, Badlands. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to let everyone know, I finally... I'm sorry it took me a couple times, LC, because I kept forgetting. I finally subscribed to LC's second channel, gave him some love. I finally subscribed. I've seen that. i seen that. Yeah, I've seen I that. I finally you know subscribed I mean? to Pixel's uh, second channel, gave him some love, followed him on Twitter, you know, all that good stuff. So, any, like I said, anything I can do to help. So, Pixel, I'm glad I could help you out, buddy. I'm glad I could help out my buddy, LC. That's what it's all about. Just like LC said, we're, we're helping each other out on YouTube, on all the social media platforms. Yeah, man. Just helping each other out, showing love, and just having fun. You know what I mean? Like, we can have fun right here on the oh, live stream. I forgot to tell you. So, you know, Jeff does all the conventions. I hadn't called him in months. And I called him, and he said he couldn't talk, so I just left him a voice message. He sent me a text. I said, hey, man. I said, I'm sorry. I've been missing a couple of cons. I said, I, I've been dealing with a lot of, like, family shit. And I said and, – and he texted me back and said, no worries, Fears, because I've been kind of keeping updating on your videos. And he goes, come to the conventions whenever you can. I said, well, I said uh, – and I, I left him a voice message, and I said, uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say your name, but I said, one of my buddies loved – your toy Lando one. So I said, not only am I going to, you know, uh, hopefully come to some shows in a couple months, but I said, I'm going to try to get my friend to come to some shows. So if you want the rest of his, if you want the rest of his uh, schedule for the rest of the year, uh, LC, let me know. Yeah. I'll let you know, man, because I'll be honest when it comes to just only right now, cause I'm trying to catch up to some bills. No. Uh, I'm being picky with the shows I actually go to, you know? Yeah, I know. I got you. Like, listen, the only reason why I haven't been able to go to some shows is one, money, and then two, I've just been focusing on family and my job and my personal shit, you know, that I'm, that I'm working on, you know? Yep. So, yep, 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 yep. Okay, Fears, check your Twitter. Richie says check your Twitter. I will, Richie. Uh, I'm, I'm going to check it after the show. Unless it's, like, super important that I have to check it now, yeah. I'm going to check it after the show. Like, do I have to it now? Here, here, fuck it. I'll just do it now. Oh. Give me a second here. All right. Well, uh, um, okay, cool. Um, everything good? Sorry about that, guys. Real life problems. Hey, once again, everybody, hey, check it out. While we're on the live stream, hey, we only need three more players, baby. Let me know. Or one or two, whatever. But oh, I, okay. I, I, so I, I hope you guys want to get on the Discord. And hey, for those, just so you know, for those, like I said, I am I will be adding games slowly but surely to the Discord to make it cool and fun, and we can all have a party in there. Um, the games will be under the hashtag games mm-hmm. tab that's on there. So all you guys gotta do is get on there. And then whatever games I, I, I that's on there, you guys can feel free to play and amongst yourselves. Okay, get it popping. LC Pixel just sent me that Chug guy, and, and he says, and he filled up his Thor hammer looking glass, which is huge too. And I guess he chugged that that whole. I seen thing. that. I seen that. Yeah, the Thor hammer. I seen it. I seen the Thor hammer, and I seen the big um, wine glass. So he so, sent me yeah. two videos, and I'll check them out, Pixel. So I appreciate that. He sent me um, the Fanta Chug out of the Thor's Hammer, so I'll check it out. And then he sent me one that says uh, Two Boot Mountain Dew uh, Gold and Mango Gem Chug. So I'll check out two of those right after the stream. So, Pixel, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll check and see what what the, what the Chug Master is all about. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll check them out. But hey, yeah. uh, just to put it out there, guys, if in case you guys want to, um, you know, we're here chatting, having a good time. But, you know, we all multitask. On the Discord right now, I am under the games tag. And uh, I just put up the Uno's game. So if anybody want to hit up on some Uno's while we're here chatting, chatting, having a good time, how we multitask, feel free. Uno's is up right now. Nice, the, nice, nice, nice. On the uh, Discord. We all, we all love Uno's. And then Richie sent me uh, – oh, he sent me uh, the official Badlands Chugs uh, YouTube channel, so I'll be able to check him out. And uh, if, I li- if I like him enough, I'll give him a sub. Yeah. The ba- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Badlands, yeah, that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Pixel sent me the two videos, and then he actually sent me the guy's channel. To- and I'll-, I'll check it out after the stream, buddy. I will check it out. Seems like 
he can chug anything in liquid format. So yeah, that's what I mean. That's that's why that's for his name, you know. Even his intro, his intro, he's chugging, you know. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, and also, guys, um, for those that are uh, are having that are on here, have, don't know who the hell I am. If you guys want to see some smoking and drinking and getting fucked up and having a good conversation, here was the Venice Collectibles. Make sure and nerd, nerd shit. Boozing, going nuts. Nerd shit, talking comic books, talking toys, talking oh, yeah. Marvel, talking Ninja Turtles. Oh, picture says, to the boo, to the boo, baby, boo, baby. Damn, to the boot. And Pixel says this guy can chug a bottle of water in not one second, but two seconds, and he like squeezed it. Wow, I'm impressed. I am impressed. There yeah, it is. Yeah, the guy bugged out. Yeah, some black. But I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. I watch, I see some of his videos, and I'm like, yo, I am worried for this guy. So that crazy. Fears, you hear somebody that does this in your mind? Is this a skinny guy or is this a fat guy? Uh, well, I've never seen the guy, but I'm going to guess. Somebody that chugs for a living. I'm, I'm going to guess. If he chugs for the living, that's a lot of liquid in his gut, so probably fat. Yeah, he's a big, black, fat dude. My dude, I feel bad for him sometimes because I'm like, yo, this is not healthy. And then the crazy shit that people do for, for, for YouTube and social media, you know? Like, yeah. you will put your body at risk to fucking get a like. The most craziest thing I've ever done. Of, yeah. I, I would never do anything, any shit like that. The most craziest thing I've ever done is Richie would not do a challenge. And he went fierce. He goes, I just can't do it. I think this one's all you. And I, and I felt obligated to do it. And people loved it. That's the probably the craziest challenge I've ever done. And it was called the Ranch Baby yeah, yeah, Challenge. Right now. I got you. Have, have you seen it? Do what? Have you seen the ranch bathing challenge that, that, I, that I did on Fierce Man 26? So pretty much I got into my swimming trunks and I just threw ranch all over my body. I just did, you know, I just bathed in ranch. There it is. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. I remember. You told me that. I remember. I remember. You yeah, see yeah, it yeah. All right. You got to see it. I didn't hear what you said at first. I didn't know you said ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then when you said that, I looked it up on Fierce Man 26, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because we had the conversation. The mm -hmm. first time I met um, Richie, we were yeah, talking it was about pretty that. crazy, but I had to do it. It was one of the, it was like an itch I had to scratch. And, uh, and I, Randy thought I was nuts. And I'm like, I probably am nuts for doing this, Randy. And I said, this will be the only challenge I probably will ever do. So there it is. Well, it wasn't. You got you to gotta do the one chicken wing challenge. Well, no, I mean, that kind of stuff I don't mind. But I mean, like pouring random liquids on my body, you know, that's just not me, you know. Yeah. Well, Pixel says, hopefully this guy chugs a lot of water to clean clean himself out. There you, go. There you, are. you all right, buddy? I'll live. Please don't die on camera, buddy. Hey, you don't know what you're missing, Fierce. I'm good, man. I'm good. I, I don't need it. I'm good. I'm really good, buddy. I respect that. I respect that because I have people that don't smoke. That be around because they're my friends. They they with me and they're around me and other people that smoke. And then people are like, oh come on, I'm like, no 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 no. He don't smoke, so don't offer him. You know what I mean? Like I'm that guy. If you don't, you don't. You know what I mean? I mean I like to fuck around and be. I fuck around and be like, come on, stop being a bitch. And but if you really don't, and it has to do a job and all that bullshit, nah, I don't. I don't peer pressure people. You know? Well, I appreciate that. No, I, I really don't. Like I said, the only thing I've like really. Smoked and then I actually enjoyed it. But you might believe I will call you a bitch ass motherfucker if you ain't eating old spicy chicken wing. I will tell you that. <laughs> it will happen eventually, buddy. I'm doing the double, you know, thing. I'm, I'm doing the double barrel next time. So there we are. Yeah, double barrel. The double barrel is he putting hot sauce on your finger here, hot sauce on the finger here. He's gonna lick them both and then shove both fingers up his ass. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, if someone actually did that. They would be shitting for months. That's their ass would be on fire. Fuck that noise, man. Holy fucking shit. Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. That's craziness. Well, Visions, I'm telling I'm telling you, I, the, the most epic hangouts I'm looking forward to is, is where all the guys get together. Like you, me, Randy, Sam, uh, visions if it can come, Pixel that would be an epic hangout. And then I can't wait to 
go to Oregon one day and hang out with, hey. the, with the great visions. And I cannot wait to go to South Carolina and hang out with good old Pixel L Protocol. Hey, you got somebody on here that said, Mikey, that said, don't do drugs, just drink alcohol. It's illegal. So is weed. You know what I'm saying? Weed is legal. If you live in California, if you live, depending on where you live at, it's legal. So okay, I gotta because, ask you. It, because it's not legal, makes it bad. No, you know what I mean? What if it would have been the other? Remember, beer, liquor was illegal for many years. You know what I mean? They were bootlegging the shit. You know what I mean? So because they, they the only reason why liquor is legal is because the government was able to tax it, and there you go. Then now, after all these years, then the same thing with weed. You know, it was illegal, and they're like, "Man, how can we make it legal? We gotta tax it." You know, visions. I never said you smoked. I said when we hang out, we're gonna be boozing. You know, so I don't smoke. So yeah, we can go. Tender immortal. Shuts up, brother. Uh, it's Mrs. Immortal. Mrs. Immortal. I'm just joking. What's up? What's up? What's up, Tender? I was actually in one of Tinder's shows a couple days ago, so I was honored to be on a show for a couple minutes. So I appreciate that, Evie. Thank you so much. I just don't know what show I was on. I was either on her Electric Evie show or on her Tinder Immortal show. So I don't know which one it was, but I appreciate it. It was awesome. So, yeah. I don't know about Ski Envisions. It's been quite a while since Fears has hit the slopes and – you know, God, when's the last time I went skiing on actual snow? 19, maybe? 19? I was, maybe I was 20. I, I went with my church. Uh, I, went, I went with my church camp, and we did like a big, like, there was about 20, 30 uh, of all my friends at church camp, and we did the, and we were uh, skiing. So it's been a minute. It's been a while. Been a while. Well, anyway, heroes and villains, I think that's a good place to stop. I'm getting a little tired. I haven't even ate yet, uh, and I, I, I've been running errands all day, so I'm still in my church clothes. So I'm gonna get out of these, take a shower, get this gel out of my hair, and I'm gonna start editing uh, the super retro con that I went to a couple months ago tonight. Glad to do your thing, buddy. Everything is good. Hey, I want to give everybody a huge shout out that we go ahead and ended up here because I'm about to start cooking up. Some sloppy motherfucker. All right, well, jokes. you know, uh, uh, I'm sending my love and all the prayers, you know, to your family. Hope everything is good. You guys have a wonderful, you know, meal. Have a wonderful night, uh, you know, chilling with the fam. And uh, no problem. Thank, once again, thanks for having me on here. Like no always, problem. much love. Shouts out to everybody that's joining the live stream right now. Once again, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for showing love. Mm -hmm. If, um, you know, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure to check me out. Here's the Venice Collectibles, and um, you know, we'll have a good time. And also my Discord, mm -hmm. and I appreciate you guys that are joining my Discord. So thank you. Once oh yeah, again. man. Look, listen, like, anything I can do to help out a friend, I will. So and like I said, hey, try to get on there later on. Let's try to hit up some Unos. Let's see if we can get four people together. We'll hit up some Unos on the Discord. Well, before I hit, hit the sack, uh, I'll uh, I'll dip my toe back into the Discord and check out what's going on before I hit, before I hit the sack. Not a problem, brother. You have a good night and good night to each and every one of you guys. Mm -hmm. And until next time, guys. Peace. Peace out, buddy. Have a good one. You too, man. Well, as always, that was the legendary uh, Heroes and Villains. Good guy. Uh, if you haven't checked him out, subscribe to the Discord. Subscribe to his channels. Instagram, TikTok, Instagram, you know, everything. Good, 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 good. Richie says, take care. You know what, Pixel? The funny thing is, is it didn't feel like four hours went by. These last few streams, last night was five and a half. Today it's four. Whew. Whatever happened to the uh, hour-long uh, fear streams? Whatever happened to the hour and well, – whatever happened to the two-hour ones? So I don't know if fears can keep up these four-hour, five-hour ones. I'll have to get back on my normal schedule, an hour, two hours max. But uh, – Whenever I'm having fun, I just keep them rolling. Like, I was having fun showing with uh, Richie and, you know, here's the villains. I'm like, hey, fuck it. Just keep it going. But, yeah. Well, I appreciate all the love and, and all the views and all the comments, guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I had a fantastic weekend. You know, game. It's it, the weekend started off good. Gaming, going nuts, getting scared, you know, on Outlast, going ballistic on Resident Evil, you know, on Friday with Sam. And then Saturday was just chill. I, you know, I, I uh, got a workout in, went for a little swim. Uh, uh, streamed, got some nappy time in, got caught up on some much needed sleep. Sunday, church, lunch, 
thrift, uh, thrift store. Hey, hey, uh, uh, Tinder Moral, this is what I found $10 at a thrift store. Pretty awesome find. Pretty awesome find. I don't know where it's going to go on the wall, but I'll find somewhere to put it on the wall. Uh, and then grocery shopping. So I got all my grocery shopping done for the week. And the only thing that sucks is I just got to figure out this fucking job thing on, on Monday. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm sure everything will be good. I just hope I don't have to drive up there tomorrow. I really don't. I don't want to do the hour drive. But if I have to, you know, I must. I need to make a living. I need to make some monies. Because I hate not working. It, it's ugh, it's garbage. Anyway, uh, Pickle says, have a good night. Uh, um, uh, almost everyone in the chat. Uh, is that a movie prop? No, no, no. It's just a poster. It's an old poster. Now, the sunglasses, uh, Tinder Immortal, my, my buddy Eric, uh, when I was in town, he gave me those. And he said, Fears, I found them off a website. So I was like, dude. I said, are they from the movie? And he goes, I don't know, Fears. I think so. I doubt those glasses are from Jackass Forever. I think they're just, I think they're just memorabilia that he found, but he said, fears. He goes, I was thinking about you. He goes, I was thinking about you and your dad. He goes, and since you only came over to hang out one day, I was like, well, I said, Eric, this one's all about, you know, this trip's all about family. He's like, no, I'm fears. I get it. He goes, I just wanted to show, you know, that I love you, buddy. I'm thinking about you. And I said, dude, thanks a lot for the sunglasses here. I'll go get them. I'll, sh I'll show them to you guys. Give me, give me one second. Give me one second. They're pretty awesome sunglasses. I, I love them. Honest, though. I, I will be honest, Tinder and Moral and everybody in the chat, I don't know much about him. I was hanging out with Eric and he said, Hey Fears, I was thinking about you. You know, I love you, man. We're, we're you know, we're best buddies. He goes, I found these off a website, so they could possibly be a movie prop, but you know, I don't want to lie to you guys. I, I don't know for sure. So, but anyway, here they are. Here they are. So they could very well be, but I mean, uh, Tinder said they were passed out to the cast. Pixel said they were handed out to the theaters. Uh, my buddy Eric found them on a website. So they say that right there. So it, that's – it's all black, but that's the only thing that says Jackass on And you guys know I love Jackass. And they kind of look like Casey Neistat glass, my favorite glasses. But I, I loved these glass, these, this, this, this form of glasses even before I knew who Casey Neistat was. They fit great. They fit perfect. You know, I love them. Um, uh, I wore them, let's see. I wore them on the way to, to Sam's because it was very sunny. And then, I, you know, I, I, you know those brown ones that I always keep in my car that's been in almost every fucking vlog? Those are my go-to. Those are my go-to ones. Uh, if I forget any glasses, I always keep the brown shades in my car just in case. Because sometimes I'll forget. I'll be like getting in the car and then I'll be halfway down the road. And I'm like, God damn, it's a sunny day and I forgot my fucking glasses. Because the sun is so going nuts here in Florida. I love the sunny weather, but if I don't have my glasses while I'm driving, I'm like, son of a bitch. So I always keep an extra emergency emergency pair of glasses, the, the brown ones, in my car. But I'll probably what I'm going to do is I've only had these on today to show you guys. And then I had them on Friday, Saturday. I had the Brown ones on. And then Sunday today, I forgot to bring these to church. I wanted to wear them on the drive to church, forgot them, but I had the Brown ones in the car. So I think I'm going to switch out the Brown ones and I'm going to have these in the car for a little while, but they are very nice. I put these on Instagram. Pretty cool. They're not 3d though. They're not 3d. They're just cool. No, you know, normal shades. Uh, I looked at Eric and was like, dude, you are such a good friend. I love you like a brother. Thanks so much. He's like, fears. He's like, I just thought of you, man. He goes, you've been going through so much shit with your family and your dad. I was like, it's been pretty fucking hellacious, man. I said, this has been a crazy fucking year. And he's like, I can only imagine, dude. He's like, I saw these glasses on this website and I thought he, I was like, dude, that's so fucking cool. I'm like, thanks for the hookup, man. I'm like, you are a good friend. I said, you know, and he's like, dude, no worries. I gave him a hug. You know, he gave me a hug. We were chilling. Uh, he actually just got back, uh, him and his wife, they, they just went on a big, big trip. 
Uh, Pixel, they were kind of in your neck of the woods. They went to South Carolina. They were on, I don't know what beach they were on, but they were on some beach. And I, I saw some pictures that Eric sent me, and I was like, nice. I'm like, that looks like a nice vacation. He's like, oh, dude, it was fantastic. I don't know if they're back yet. I think they're, I and mean, they may be. Uh, Eric said he would give me a call whenever he got back. He texted me, but so he said he would call. So I don't think he's back yet. So yeah, it very may, it may very well be that beach, buddy. I've heard of that beach. I've never had the pleasure of going to that beach, but maybe one day. So they're uh, chilling in South Carolina. So yeah. So yeah. Anyway, I'm tired. I've got to get this gel out of my hair. Like I said, I'm still in my church clothes because it was. A fun day it was just a busy day. I literally went, woke up, church, immediately from church, grabbed some food on the go, ate it while I was going to the thrift store because I was like, you know what? I said, I haven't treated myself in a while. I said, I need to do something fun, get out of the house. I said, you know what? I'm going to pull a, a classic Jason Cool and do some thrifting, do some thrift shopping. Well, I do love Goodwill. Goodwill's good, but I always love the mom and pops, like hilarious, like, you know, hole in the wall thrift stores. You can find some good shit. And I found some good shit. Bam. I just don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to find a good spot in the old apartment. Maybe I'll hang it up tonight. Maybe tomorrow after I can figure out all that work shit. Uh, Triple says, thanks for the stream, Fears. Epic. Hey. Anything from my loyal, epic, awesome, going nuts uh, fans and friends. You guys are awesome. I'm getting a little tired. Just a little bit of tired. So I'm going to get on some food. And, uh, I mean, it was just go, go. It was go, go, go today. I kid you not. Like I said, literally from church, I thought about going home and taking a shower and getting into some normal clothes. And I was like, these look kind of semi-normal. I'm like, you know what, Fears, you're already dressed. Fuck it. I said, lunch. Because I was hungry, immediately just ate lunch in the car, straight to the thrift store. I was going to get some movies. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, fuck the movies. That's way better. Got that. Then from that grocery store, got all my groceries. Almost bought a DVD there. And I was like, no, I need to save my monies. I said, I've already treated myself with one big item. And then I said, plus I've got the vision shit on the way coming. Cannot wait to do a mini unboxing. So, Visions, I will check tomorrow because uh, I knew they wouldn't come on Sunday. So, I will check tomorrow to see if they came in the mail. So, that would be kind of cool. A little mini uh, Exhume Visions unboxing. And then right into Watch Sleep Camp. There it is. There it is. All right. I'm going to get a shower, get something to eat, and then I'm, I'm going to try to get RetroCon up tonight. It is 9-17. If I don't get it up tonight, at least it'll be all edited by tonight because I'm really trying to get out content more faster, more quicker. Because Sam, Sam, like when we were in the stream, he's like, Fears, he goes, you are like busting out the fucking content. I'm like, you want to know why, Sam? I said, one, I said, because I love making content. I love making my YouTube fans laugh. And I love, you know, just filming shit. And I said, that's one thing. I said, two, it's to stay fucking busy because literally I'm just like going crazy sometimes thinking worrying the fuck out of my dad you know then this job shit it couldn't have come at the worst fucking time you know i'm just like dude just it, I like i just want to work i'm like just i don't care temporary full time then i got the big fucking interview coming up knock on wood i fucking get it oh and then the fucking uh and then my mom's worried and i'm just like oh shit so it, it, there's a lot going on but yeah and then we finally beat, finally beat Resident Evil 8. And you missed it, Tinder Mortal. Me and Sam, we were kicking Vampire. And, um, well, there was a little bit of Vampire at the end. Uh, we were kicking Vampire's ass, werewolves up the fucking yin yang, blowing their fucking heads off. Uh, Pixel, what's the fucking chick at the end? The wing fucking bitch at the end. Uh, the one I was using the Magnum on. What's, what's, what the hell's. Oh, what's her name? She was in part seven, too. Uh, fucking, um... Oh, God, what the fuck is her name? I hate having a bad memory. Ugh. It was like, she's like, she's like the 16-year-old, like, witch bitch or whatever. Uh, uh, what the fuck is her name? I can't remember her fucking name. We destroyed her. 
And then Tinder Immortal, then I was like, Sam, I'm having so much fun. He's like, you want to play? I, I Sam was almost done. And he was pretty much done. And I said, Sam, I said, now that we've conquered, I said, let's just pay, play like Outlast for like the last like 20 minutes. And he's like, all right, I'm down. And Sam is such a cool fucking epic friend. He's a fucking trooper. Mercenary man called him a trooper. I was like, dude, he is. We were both tired. But I woke up quick because that fucking game scared the shit out of me. Oh, my fucking Christ. I'm sorry to take the Lord's name in vain. But holy Christ. That, oh, my God. But Pixel, I just want to let everybody know in the chat, even though Fear's got some epic jump scares, I was having a hell of a good time. It's a great fucking game. It's just an intense game. Probably the scariest game Fears has ever played in his life, but I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And and the challenges are good. Like, all right, the fucking lights go off. You got to find all the reports and shit because he's got, he's collecting content for, you know, for his story and shit. That's why he's always grabbing those reports and shit. And then he's like, that's not enough. You know, I need to get video. So you're always fucking filming shit, which is cool. Because I went to film school, so I, I'll be honest, Pixel. I love the the camera effect where where he pulls it up and down and he's filming shit. I'm like, that's fucking cool. And then there's just mad fucking chaos ever. Dead bodies. There's the fucking dead bodies are like fucking in the fucking rafters and shit. Dead bodies all over the floor. There's fucking blood everywhere. And I'm like, this is classic horror movie material. And I fears created a new fears ism. I was like, I love horror movies. I just don't want to be in a horror movie. That is like being in a horror movie. That shit is no fucking joke. It's, it's, it's ridiculous as fears would say, you know, from Shrek. Um, but it's good. It's fun. I'm telling you, I cannot wait. Uh, pixel has been a great buddy clipping all the, uh, all the, uh, all the, um, uh, all the jump scares. Oh Yeah. And hopefully, Pixel, we get some more. I'm sure there will be more. And I'm going to try to get a good 8 to 10 minutes. Uh, but we're going to collect a lot. But, Pixel, if you really could, if you could do me the biggest favor in the world, go back to some of the original Resident Evil 7 streams. I just want the two epic ones. we got to get the uh, – the, um, the what's her name? Miranda uh, – no, not Miranda. The mama one where she comes crashing through the window. And I'm like, oh, fuck me shit. You know, that one. And then – the, the Jake one where he comes power blasting through the wall. That one scared the shit out of me too. I need those two for the scare jump video. I would really appreciate it because I don't know how to – unless you can teach me how to how to like – like you like clip it or you like cut the – I don't know how, what you do. But however you cut the clip, just that clip, if you could get those two for me and send them to me on uh, uh, Twitter tonight or tomorrow, I would really appreciate it, buddy. Um, if you can't, I'll have to go in and I, I guess I could download the whole stream and then cut that little part out. But it'll be a pain in the ass, but I need those too. But um, if you could show me how to do it or if you could do it, I would really appreciate it. Uh, Tinder Immortal says, I thought you played a retro game. We're going to. Well, basically what we did, Tinder Immortal, was me and Sam on our very first stream that we ever did. We were playing some retro game. The very first one ever. We started with retro gaming and then we at the end of that stream, we started Resident Evil 7. And so we never went back. And I told Sam when we cut the stream the other night, I said, Sam, I said, at some point I would love to do some more retro gaming. Because I, uh, Tinder Immortal, I told Sam uh, your idea. And, and Tinder Immortal wrote me on Instagram and said, you know what you should do? You should play some old retro games. And while you're playing, then you could tell us like some epic stories of like you and your friends hanging out, you know, playing some epic retro games and i was like that's a cool idea because i used to play i used to like ride my bike over at my buddy's house and he'd be like hey fierce dude i got this new game zombie ate my neighbors and i'm like sounds hilarious let's play it you know so definitely i definitely want to do that so we're going to get back to it tinder immortal but uh me and sam we needed a break from resident evil i said dude we played two resident evils back to back let's get on some outlets because pixel and everybody's been dying for me to play that I've been dying to play it because the minute I saw Conan O'Brien play it, I was like, I have to play this. This game, even though it's scary, it looks hella fun, hella, hella cool. I'm like, I'm down to play it. I said, I'm down. Uh, Pixel says, Miranda isn't the little girl or had wings. Her name is, oh, Eve. Eve had, whatever, the, the girl at the end, the woman that at the end, we killed her with the Magnum. She had the black wings, and she was, like, in Fears' face, like, going nuts. Uh, yeah. 
So I guess we killed Eve. So yeah. So yeah, man. So yep, 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 yep. But no, I'm down. I'm down to play some retro games, um, because that's what I grew up with. So we'll definitely do some of that. Tinder Immortal. But I'm all about playing any game that Sam wants to play because I want to be fair. Because uh, Sam's dying to play some Dead Space, and he showed uh, well. He showed me a clip of it, and then I did my own research, and I did, and I found some stuff off of uh, YouTube, and I was like, "This looks fucking amazing. This looks cool." And so I said, "Sam, I said to make it fair, I said we've already played two of my favorite games, seven and eight. I said whenever we get done with Outlast, I said we'll play one of your games." And he's like, "All right." He's like, "Well, Dead Space is next." And I was like, "All right." He goes, "Or I want to play some retro games." And I said, "Okay, cool." And I said, "I'm down for whatever." So. Uh, me and Sam, we're going to take turns. Like we'll, we'll play one of my games. And then after we beat that, then we'll bounce to one of his favorite games and back and forth, back and forth. And, uh, whatever me and Sam don't get to, whenever I hang out with pixel, whenever I go to South Carolina or whenever he comes over here, you know, you're more than welcome to come visit me and bring Tinder immortal, you know, you, uh, me casa, su casa pixel and Tinder immortal. You're more than welcome to come visit anytime you want. And I'll come and visit. It'll be easier to come visit whenever I get this epic job because then I, I won't be living paycheck to paycheck. I can actually save some good fucking money. Uh, yeah, and then I'll try to get their ASAP. Oh, yeah. Let's see. North. Wait, Vision, are you talking about that hilarious uh, Elijah Wood, uh, hilarious North movie that was like made in the 90s? That is pretty fucking hilarious. Like and one of the most funniest scenes in that is Dan Aykroyd plays this Texan guy and his accent is so over the top. He's like, "Well, howdy, North, I'm Paul Texas," and I fucking lost my goddamn mind. And I was like, "All right, that's just too much Texas." And I was like, "Good lord." Okay, I thought so. It wasn't Eve Pixel. It wasn't Eve Pixel. It was. So who's Eve? Is Eve the 15-year-old, like, witch girl or whatever? The mother. We killed the mother. Okay. Whoever the woman is, that that game was so nuts. It was tons of twists and turns. I'm trying to remember it all. We took down the mother bitch. That's right. Vision says, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, how could you forget about that movie? It is hilarious. It is hilarious. Eve is the kid, yes. Uh, the black... Haired girl. Yeah, part seven, man. But she was like some witch or something, like casting a spell on you and stuff. And then she turns like Ethan at the end, like into the molded, and then he dies. And then, but eventually we saved the most important person. We saved Mia and Rose and Rose. But eventually Mia. Why can't Mia be a real person? Fears need to get on a little bit of that. All right, I'm leaving. I'm tired. I need some sleepy time. I need some editing. I need some shower. I need some food to re-energize fears. And I'll probably down another coffee too. All right. Well, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to Fearsman26 on YouTube and uh, Fears Vlogs. Check me out on the old TikTokage. Not TikTok, the TikTokage. Give me a sub. We're up to 8,000. What the fuck was it? Uh, I think it was eight thousand eighty-four. I'll have to look it up later because I don't, I don't, I don't want to keep you guys. I think it's eight thousand eight eighty-four. Doesn't matter. We need to get to nine thousand. That's what's most important. Check me out on the old Instagram. I'm always uh, trying to keep you guys up to date on. Uh, when somebody's texting me. Oh, it's my mom texting me. What a good mom I have. She says, "Hope you're having fun." Or I'm sorry. Hope you. Hope you had a fun weekend. I hope church was good. Have a nice night. Oh, well, I love you too, Mom. I, my mom's great. She's awesome. Have a nice night, Fizz. I love you too, Mom. You're awesome. That was a horrible impersonation of, of a British person. I did my best. All right. As always, Fears loves you. Fears cares about you. Show my buddies on, on uh, YouTube some love. Because I'm always showing my buddies on YouTube some love. Uh, check out Randall, Lord Randall, at Cameo Man 2021, uh, the mayor of magic. Uh, check out uh, Pixel L Protocol 
And he says, good night, Fears. Uh, have a good one, Fears and Chad. I'm leaving, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm skedaddling right after I do uh, the plugs. Check out uh, Heroes and Villains. Check out Mrs. Immortal. Tinder Immortal. Get on that clown footage. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, check out some Dillian Harper. I think the better question is why wouldn't you check out some Dillian Harper? There you are. I'll leave you with that. All right, this is Fears. Bidding you guys a fond farewell. Peace. Deuce. I'm out. BK Lounge is calling my